Hello, I'm Langston and I'm back on my channel, Gym Landia. Today I'm going to be talking about white mediocrity in gymnastics. So this is an unexpected live for me. I wasn't preparing to go live, but I wasn't really doing shit like that anyway. And I saw a lot of shit that was really pissing me the fuck off on a gym tonight. And I said, you know what? My ass is going to go live. This is exactly what I'm going to do because y'all, y'all have me beyond fuck off. Like, and you know, if you just go on the gym tonight, like you'll see like the amount of like, it, it's it's hard to even describe what y'all fucking do. And it's like, I don't understand why some of y'all think y'all can just act how y'all uh, act and y'all can put black in the situations that, that you put them in, but it's absolutely disgusting. And it's, it doesn't happen to anyone else. It doesn't happen to anyone else except those specific people. And it's just so fucking frustrating to watch because it's like, why do y'all feel like y'all can do that? Like recently, I've seen people like, try to put Grace McCallum on this basic ass pedal that she never lived up to. I've seen y'all do this across the board with Riley McCusker. And you never do this when it comes to white gym, black gymnasts. You never do this to Gabby Douglas. Nobody ever talks about what Gabby Douglas could have done. No one ever talks about what Riley McCusker, uh, about what Dominique Dawes could have done, what Diane Dos Santos could have done, what all these black gymnasts could have done as well. Y'all don't talk about what Rebecca could have done if she didn't tear her ACL three times. Y'all don't talk about that. But y'all, like, and I keep saying this on my channel, you see black women for what they are, but you see white women for who they can be. And that shit is so fucking frustrating because y'all don't do that. And one of my friends, Michaela Love Gymnastics, she came on here and she talked about that, um, I want to say a couple of days ago, where she just did a random live about racism and gymnastics. And I was like, you know what? This shit was really pissed me off. Like I got on Twitter... And the way I saw y'all gassing up these basic ass, not accomplished ass white gymnasts, that shit is frustrating because you would never give black women that same luxury. Never would y'all do that. They wouldn't, they they never would. Even with Charlize at Worlds, if she didn't medal like she did in 2022, they would not be well, she's really good. She's something to watch out for. They would have been like, oh no, she's just there. Yeah, they, they never do that to anyone else, but but when it comes to like us, they have all these motherfucking expectations. And that shit is so frustrating. Very much so. And it's like, I don't understand why y'all feel like y'all can't act like that because y'all don't do that to anyone else. But it's like, there, you want, like I say, bad. But don't get mad at me for calling out because if the real thing is what y'all need to ask yourself is, why is Jim Landia's channel growing so much? Because but y'all need to ask yourself, there's a reason why people them. are following me how they do. Some of y'all hate on me, but there's a reason why my channel has grown how it's grown. I love your lives. I love the truth. And discussions, etc. cetera. Uh, thank you. Have, um, have a happy um, Easter, everybody. Do you have anything to add to that, Cal? Um, no, you know, you really said it there, but it's like anytime you go, just in general, anytime you go on YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, you know, you're always, even when it's like, I don't know, Simone's beam routine, you know, in the team finals, it's like, it's the best of her life. People will be like, oh, you know, this, all oh, that. But then when it's, when it's, you know, a non-black gymnast who's doing average things, it's like, you know, it's perfect. They it's like, they can do no wrong. Yeah. Yeah, like, especially for these Italian gymnasts, because that's who y'all fucking love, is them Italian girls. And almost all of them girls are basic. I'd be the one to tell you, listen, Manila Esposito is beautiful to watch, but her, like, let's be so for real right now. There's every, almost every gymnast in America would do the shit she was doing if they really wanted to. But it's like, this is what y'all do. And it's just so fucking frustrating because we've seen it in particular with Melanie and Rebecca this weekend. Because it's like Melanie, as well as Gabby, um, when it comes to Melanie, I do want to say I do not like Melanie's new floor, floor music. Melanie and Rebecca definitely need to work on their handstands, right? But it's like, I find it crazy how everyone is just criticizing them, criticizing them. They're overscored, they're overscored. You remember when I said them Chinese hoes was overscored a week or two ago, which was way mm -hmm. more blatant than that? And everyone wanted to attack yeah. me and, uh, and sit, sit up here and say I was anti-Asian and all of this other shit. But look at what y'all do to them. Like, look at what y'all do when it comes to that. And it's just so damn frustrating because, like, why don't y'all give the same energy? 
I love Melanie, but I don't think that she hits with consistency. I'm a big fan of her. I want to see. That's true, but neither does Flavia. Neither does Oli right. Sean. Neither does all these other. Neither does none of these Italian girls. Neither does Asia. And, Asia, and that's and his whole point. That's his whole like, point. Sky like, Blakely don't even listen. I give it to Sky Blakely, but y'all have all the smoke in the world for Sky Blakely, but y'all don't have none of that smoke for 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 these white gymnasts. Folks on Cecile's head about Melanie's floor routine. Yeah, what about who else got um a horrible floor routine? I don't like Flavia's floor routine this year either. Or I fucking John J. Borsa. Yeah, but where y'all at? <laughs> And y'all did the same thing to Sky Blakely and Kalia Lincoln about their floor music too. Ooh, Sky floor music this year is way better than last year's. God, last year's was. Mm -mm. She got new floor music. Kalia actually needs to go back to her last year floor music because the one she got this year is not good. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I feel like last year gives her a lot of artistry deductions as well. Yeah. Oh, not Coach Javasio coming on here. Javasio, you don't have all the time in the world this last couple of days because usually your ass right. is competition. Y'all be with your, you be with your girls that you training. I'm shocked that you got all the time to come on here and shit like that. I went all the smokes this weekend. Yeah, like, oh, wow. Javasio, have you been on Twitter and just like, I can't I have grab. not been on Twitter in the past 24 hours, but I need to go on there because they trying it. You just don't. People talking about Grace could have won the Olympic all-around title. Oh, please. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Bring so fucking for real. Like, not Morgan. I can hear Morgan heard. But Grace, Riley, McCusker could have won the all-around title. Like, it's just like, that's the kind of shit. Like, you would never hear someone say what, what Gabby Douglas would have done if she ain't fall on beam in event finals. You never hear no one say what Dominique Dawes could have done. Like, but th this is what y'all love to do. And it's like... That shit, I just lost my shit for real. I really did, because it's like, you just never see that same kind of energy. And it's like, right. the, 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 that kind of blatant shit, it pisses you the fuck off. I was like, I gotta say something. Like, sometimes you can't even type the shit out. You just gotta get on here and say it. Because, like, I don't understand why y'all fucking like that. So, did y'all see, did y'all see what's her face name? Um, your favorite, your number one fan, um, Langston. She posted a family photo today with her husband and her baby. And I'm looking at her lips. I'm like, this bitch done got gone and got lip injections and this shit look nasty as fuck. Who are you talking about? Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't know. Who, who are you talking you know, about? Are you talking about Rebecca Chang? No. Oh, Is that who you talking no. about? No, mm. I ain't talking about her. I'm oh. talking about... I'm talking about the one that's supposed to be on the 2020 Olympic team and the 2016 team too. Oh, Michaela oh, Skinner. Oh, oh. Oh, I ain't seen that bitch. Oh. Uh, I want to know. I want to know why Gabby didn't do. Uh, Gabby did have an Amazon 2016. It's just it wasn't competition ready, so she didn't want to. Uh, I, I mean, she had it. It was ready, but it was no point really um, of throwing it. I guess she could have thrown it in 2016, but it still wouldn't have been enough. They would have still given Allie. Allie beat Gabby by like five tenths in qualifications. It wasn't like no one or two. Yeah, tenths. but she got she got that bar that bar score handed to her. She did. No, it wasn't even bars. It was I'm beam and bar. Cool. It was beam it was, and bar. It was <laughs> She scored the, the same. Five tenths. She had the same e score as Gabby on beam in qualifications, and she scored the same as that North Korean girl on her M and R. And the North Korean girl I, stuck her M and R. Yeah, I'm better than Reby as well. Something was definitely off. That's what I'm saying. Like, Reby fucked up them. today. Oh, I'm yeah, Reby. Go oh, my God. What were you going to say? I'm going to go back to you talking about uh, they were saying Grace could have won all around. Grace would not have even qualified, even if you take Simone and Suni out. She wouldn't even qualify for the all around finals. That, I, think Grace, I think Grace could have beaten Jay Carey. I think she could have beaten mm. Jay Carey her best. But it and is crazy best. how great. But that was Jay's best at twenty uh, in qualifications. At it was, but I'm just saying that I think Jay scored like a low fifty six, which is excellent for like a vault mm -hmm. and floor girl. But like, I think Grace could have done that. I think Grace, Grace, Grace scored could've... a fifty five point one six. Yeah, but it's like I think Grace. You got to realize Grace. Look at Langston giving Grace some credit. No, Aww. listen, I'm not no hater. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm gonna look at the facts. I think Grace could have scored that. But I think she, she missed something. She messed up on Bean because she has a 13 on Bean. 
Yeah, so she, she, she missed the um, Dean. she missed the she fucked up and missed the her fucking leak series on Dean. She fucked around on mm -hmm. all the events and qualifications for the most part, except Bomb. So it's like I mm -hmm. think Grace could have definitely like people expected for her to upgrade a lot on bars, and I think that she could have also um, I don't think she could have dramatically improved on Dean. I think on floor mm. she could have got maybe like a fourteen or so, like you know high thirteens or et cetera. And, and she mm. was also expecting to upgrade on Vaughn. But would it would it have been enough to beat um, Rebecca, Suni, and fucking Jail? You know, but she probably. I think she could have <laughs> maybe been striking distance from Vlad, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. Didn't Michaela Skinner beat Grace in Tokyo? She did. She did very <laughs> narrowly. Barely. But Skinner, Skinner went off in about two ten. She, yeah, she, that was her best. That was her best performance. And like I said, still barely was a fifty-five point something. You remember when Gabby went with the two thousand sixteen? Wasn't Gabby third in the world? Well, even she when she was third in the world. What were you scared? Oh, should have been second, but yeah. What was Skinner in Tokyo again? What, what was she like? What tenth, eleventh? What was she? Eleventh, eleventh. Oh yeah. So what? What was said again, bitch? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but Grace is like Grace's Twitter fans can't seriously believe that she would have won the all around. Like that's they just, do. Like yeah, but you can like her, but be realistic as well. You know, like ain't no time in history that Grace could have beaten Gabby Douglas. <laughs> and you know what's crazy <laughs> to me? What about what about um if what was I gonna say? What about if Shailise would have been up to par last quarter? Nobody talks about that. Mm. What if Shiley showed us what she's showing us now in 2018, 2019? Nobody wants to talk about that. Mm, if she would have showed us that, she would have, uh, mm. So yeah, it's like, yeah. she could have gone toe to toe with Morgan at her best, maybe. I, I think so. She probably could have beaten Morgan. So, I mean, I, yeah. it's just, it's so, it shit pisses you off so motherfucking bad. They're People fucking current. delusional talking about Grace. Yeah, but that's what they do. <laughs> like, what is it about Grace anyway? Like, she's not even. I think gonna... Shailise would have been super countryed out by Suni. Yeah, but let's. I think Shailise. Yeah, but... I think Shailise could have beaten Suni as a at, like Shailise today could have beaten Suni in Tokyo. I think so. Very mm -hmm. much so. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean, Shiley's clear her own vault. She clear her own. They the same on floor, especially how they were scoring them on floor. I think yeah. she would beat her own bars, but I think Shiley's would be her on beam. So I think mm -hmm. it would go down to the wire. But I think Shiley's would could could have been uh, if her now could have rivaled for the gold medal in Tokyo. Yeah, because Sony didn't on score highest in beam um, on in a qualification. That was a fourteen two. So I think her other beams the teams were running like 13, 8, 13, 9. <laughs> Grace had one clean double double off to the, and they still put her up on four. They had no choice because um uh, yeah, I knew Tom Tom like listen, Tom, when Tom put Grace up on all four Vincent team finals and put her up first. I was like, oh no, like <laughs> I know y'all when y'all saw them light ups, I was like, we finna I, that's he only did, and he just did and that, that made no sense. Like even if just because they, Jordan messed up his qualification and she clearly proved that she can do what she had to do during team final. I'm like, sorry, that's Morgan, crazy. Morgan gassed herself up and started doing desperate gymnastics, changing her floor. Morgan Hurd is still a world champion in the day though. Morgan Hurd still has five medals. What? How many? What individual medals does Grace have? What didn't Morgan win two American Cups? When did Grace win an American Cup? I'm telling you, they need to buy an American Cup back. I do. I want to see Gabby at, like at this American Cup this year if they brought it back. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would let Gabby compete because no, she's they're not gonna let Gabby. They're I not gonna. Let, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't have let Gabby compete. Even Marta would have done something like that. Marta ain't let Nastia Lucan compete in 2012. Like. She she didn't let she didn't let Gabby compete in 2015 when she was coming back. Like you just some shit you just don't do. So I I agree with them not allowing Gabby to compete at the American Cup. Yeah yeah I see that.
The audacity. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what? If they'd have, not that this is the point, you know, but if they'd have pedestalized Jade, the best white gymnast right now, I would understand. <laughs> but Grace, who isn't even the best, like. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. They yeah, have right. pedestalized Jade in the past. They wanted Jade to be yeah. Simone they have. Biles. They have. So I've seen it before. But I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. They they have. But I mean, with Grace, it's like the ultimate. With Grace, is the ultimate gas up. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's like I'm confused about if Jordan Kamaba or um, I'm I'm think Kamaba should have been number one at this point as well. Like I said, Kamaba. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like if you think about it, like the way people act, like come up was was the greatest genius of all time. Like it's just like no, bitch. And then, you know something really, else no one ever does. You know how they're quick to compare black genius. They're always quick to compare Simone to Rebecca and Gabby to Simone mm-hmm. and Rebecca to Shylee. Mm-hmm. And right, you know, but why don't they ever compare Aaliyah to come up? Why does anyone ever do that? I've never seen someone try to compare Aaliyah to come up. Never in my life. I've heard people say, I prefer Kamaba on bars or Leah on bars to each other. But I've never once in my life heard someone compare them or say which one is better than the other one. I've never seen that before. No, they don't do that. So I, that's, that's what's, even with Sean and Naskia, y'all might prefer them, but y'all make room for both of them. They but it can only be about. one. Y'all only want one black woman to be at the top. That's why they stopped Gabby from making um qualif- uh, all around finals. I see it where I see it. Exactly. And best believe, like you said about Jessica Gadrova, they would have put her on that podium. They would have. Even if she had made the fuck up, we would have been looking stupid. And they would, we would have been like, how? They would have put her on the podium. They would have put, I'm telling you, if Jessica would have been she would have beat Simone. Jessica, she would have beat Simone. with a fall. <laughs> Even with a fall, the way they were scoring Jessica, I, she could have still beaten Shiley's. Like, that's what yeah. I was so scared because it's like, I ain't seen a robbery like that since the 90s with Dominique. And I'm telling you. It's one robbery that we that we forgot about when it deals with Dominique that I went back and saw. And I was mm-hmm. just like, I ain't ever seen. Have you ever seen the bar finals in 96? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Have you yeah, seen I that, Chico? No, I'm gonna watch it now. Chico, do you have? Or do you have a computer? Oh, uh, I'm I'm on my cell phone, but I'm at work, so I'm on. A Ch- I mean, I know Cal. You have a computer, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my laptop. Can't you pull pull up their routines? Yeah, do you want me to screen share? Yeah, like pull up, um, Amy Chow, the 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 other Chinese girl, the, the Chinese girl, clear and working up, and. Wait, can you see it? Dominique Dawes self hating ass. When is Dominique Dawes self hating? What hasn't Dominique been really supportive to Simone, Gabby, and Rebecca? What are you talking about? Wait, can you you can see my screen, right? No, you have to um do it on here, and then once once you do it, I can like hit it, share screen. Yeah, like you making shit up right now. Wait, you can you can see it, yeah? No, I can't. Oh, it says it's screen sharing. Me. Maybe to pop up. Yeah. Wait. Okay, here it is. Okay, great. Oh wait, let me just start again. Yeah, this is Amy Charles routine. Okay, I'm watching. Okay. Let's see. So Amy cleared. But like I said, she has some errors. It was mainly her, her dismount where it was like, mm. Oh, yeah, really sloppy, exactly. Then yeah. pull up, it was pull up. Um, yeah. Horkina was the most overscored because Horkina, them handstands now go up. You would have lost a good point in some change. 
Amy's that the problem with Amy was her dismount. But I do want to give her um credit for doing the dismount itself. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one who won the gold too. Look, hell fucking no. Is she just making this up or this was her actual routine? That's her routine. As long as she hit it, they would give it to her. And that's who won the gold. She cleared on that dismount. Now pull up the Chinese yeah, girl, because the Chinese girl had another good era, a bad era as well. B was Jean and the double double was impressive. It was, but the landing on it still mattered. They did have, they did have, you had to be at least somewhat vertical in the 90s. You didn't have to be like perfect, but they did care about that. She cleared on that. Um, she very much cleared on that most all time. She did struggle a little bit there. Also, a little bit of body alignment right there, but that's not that big of a deduction. And she cleared on this dismount. So very much went off. That's not Mohelan. But can you put on Dominique now and see what yeah. I'm talking about? Because I was like, ah, oh, damn. And the thing is, the sad thing is, Dominique Dawes is scoring a 985 for worst routines the whole Atlanta Olympics. But all of a sudden, she gets a 98 with the best routine of her life. Just just enough to miss the medals. Yeah, because she had the highest score, well, not even bars in the all around. And I think in team optionals, but not here. My only beat with Dominique is she had that body alignment right there. That was her only deduction. Clear. Look at her handstands, though, compared to the other gymnasts. She hit that. She hit that as well. She hit that as well. And look at the dismount. That was perfect. But she somehow she got bored. And I do want to say, I understand that um, her handstands aren't great either. Who's she talking about, Suni? Uh, compared to them other girls, the fuck they were. Don't sit up here and do it. Except I want to say B had pretty decent handstands. But I want to say, only thing I do understand what Dominique was, Dominique very much like, how do I explain it? Like her routine was not as original. Like she did not have as much originality as the other girls. Mm -hmm. But neither did um neither did Gina Ghosh and neither did um what's what's that bitch? Uh Hork um uh, neither Yikes. did Milo. Yeah, neither did Milo. Neither did all of these other gymnasts they got to win with cookie cutter ass routines, but that wasn't even good enough to Did die you for see the smile on her face? She knew she had a medal. She was just like, that was really good. Yeah. yeah. Um Dom Dom started out with a full out, the full in off bars is raggedy. That was by far the best dismount of all the gymnasts that we shown in that routine. What are you talking about? It was perfect. So that's not true. So, like I say, I only I understand her not winning because of originality. But all these other bitches got to win all the time. Wasn't Gina Golden's argument, oh, she matched the code. So even though her routine wasn't original, it was still matched the code. And that's why she always won. So I'm get the fuck out the of my face. Code, the open code changed the game. And I'm so happy about it. But it's like, it's just sad. It really is sad. I like quirking as flaws. She definitely had an iconic style. I think they gave her a bonus for that back then. Yeah, but it's like... Quirkina did not deserve to beat not one of them gymnasts that we just showed you. And damn sure, like, they could at least let Dominique Dawes tie with one of them. Like, there's just, you cannot tell me that Dominique was getting a 985 when it did not matter. But all of a sudden, with her best routine, she gets a 98. Like, no, bitch. Quirkina very much gassed the fuck up. And it's just like I don't I don't see it. Yeah. Horkina was sickening. Horkina was just a very much overrated gymnast. 
I mean, as long as she hit her routines, they would just give her the gold. Like her and Livia. Yeah. Just like they probably the some of the scores they got in Atlanta, they probably got just so no one else would beat them. I feel like Diana Santos wasn't her even more than Dominique Dawes. Yeah, she was. Cause ain't no no, not even her chunk fan thousand four. Like, how the fuck did what's the name with no difficulty win that floor goal? Kalina Ponora. This bitch had a pipe full in a two and a half the front layout and a triple twist. Like Di Diane had an Arabian double pipe, a pipe front, a double Arabian, a double layout. Like Di uh, what is it? Chung Fei had a double double, a triple twist, a full in pipe, a two and a half the front layout. Here you are, open up with a full in double pipe and winning with that badass form, girl. Ten point oh fair system, but I think I think even with the ten point oh system, Dominic should have still won. They just robbed her. Mm. And I hate that for her because I watched that earlier today, and I was just like, "That's sad." Like that was that routine was excellent, and it just wasn't good enough. But like I said, let Lilia, let let fucking um. Uh, and what let one of them Romanian bitches have done a routine that looked that good. And I swear to God, they would have walked away with a goal. You telling me I'm wrong, Chico and Cal? Let let Gina go and got up there and did that mm. same routine. They would have she would have walked away with a gold medal. Even though it wasn't as an original, the execution would have got it. She would have got it. <laughs> the execution yeah, of that routine was it. far ahead of them other girls. But it just wasn't good because enough. In 1995, Lily even got the silver with the, you know with a mediocre routine on uneven bars and i was just watching that and i was like what you know like i don't know if she deserved the medal or not but definitely not silver especially when i don't know who was behind her but one of the chinese girls did so much better than her but you know she got the silver but they gas up them chinese hoes too though that's another thing yeah they, they love them some oh you shine baby <laughs> <laughs> Miss um so the whole China up and held them down. They love they love that. They love her. They think oh you Sean could have won the gold in Tokyo. She wasn't her either. Mm. I'm telling you. After Gina G hit her head, she was never the same. Gina Gojin, oh my God, like only thing Gina Goji ever did for me was she could tumble on floor. She wasn't as good as a tumbler as um fucking Simona Aminar though. No. Or Zamo. Simona Aminar had like Simona had like a double layout, a triple, um, two and a half to punch front, I think. And a full end. Yeah. Like, listen, she I'm telling you, Gina Goji, she could tumble, but she just wasn't, she wasn't tumbling, tumbling, like. <laughs> yeah. like Simona she, Aminar, to win. she was tumbling, tumbling, like, so a lot of y'all don't fuck with her, but Simona Aminar, she was clearing when it came to the tumbling. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame because she never won a gold on floor. No. Um, and I feel like yeah. her and Dominique got robbed by Lilia. Yeah, they really did. Lilia, who just did, like, I mean, her tumbling wasn't as difficult as because she only she had a um, double front, a double front half. Um, the other two I don't even know, <laughs> but yeah, and Simona had Simona and Dominique had way harder tumbling, but no gold. As long as Lilia stayed on her feet, she would win gold. Yeah, like Lilia, bro. Like I ain't ever seen someone just like. When I was in school, we watched a presentation on Lilia in Atlanta, and I just remember someone yelled in the classroom, get this bitch off the screen and put Gabby Douglas on. Like, <laughs> it was just like, she was just like, you know how people in Atlanta are, um, Chico, like, they gonna, I'm telling you. They the same thing. Yeah, in the middle of the classroom, because it's like, get this bitch off the screen, because we had a presentation on the Atlanta Olympics. And it was just like, this is supposed to be the star of the Atlanta Olympic Games. Like, what the fuck is this? Because I didn't know anything about mm. gymnastics like that then. I only knew I only knew who Gabby Douglas was uh, at that time. So it's like, when I'm watching this, I'm like, that's it? Like, this is, this is who the fuck that was gassed up? Like, just, I ain't ever seen, like, ain't nothing about Lilia did it. What about Pacapeva? She just was, 
basic. She was very much white mediocrity. That's exactly what she was. <laughs> Very much what she was. Mm. Who want to come on here and and talk they rah rah? Like who want to do that? Who trying to come on here and talk they rah rah? Pop Capella very much. Corkina very much. All the Romanians, except for um, Simona Aminar, Boginsky, very much so. Very much. <laughs> very much. Yeah. Kakapeva was what Gadrova is now. Ooh. You know, I can see that <laughs> in the all around floor exercise. I can see Not that. Not me. I'm scared of you, Langston. Why are you scared of me? Don't be scared. Come. Yeah. <laughs> He's nothing to be afraid of. No, I'm telling you, me, we be getting into it like Cal. Cal love him some Becky Downey, baby. But I'm telling you, he Becky, he's yeah, a Becky Downey's fakest hater. Like, he'd be the first mm. one to talk about, oh, I can't say, don't shut up, Lexi, don't talk about Becky. But he'd be the first one to bet against Becky, though. Because yesterday, I was what? like, who's going to bet on him, <laughs> him, or, him, her, Georgia May? He the first person on the panel to say Georgia May. But isn't Becky supposed to be your girl? It, listen, if someone told me bet on Gabby, not bat Gabby against somebody else, unless it's Shiley's, I'm a bet on Gabby every time. But you saw his ass, he turned on Becky quick as a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like right. Yeah, you know he, what? He I have, Becky. Yeah, I have faith. I have faith in Becky. You know, I hope I hope she's consistent for Paris. Right now, I would bet on Georgia. <laughs> I'm not sure. I was Georgia I mean, May, Georgia, Georgia May's May been routine though. She been giving it to them at the World Cup. <laughs> it was oh, it was mm, Georgia May was, gave mm. Becky hope because that being routine, baby. <laughs> Georgia yeah, is thing, over. Like, Becky, Becky could fall on not even bars and probably still get a higher score than Georgia could on Beam. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> The shit, you it's Georgia May's floor routine for me. Georgia May got her a nice little medal. Didn't she get the medal today? I mean, uh, even bar, she did. Um, yeah, she got she got the bronze medal. But like I said, that B routine <laughs> took took all that back. Look, Georgia May was like, I'm making the team. I just got a bronze medal. Even Flavia is improving. She actually is. She didn't she do her is. layout she, step out uh, her uh, low so low so, but um, she she did do both low so's. Did she? Yeah, she did. Oh wait, she almost messed yeah, she up. She did. messed up a little bit on the first one. Had a wobble. But um, one. no, listen, yeah. uh, Flavia, Mama still got a ten in qualifications. <laughs> oh, she, she got yeah. ten. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> like, like that's why I was thinking back to reality yesterday. Like, like I said, it's cute, oh, but like I said, if, like, if this would have been a world championship, you wouldn't even you would have made it to the event finals. No, she won though. <laughs> and Brazil mm. would have qualified in what fourth or fifth place? Yeah, so I really can't that afford 10. to mess up. Yeah, she can't because Jay can't do uh, being. <laughs> <laughs> who is that third beamer? It's that other girl they've been sitting yeah, to her like, World Cup. I can't her name. Yeah, her. She's okay. She was doing okay at World Cup. She's been with 13 2. It's usable. Yeah, that's what they need. Mm -hmm. They need they need another 13 score on beam because you don't want yeah. it to be they only have three gymnasts on beam right now. Right, they need one more, and Jade ain't get. I mean, that, that's not her name. Pronounce her name for me again. I think it's Jaji or Hade or Haji. Like, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. yeah. I, one of my Brazilian uh, favorites is Hadi or ja I've heard another Brazilian say Jaji because I heard, I heard, um, what's her Ali was saying, Jaji, and Ali don't be just be saying shit wrong for no fucking reason. <laughs> she actually be pronouncing everything, everybody's name right. <laughs> 
Like, yeah. I was just gonna just be, be saying shit just to be saying shit wrong. Like, so that's why it's like, mm, I'm confused. It's even well, hot. She, she's not, she's not doing beam for sure. So they really need another beamer just in case something, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah, because they, they have, have to count. Aldera, and they have another gymnast. Isn't it Caroline Pedro? I think I use the Caroline. One, I think I use Caroline in um in qualifications. Mm, okay, good, yeah. Who else? So um, I ain't never betting against Gabby. Where's Jordan Childs? Jordan Childs was. I think she's going to camp, right? I just know Jordan Childs is dealing with the injury right now. Her and Zoe Miller. Yeah, she she she's going to camp. Me too. I need Gabby to be on this team for real. Becky's floor helps mm -hmm. her out. Yeah, her floor routine is actually pretty good. She just got to land on her feet. <laughs> she will. I, that 15-5 was a joke. <laughs> like, that joke is going to laugh if she do. <laughs> Them other scores outside of Rebecca and Flavia just be like, whoa. <laughs> and also, Jaji, she can do decent on bottom floor. But, like, I'm telling you, her. So, the thing is for Jaji, Jaji is what is, uh, what's the other one? Lorani. Lorani, yeah. No, Lorani, not, not, yeah. Jaji and, um, Julia, Julia Suarez. They, they yeah, are helping yeah. a little bit because they're putting up, um, I think that what's her name got a 14 on Vol. She has a, a pretty good double sister, Yachenko. Like, Haji used to have an Aminar. So it's like, I'm telling you, her vault helps a good bit as well as she can be used on floor. She can put up like a 13-5 plus on floor um, if she hits. And, you know, for yeah. uh, Julia, Julia can also put up like a, Julia put up like a 13-6 on floor and her beam routine is pretty decent as well if she hits. So that helps, mm -hmm. but it's it's bars. Their bars are really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Especially Rebecca <laughs> fucking around how yeah, she yeah. is right now. Because Rebecca, you fucking around on bars, girl. But she does that though. Rebecca would yeah. hit and not hit and hit and not hit. She'll do that every time. Yeah. Like whether it's qualification, <laughs> final. She's gonna qualify top and all around. And anytime she do qualification, she's gonna she's gonna qualify. But like when it comes yeah, to them yeah. finals, I don't know, or team final, she's gonna mess up in team final or she's gonna mess up in event final on something. And it usually be beam or bars for the most part. Mm -hmm. So actually mm -hmm. Rebecca liked to mess up on uh, one thing in qualifications and not get qualified to something like in Tokyo yeah. messed up on bars was... and did not qualify and then in 2022 Liverpool. she fucked around on vault and didn't qualify and then this year she and fucked around last on year vault. it was yeah bars was the only final she didn't qualify to she and she would have what it is because she's good at bars Rebecca's she, good at bars so I don't know in qualifications like I'm telling she you. always do it's something about <laughs> bars that just throws her off. I don't know if she just like her rhythm breaks or something and she just get thrown off or something. I don't know, but she always messes up something on bars. And I think yeah. she's a good ball worker. Yeah, she is. I don't like, know if Jordan will get the last stuff. spot. Leanne or Kayla, I'm telling you. I can't Leanne, I hear that. But Kayla, no. No. <laughs> Okay, we're talking about, I guess we can't even discuss the alternates because we don't know who's going to be on the team. Right. Do they take four since it's five, a five-member team or do they only take three? I'm not sure. Because I thought since, no, it, is it, since it's is back it no to four five teams members. From now on. I mean, four members from now on. So you have to always have an alternate for specific gymnasts? So Kayla, Kayla would be the alternate for Jordan or Leanne. But if, if Jordan makes the team and Leanne doesn't, then Leanne will be the alternate for Jordan. Jordan will be the alternate for Leanne, right? And then they need mm. an alternate for Gabby, which would be SUNY probably, um, or Zoe Miller. Or if Gabby and SUNY both make it, Zoe Miller will be the alternate. I, I mean, I love Zoe, don't get me wrong, but she, she can't be an alternate for Gabby and SUNY because both of them are good at being. And, and, and they're decent all-arounders. So Zoe couldn't be the ultimate. So Sky Blakely? Yeah, it'll definitely be Sky. <laughs> Sky Blakely or Connor McClain because they can be used. They have also really good beam routines. 
And um, mm. like I say, they need one for Jade, which should be Jocelyn, Jade and Simone. So that's how it worked because in 2016, Marta had three alternates. She had Reagan. Reagan was the alternate for Lori. Uh, Ashton Lockley was the alternate for Gabby, in particular Madison Coshin. And then what was the up? Uh, Skinner was an alternate for Allie Raisman and Simone. And so that's not saying I don't think they I don't think they take three. Traveling and I think Maggie should have been an alternate for Gabby as well because Maggie was also a, de a decent all arounder they could have put up and Gabby would have went down. But they didn't take Maggie as a Matt. She took Ashton as the alternate instead of Maggie. I think. So yeah, if it's only gonna be five girls plus three alternates, a lot of people gonna be crying. And Marta, listen, Marta is that petty because you want to talk all that rah rah about Gabby, <laughs> bet, 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 Maggie, you know, because your ass ain't gonna be an alternate, bitch. You gonna sit your, you gonna, you ain't even gonna be an alternate for Gabby, bitch. But they're not talking about mm -hmm. that being robbed. Mm -mm. Like I'm telling you, Marta, Marta was a petty ass bitch. I'm telling you, talk about Gabby if you want to, bitch. You remember, you remember Jordan she Weaver's bum ass comeback? Jordan Weaver's bum ass comeback in 2014, 2015. No. Jordan, we even tried to come oh, she back. Kind of, she hates she, she, it. May hey. she stopped like a gymnastics hey. allegedly. Remember that. But back to Marta. I think I think she knew what she was doing when she said when she wanted Maggie to compete the American Cup because she was like, you know, if the people think that Maggie is better than Gabby, you know, why don't they just both compete the American Cup just for Gabby to beat her anyway in front of a packed out stadium? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. So embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, like they really want to set Gabby up. Like they wanted Gabby to have a whole stadium of getting deep be thrown by Maggie and stuff like that. Like yeah. if you think about it, they really were trying to embarrass Gabby, but Marta believed in Gabby. Mm -hmm. The judges was helping yes, Maggie yes. as well. Like they I'm telling you, they wanted Gabby to get embarrassed at America Cup. Mm, that's what they wanted. But just how she did, Ali, just how she did Jordan Weaver four years prior, bitch. They, I'm telling you, when it was come up, like I said, come up with Jordan Weaver, Larissa, all y'all, when Gabby needed to turn up, she turned up. And I ain't ever been proud of Gabby that American Cup because Gabby, especially on Bean, Gabby turned yeah. up. <laughs> she <laughs> did, even though she was Chico, on the score. Like, Gabby went off, like, Gabby gonna always turn up when somebody when it matters. Yeah, when someone <laughs> bets against her, what did Gabby say? When everyone doubts me, that's when she turns up. Everyone's new, everyone swore Maggie was gonna beat Gabby at that American Cup. Bitch, I remember. They were so wrong. And bitch, I'll be well. real. Y'all had me scared for Gabby Douglas the way y'all was tearing her down. I was like, what if Gabby loses? Like <laughs> my heart was beating. Because if Gabby would have lost it, Gabby never loses. Never though. heard any of that shit. I tell, I swear to God. Yes. Oh, that no, was, we, uh, Gabby. That's why Maggie should have competed in 2015. Gabby only won because Marta robbed. Marta was like, okay, so I did. I did rob Maggie in 2015. But since y'all swear she would have beaten Gabby, she could have competed against her. We gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Marta for that. She ain't waste no fucking time. Y'all did all that rah rah the world championship. She was like, okay, bad. <laughs> Um, let me read all these comments. Uh, talking about bars, I just remember the silver medalist on bars in Tokyo was a random Russian that might be most forgotten medal in gymnastics. She actually did win a bronze in 2017 on bars as well. Uh, Anastasia Ilyankova. Thoughts of Melanie and Barbosa's new... Ugh, both of them. Melanie pissed me the fuck off. But Melanie... What? She, no, she, no, no, no. She has improved, but I don't like that floor music. Yeah, I think that I like the like the dance. The music is, mm, but I like the dance too. It's that Amber I feel she can't connect into her downy for me. You know, Melanie's think, improving on bars though. I think it will be hard if she can not just, to take Kayla if she's the third best all arounder. How is Kayla? Kayla won't be the. She won't be the third best all arounder. She she won't. She better hope she makes top six. <laughs> <laughs> In terms I'm of not trying to be. I'm not trying to be. Fun. No, yeah, she, it, it, she just won't be. The top five are basically locked in already. So Kayla so, might be that fifth or sixth all around her, Maybe realistically, it could be top six because I think that realistically, right. top five would be Simone and Shailene. I think mm -hmm. Gabby, 
as well as mm-hmm. Leanne Jordan and potentially Conor McClain and Sky Blakely. Mm-hmm. So well, I you know how I feel about Sky. I think she's going to be in the top five. I ain't even going to mock you. I'm pretty sure she's going to make the top five. That's true, but Sky Blakely don't been fucking her. Usually Sky Blakely hit our domestic competitions, but that Winter Cup? It was Winter Cup. We're going to say that. We all know they get one mess up. That I hate that for Sky. That means she got to be perfect the rest of the season. The thing for Sky Blakely is mm-hmm. like, do you realistically think that, that you don't realize, and I know you don't know this, Chico, but Sky Blakely has never competed at least, competed with 2019 American Cup, Leanne. Like, she's never competed with Tokyo-level Jordan Childs. So it's like, that's You're what right. I'm talking about, You're 100% Chico. right. So that's what I'm saying. If if they really turn it up on Sky Blakely, you think Sky will be? Because right now, I don't see Sky Blakely beating Conor McClain in 2022, let alone that. And even that's the problem for Conor McClain too, because I also don't think Conor McClain can beat Jordan Childs and Leanne at, the, at their best, at least in what we've seen. See, I think if I go based off Conor 22, you know, which she won the, uh, the national title, this this foul. I don't know if she fouled. No, she had some some mistakes. Also, her bars mistakes within foul. Her bars is a joke. Yeah, yeah. The bars was. Uh, we ain't even gonna talk about that. And if I take Sky from last year domestically, hear me out. But we all know Sky floor suck mm-hmm. last year. Connor's she used her twenty and Connor bars suck. So <laughs> if you do that, if you if you take those two, Sky. Mm, they're gonna be probably close to being the same because it's like Connor. Connor bar- nearly beats her on beam though, and Connor barely. No, Connor. Connor's day her, one beam routine clear. Sky Blakely, come on now. Sky Blakely, good on beam. Yeah, that but what that Con- day Connor one has less deductions and because she like points her feet. Her toe point is excellent. You, but Connor right. got a lot of arch deductions on beam too though. Mm-hmm. That's why so I, I guess they would like. I think Connor, we need to put them head to head by much, but I think Sky she's a better on beam than Sky Blakely a little bit, and also Connor is better on a little bit better on vault than Sky. Her double sister your check is a little bit better than Sky's. Um, you're, um, you're Sky, right. but the thing is, Sky's bars is better than Connor's floor, not by much. By, by uh, it, yeah. So it's like, like so it'll said, be close. close. But I think That's Connor, why they like need to I battle it out. They're going to battle it out at, at Classic. I'm talking about Connor's them. best scores would beat them. But I think Connor will improve on bars. She has a full end, right? And yeah. we, gotta see, we just got to see Connor do like downies to packs and shit. If she, I'm telling you, if Connor got a decent bar team, she can be that bitch that y'all don't want to y'all don't want to see. I just don't like Connor's rhythm on bars. Like it's yeah. just like her rhythm just is. So it's her off. rhythm on beam for me. What you talking about? Like the skills be clearing, but like <laughs> her actual beam choreo. What the fuck is this? She she does a lot of. Uh, she get those pause breaks. Uh, deductions for a- excessive um, preparation. Yeah, excessive. She get a lot of those. A yeah. lot. Very much lack of fluency. Very much lack of um complex choreo. <laughs> What is Sky going to replace her full in with? What full in? You no, talking about Sky Blakely full in is good. It's better than Connor. Yeah, that's a yeah. Sky got a good full in. Um, her new floor routine. But listen, that she Connor's back layout clear Sky Blakely's front tuck. Like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Connor that, Blake, Con- I love Shylee's, but Connor's switch half is the switch half. It's like wow. Mm, I mm, they both got really good switch halves, but I think I'm betting on Charlie's switch half. I don't know, maybe it's Charlie's long legs that make it look so so much better for me. But I don't know, it looks so good. Yeah, Charlie's is the yeah. only one that really Pull up does my that on the Pull up my bum ass huh? judging of Connor McLean on Bean. Um, before yeah. I start this Pull that up. I'm um, telling you, do not like, look at the productions. I know what the fuck I was doing. I'm I'm sorry. I was very much ignorant. I was making shit up. I did not know the code back then. I just was making shit up. I it looked like I knew the fuck I was doing, but I did not. So don't get don't get on me like, oh. Wait, can you see it? This is from two years ago. This is the one of her at nationals. Not not this, this is the one at Winter Cup. Not the Winter Cup. Nationals. When you talk about the Winter Cup or Winter Cup or Nationals. nationals. Two years ago. 
nationals. Because remember, oh, I was judging. Name. I was doing edits, but I wasn't like talking on my channel. Oh, you talking about the one from the? Oh, when yeah. she had on the um yellow Leo. Yeah. The yellow looking highlighter Leo. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. That was her best being routine. That's the best being routine she ever did. Yeah, that and some of her other ones, like, yes, Connor. Because I, you know, I love the screen. I'm the queen of king of screenshot and leaks. <laughs> Connor's leaks was just like, yes, ma'am. I can't believe I had the audacity to be trying to take an arm position induction back then. Like, what the fuck? Just making shit up. But it very much excessive preparation. But the fuck was arm position? <laughs> As I said, don't judge me. Very much what excessive preparation say? again. Always. Period. That was just great. That's I hate that when she do that adjustment on it full turn. She I don't think it was an adjustment. It. I think I was making shit up. Well, no, she does that all the time, though. But look at she does yeah, that. she yes, come on now. She go above one eighty. She goes above one eighty for sure. She cleared. This was not a connection, though. She shouldn't have got that credited. Why? Because the 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 time between the front arrow to split, she switched her feet. Mm. Perfect. She fixed her ring leap because people were talking about her. That's why I had year. faith in Gabby. I had faith in Gabby, but you let me down, girl. <laughs> I thought you could fix your switch ring. I feel like Connor can have a her dismount. Guy would have to be like perfect to compete against that. Yeah, I think no. Sky Blakely, her bing routine, she went off um in 2022 before she lost. You can take it off now. She went off. She did. She did before, before, before she, she fell at Ariel. She went. She off. did. I knew. I was sitting there glued to the TV. I was like, oh, she getting the gold. I was glued to it, and I saw that fucking ribbon. I saw it coming off, and I was like, shit. <laughs> I, was, I didn't think I was it was like, gonna make her fall. I, I didn't think it was gonna make her fall. I thought 2022 was going to be the Black Girl World Championships. You had Rebecca clearing in the all-around Shailise success story. You had Shailise clearing Nina Durwell on bars. And then when Sky Blake was doing her routine, I was like, this is really going to be our World Championships. And then she fell in that was, I was like, damn. If Sky would have got that goal, it would have been no question she would have been on the Olympic team. Like, that yeah, because I, I think Sky Blakely, I think she would have had a Morgan Heard kind of glow up in 2018. Uh -huh. That confidence yeah. would have made her do a lot better. Because sure. you, you see how much Morgan improved in 2018, 2017. Like, mm -hmm. once she won that world title, she was like, I really am a, one of the best students in the world. I, that shit gets to you. And you know, the same thing happened with Shailene. She won all those mm -hmm. medals at Worlds, and it really helped. And she mm -hmm. did not do anything all year until she showed up at Nationals and she cleared everybody. And they was like, oh, Shailise haven't done anything all year. We don't know what she's doing. Yeah, that's do. what the same thing they did to Gabby. Oh, we ain't seen Shailise in so long. Oh, we ain't seen Simone since Tokyo. Like, okay, and now what? I literally well, went to Nationals to see back. Shailise. If Grace announced I her comeback today, y'all still gonna say she can make the Olympic team. I swear to God. <laughs> They would well, do that as well. Know. Um, <laughs> Michaela Skinner might pop up at camp since she's a 2020 oh medalist. God. Don't fucking do it. I think I, she's Gabby a 2020 make, medalist. I think Gabby is long will make it if she's top at least bars. Yeah. If Gabby is number one on bars or number two behind Shiley, and she's even yeah. top five in the all around, that's her ticket. I think Gabby needs to also do good on being. But I think Gabby being routine will score really well. It will. Yeah. I, 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 they took Reagan as an all. Reagan was taken as Lori's alternate because Reagan was also good on being. Reagan was a lower, was a beaten down version of Lori. Um, they will take Suni maybe as long as she's a, the problem with Suni is does she have bought and floor still? We know at least Gabby has a bought and floor. Um, Gabby's supposed. I'm. I'll go ahead. Finish your thought because I'm going to answer a question. I was going to answer say? a question. I was going to say, like, ben. for SUNY, like, we don't even know if SUNY can even do a double sissy girl chain go. 
Like, and Suni's bar, the club works against her. Like, it's like she ain't even consistent on this bean routine. So it's like Suni got so many different bets. First off, Suni, you need a vault and floor. Because it's going to get very much Aston Locklear, bitch. Like, that's what it's going to give. That's even if, even mm -hmm. if take, Suni has to at least have a good bar routine to be Aston Locklear. Because she even got that right now. It's like that's um, the thing, Kathy. Yeah, oh yeah. What are you gonna say? Oh no, go ahead, Cal. I was gonna, oh, I was just gonna say Gabby also has an advantage over Suni at the moment because she could potentially do all around, but we don't know if Suni can. Right. Um to answer Ben's question about Sky doing that full end before her front tumbling pass, she okay, so in warm up she warmed up a chuso. Um, cause she normally does a chuso in her floor routine, but she, I don't know. She normally does a floor in a routine. So I don't know why she opened up with a full in. Maybe she just changed. No, she does a double after a second tumbling pass. Right. Uh, so I don't know why she took that out, but she normally does a chuso and a double layout usually. Mm, can't say, but her front tumbling pass needs to be her first pass. I believe if, if it's not a chuso. Why that Pacapeva? Mm. Yeah, I think she has that in her routine. Or training, at least. What's Scott Lucas going to do with a Pacapeva? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I want that for her. Yeah, like, uh-uh. Leave that shit in 1996 in Atlanta. Girl. I do like her new artistry on floor. Like, she really improved there in her dancing. I, I, I like that a lot better than her Gabby dance. came back and was only second to the moment in the same year. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Maggie could never compete with Gabby Douglas. Like, oh, you right. Ilyanka was fourth. She got beat by Arimina and Nina. My bad. Um, you were you. I took her. I know. I know who Elena Ar Aramina is. Elena Aramina was the bronze medalist um, in the all around in 2017. Top three would be Simone, Gabby, Simone, Charlize, and Gabby. Gabby will interchangeable depending on her scores. I I hope so, but I don't know. Gabby might not be ready to be. I don't know if Gabby is ready on floor yet. Like. That's why I, I mean the way it looking. The Gabby was confident in competing for. She wasn't ready to compete bars, so I mean maybe she is. But I'm telling you, Gabby, if you fuck around with an Emma Pablo, like, <laughs> what do you no, think Gabby's gonna Gabby do on would, floor? I think she might have a double layout. She was training that right. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, double Arabian. Maybe one and a half to triple. Um, yeah, I was just about to say, she's going to keep her triple for sure. I don't think so. Yeah. Especially with how they like to downgrade these triples in this in this. Country. Well, you know. Yeah, She's going to have a full in think... for sure. Gabby loves a full in. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Um, Switch ring, if she can get the ring position. Her switch um, ring on floor is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It really is. Um, She's one of the only gymnasts who can actually get it credited. Not on floor. A lot of people um, get it credited. It's just she don't get no body shape reduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Gojun, she'll do a Gojun. Um, I don't know. She might do a full into back talk, but then that connection is inconsistent. So, I don't know. All right, you gonna see. Um, Kayla cleared Jordan Childs at Pan Ams, but I said this in a lot. But Pan Ams, yeah, is, a Pan -Ams is a nothing ass competition. And let's be real. Jordan Childs fucked around, and it's, Kayla, Kayla still barely beat her. But like I said, yeah. for me, it's it's also embarrassing that Jordan lost the flop yet as well. Like it ain't even just Kayla. It is. Jordan should have took the go. I just knew she was gonna take the gold at Pan Am. I was like, this is Jordan competition to win. She better. Go I thought she supposed to, so to win like four gold medals at Pan Ams, and like mm -hmm. there's Jordan should have really beaten Kalia Lincoln on floor. And should have. Like, she should have beaten Clearly Lincoln on floor. She should have won balance beam. She should have won um, bars. Only thing she did do was win that silver on beam bars. So she, I mean, on bar, because she was not going to beat Rebecca. 
Rebecca stupid ass want to turn up on at Pan Ams. Where was that energy at the World Championships? <laughs> it's like, about the wrong time. Priorities just wrong as fuck. Like <laughs> I was shocked she was even competing a chain at Pan Ams. Like the fuck is Pan Ams, girl? Like just priorities she, very she much even, wrong. She didn't even have to do that to win, but it was still nice to see it done so well. She did the best two chains of her life in qualifications and event finals. Yeah, she did. Uh, and given her performance at Worlds, she might lose it. Yeah, that's true. I said it about Leanne as well. But we ain't gonna sit up here and act like like Kayla the cello can realistically beat Leanne and Jordan Childs at their best. Like, do you do you guys not remember in 2022, Kayla the cello was the one that they were like pushing for world. I know 2021, sorry. After the Olympics, they were pushing for Kayla to be that girl and then just to get humbled by Leanne at Worlds. <laughs> Do y'all not like, remember that? Kayla yeah, was like remember, on all like, the billboards. They were pushing Leanne her. It, they were like Kayla featuring Kayla the cello, featuring Kayla the cello, and she's gonna lead the world team. And yeah, Leanne humbled her. Like Leanne is Leanne is better than Kayla DiCello on every every skill for the most part. Leanne does is better executed than Kayla. Leanne just got to get her connections on Bean and uh, fucking upgrade. She just stopped fucking around with these bum ass connections on Bean, girl. Like, what, what, what? Sky gonna replace a full of a choose of beating Okay, but Connor is working with a J. What does he do? That's the that's a big thing. Does Connor still have her skills? That's another big thing that we don't know. I haven't seen nothing but her do like double layouts. Uh, I know she still got her double layout on floor. I'm that's pretty good. sure that means she still got her if she has a double layout, that means she can probably get her Chuso back or at least Chuso back. Yeah. So I mean, that's good. At least she has that. Um, because you know, Emma Malibu, y'all don't even got that, baby. <laughs> Emma, got, Emma got her double tuck and her double pipe. Damn. She got her double yeah. layout. Does she still have her beam dismount? Her double pipe. Uh Connor, I I I let me go see. I follow her. I know she has she her videos. I know she has her um double I think she has her double to see her chinko. Does she still have her layout on beam and her full her um she shoulder? Oh yeah, she still she still have her layout on beam. She practices it. She does practice it all the time. She took okay. it out of her uh, NCAA um routine because it wasn't scoring as high with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but she still has it. Okay. I hate how she goes up on her toes and waits all the time. Who are you talking about? He talking, oh, about, talking Connor. about Connor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, Connor, like that's they, a part they, of her signature. That's a part of her signature. She's gonna go up on her toes and she's gonna have excess preparation. But it looks good when she does the skills. So hey. uh I want Gabby to post routines while camp is ongoing. So why they yeah, that's true. Be she, petty as fuck. She should. Yeah, she never posts anything. Oh Gabby, that's one thing I don't I know Gabby's an introvert, but I, I wish she was more public. In yeah. a way, you know what I'm saying like a mixture between both. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, Gabby, you got to stand up for yourself, even though I think Gabby's benefited from like because I think Gabby let Skinner, she lets Maggie Nichols like do all they rah rah because it's like at the end of the day, coma, but like at the end of the day, I'm still the person that won. But it's like sometimes you have to like push back because the reason why it looks like you, it's a, it looks like what they're saying is true because you're not going to defend yourself, right. Yeah, but also y'all realize that Gabby does too much. They're gonna try to say she's an angry black woman, all that stuff. So it's like I see where she's mm -hmm. coming from, but it's like sometimes you do got to stand up for yourself. Well, that's mm -hmm. all they gave her in Rio. I mean, she just looked disappointed because she lost, and they gave her this. Oh, she don't want to be there. She don't like the yeah. Team, da da da. And so mm -hmm. I can I can see that's traumatizing. So she probably thinks she could never even like defend herself, and people are gonna attack her and drag her again. No, they won't, because it's like when Simone stood up for herself, people was like, some people eating that up. That's what about Simone. Time, she gonna, right. Simone, she gonna respond back. Like, whether it's about her husband's situation, <laughs> like, she gonna respond back. Sometimes some she shouldn't have responded back to. Sometimes Should. she just shut the fuck up. But it's like, she gonna, like, stand up for herself at least. Like, don't just let people just drag you to the core. 
I want to see like Simone and Gabby compete, you know, just to see how they are with each other. Because we haven't seen them compete since 2016. And I want to see like how the dynamic is between them. Like, are they friends? Are I, they, I will you know, say they... that Simone kind of yes. she'll speak to everyone. Me just going to see them in person a couple of times. But she's really not like, I ain't gonna, and I'm not yeah. saying she's not friendly, but she just speak to her girls at WCC. Like she'll speak to everyone at camp, yeah. give them our uh, air championships and stuff, give them hugs. I post some videos in our group chat. <laughs> How does she feel about yeah. Sylees? Mm, they mm. don't. They, they, yeah. I didn't think they were talking until I saw them hug at Worlds. <laughs> mm. I'm not putting nothing out there. Like, I think someone she likes. Like, I think she respects. She respects Charlize. Um, yeah, I don't think they're friends. You know, you don't got to be friends with people. They're not friends. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think Simone likes Ruby the most, but I don't know. That's I think true. she's okay with Alice and Gabby, but yeah, yeah I don't know. like because Ruby is a, like. <laughs> Let me try to get to the bottom of these comments. We don't like Michaela, but to be honest, Tokyo level Michaela could clear Josh. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Maybe, but it ain't gonna come out my mouth. <laughs> She could clear Jocelyn Ball. Floor, I think Jocelyn would still clear her. Jocelyn and her are gonna go toe to toe on Bean. She clears Jocelyn on bars. So. Uh, I feel like Gabby's in a better place than Suni. Of course, Suni, like I said, Suni looking like Nasty looking right now. <laughs> if not worse, because listen, Nasty was hitting her Bean routines. People want to people want to forget that, like. <laughs> Nasty was so consistent on Bean. Like she had some wobbles, but for the most part, Nasty was doing pretty good on Bean. It was just bars. Suni fucking around on both of them. Like <laughs> Jordan should have cleared it, Pan Ams. Jordan, but also ha you have actually performed when it hits and it matters. Kayla beat Leanne at trial 2021. Yes, she did. But what 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 happened at the world championships? Right, she did beat her, and then Leanne humbled her. That that was the point I was making. Yeah, Kayla failed at world. How did Blada get beat by Kayla to chill out? Because Blada and Kayla both fell. Shit, everybody was falling. I think Leanne fell, Kayla fell, Blada fell. I said, God damn, Leanne, Leanne, hit. Leanne went off and all around. Leanne did not fall. Okay, so she didn't fall, uh, but the other she two She just did. couldn't I beat Jelia Bl because of difficulty. Mm -hmm. But she was only two tenths behind Jelia. Wait, didn't Vlada get Tupa country out in, in Tokyo? No, you talking about Listy. Vlada was the one that oh. Tupa country Listy out. Oh, yeah, yeah, But yeah, Vlada yeah. fucked around. Vlada was going off in Tokyo, but Vlada fucked around and lost to Kayla to Cello. And the world and championship. 2021, yeah, with the world championship. Like I said, queen of four. Like, <laughs> oh, she really is. She really is the queen of four. Vlada, you did all that to beat Listy just to get cleared by Kayla the Channel, girl. Like, it don't make like Vlada lost her double sister Yurchenko, which was bound to happen. But even still, Vlada should have cleared Kayla the Channel on vault and um, vault and vault and bean. I mean, bars and bean. It's just. Killed it like she wasn't gonna do nothing with Killer the Cello on floor. Like Leanna's inconsistent. My point is if Kayla beats her at trials, oh my god, I hope not. I would hate to see Kayla the Cello make the team. Also, Simone and Gabby do not like each other. There's no proof. That no, they they, no, the media tried to turn them against each other. And then after Rio, you know, that mess with her and Gabby on Twitter. But I would I would say the media and the public Forced them, tried to force them against each other before Rio, for sure. That was eight years ago, though. Like, right. That's they, yeah. I'll never forget them. That's true. I think Simone <laughs> has some jealousy for Gabby, but I don't think that I wouldn't say dislike. Simone being a pick me will annoy Gabby. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I will say that I noticed that Charlize is kind of like a. I wouldn't say she a loner because she's friends with all, you know, she talks to everybody, but she doesn't be like clicked up. She's kind of like by herself. I've noticed that a lot going to see her. Yeah, Jordan and Simone are like best friends apparently. But I'm starting oh, to wonder. Oh, not no more. Not, not no more. 
Oh, they're not friends. They were literally, they literally like you saw a classic. I thought they you were know, really like, close, but I found yeah. it mysterious. But that, that when Jordan went through her racism, Simone didn't say anything because I feel like that mm-hmm. Simone should have, Simone should have definitely like, like what do you mean Jordan had to change her music and you didn't say anything or do anything about it? Like that's something that was like they rubbed me the wrong way. Well, let me tell you when I knew they weren't as close as I thought they were. When um, Simone was roommates with Michaela Skinner in Tokyo, and that let me know all I oh. need to know. Oh yeah, there's a video on Michaela's YouTube channel about um, when they were in Tokyo during the Olympics, and Simone was yeah, I her and Simone was, were roommates. I think you could have a roommate in Tokyo because of COVID. COVID. No, they, they did. That's why Leanne got. They all had roommates. It was uh, Grace and Jordan. Um. Uh, Simone and Michaela were specifically roommates because Michaela said that when she, on her YouTube channel. She was like, Simone mm. is my roommate because the two grandmoms, because you know, Michaela thinks she a bit. <laughs> and she was like, the two grandmoms, mm-hmm. um, we were roommates mm-hmm. together, so we can kind of help the other girls. Like, Michaela, fall the fuck back. You didn't even do nothing in 2016. Listen, a veteran alternate. <laughs> a veteran <laughs> <laughs> uh Simone doesn't follow Charlie on Instagram. I used to follow, used to follow her, but yeah. her. I, I didn't say know that, that. But then you can't just, you can't yeah, just they don't follow on each other. But Instagram yeah. don't matter. But they don't follow each other. Yeah, so I, Simone didn't follow Morgan either. But I feel like Simone, um, Simone and Gabby. How do I explain it? Like. Uh, Simone Shailise is inspired by Gabby, so a lot of people think it's like she is. She is. It's like she, yeah. you have the Gabby like, click uh, and the Simone click, so it's like the Shailise and Kalia Lincoln. Uh, yeah, they're all inspired by Gabby. Yeah, they are. And Shailise publicly has acknowledged it and worked with Gabby. Went to the same gym as Gabby. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you have the the girls like Jordan who are inspired by Simone. But also you yeah. gotta realize Gabby used to um compete with Jordan too, and Gabby used to post also Trinity's inspired by Gabby as well. So you have mm-hmm. like it's like people say it's like a click, like a separation of like, oh, Gabby's who I inspire to be, or Simone's who I inspire to be. But I don't know if I think they're inspired by both, but I just think they identify specifically with more of them. What? But somebody says, what? like, I've heard people say Simone don't like Chalice and them because she like they want Gabby to um like she wants like you know, they, she has a problem with how much they identify with Gabby. But even Simone they, started saying, even Simone started saying that Gabby inspired her though. Cause Simone, bitch, you know damn well Gabby walks so your ass could run. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I feel like it I was Charlize, came to worst. Um, um, go ahead, Cal. I was gonna say I feel like if worst came to worst, Simone would just be all by herself. I mean, I know, like, I know she has more Instagram followers than Gabby. She's the greatest of all time. But I feel like Simone... Gabby don't post like, on know, social we, media we've like that it. either, though. Yeah, but, like, yeah. I just feel like with everything that Simone does, it would kind of just, like, you know, lead to her downfall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate to be the one to tell you. I, I ain't even on the It's only a matter of time before that nigga start cheating on her. Ooh, what you, look, let me tell you, I that boy is, is be, no, he, he, mm, I mean, what's gonna like, happen he is he's gonna get, he, what's gonna happen? He's what? gonna be talking, he's getting a lot of attention from people, and I think he's gonna get caught up like texting or talking to somebody that way. I feel like that that's more of his outlet. Because he's going to be like, well, they text me. I can't control who message DMs me. And no, like he's going to just very much cheat. And I hope that it ain't going to be. I just hope that it is, and it's going to be for Becky, too. Just like the first one was. Oh, God. And don't give me. I can't stand Stacey. Oh. Let me just say something. The biggest scare will be, will it be during the Olympics? Or like during, I hope it's not during oh, this time. Oh, right. So it's like. Well, he should be traveling with her this time. He should travel know, and go. The, yeah, always no, a, because uh, the, the training camps for the NFL is in July as well. Oh man! So it's like, yeah. remember, he couldn't come. I mean, he he couldn't come to come to the Olympic trials last. No, he went to the Olympic trials last time because he's from St. Louis. But um, he, did, he didn't come to nationals last year. He, he couldn't. Yeah, so it's like year. he can't. Like some of them, he gonna miss. But it's like my thing is. During like during this season, that's why she I said her man. Showing up. I mentioned her man like in my thing because it's like you just don't know what the fuck that he gonna be doing this season. Like, 
He, he should show up to uh, every meet he can this season because he, he doesn't we, have anything going on right now. And listen, we know this. A nigga will hold your ass back. Like, oh, so we they'll, fuck, they'll fuck they'll up your you mentality. Up like, you in the grave. Put your ass down. I'm telling you, Simone, I'm uh, telling you, that shit can really. Well, fuck she with literally her. let him say that he's the catch in the interview. That interview would have been wrapped up and over with. Like, I don't even know why. Simone yeah, somebody PR said team, she could. Her PR team should have made sure that interview never even came out. Her PR team didn't know about that interview because I'm telling you, if Simone told them that she was going to that interview with her husband, they would have shut it down. They wouldn't let her do that uh, get up. Well, no, no so that. black people are, are bad on ratchet, ratchet ass, uh, mm -hmm. ratchet ass stuff. So it's like, that's just, let's, right. that's, there's, so that's what all our media outlets are like. So it's like, I don't agree with like, it's one thing to go on a ratchet ass thing and have they little whatever. But the problem was the shit he was saying. It's like, they should have mm -hmm. never let that interview come out. Or they could have edited out those specific parts. Like, yeah, Simone was a fool have. to let that interview drop, like on social media. She was. Uh, team friendships be so funny, but as long as black women are beefing, I'm cool. Yeah. Gabby not coming back for shits and giggles. She coming back for blood. Yeah. She really is. She's coming back for blood. Uh, I agree hundred percent. They seem to still like Suni. Suni was talking hella shit about um Simone's husband. What? Oh, she... Yeah, what I thought this? about it because uh, what did Suni mm -hmm. say? Basically, um, oh shit. <laughs> what did Suni say? Oh, because you remember Jonathan Owen said he didn't know that Chinese people could be Americans. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, you brought that up. Yeah, so that's so, when Suni was like talking her shit because you know, basically, Suni's an Asian American because she felt some kind of yeah. way, but like, yeah. she should. maybe, but like I say, oh, yeah, she reposted something on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, that bitch was talking hell like, shit about, about Simone doing that. Yeah. You know, that's one thing about Simone, you can't talk about that husband. I'll play with some mm. videos in the group, so when y'all get a chance to look at them, you'll see how the girls interact. Simone is very business like she's here to win medal. Though Simone is very much, she likes that brains. man got her going crazy. Let's just say that the man got her. Going oh, he crazy. said Shailise. Shailise, yeah, that's true. No, I thought he said Simone. Yeah, yeah. Michaela yeah. said about Shailise. I Michaela is super unpopular on the internet, but popular with Genesis himself. That's not true. People tolerate her. <laughs> Jade is very much business like as well. I don't see people like Jade don't seem to be that close. Jade is a very sweet girl though. Yes, she mm -hmm, is. She is. I feel like it's because she's shy. I mean, just because you're shy doesn't mean you're sweet, but yeah, you should just like I, that's what I liked about college for Jade. It made her like come out her shell a little bit and stop being so shy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she is good anyway. Like she was medals. She she's the best white gymnast. Yeah, know. Instagram follower followings don't matter that much, but I feel like making a point to unfollow. Yeah, that's true. Shailise mm -hmm. trained with Gabby in Ohio. Too. Yeah, she did. Shailise and Gabby are like cousins. They grew up together. They did. Simone's gym BFF keeps getting younger and younger. Simone. Yes, that is true. Fight. That is a hundred percent. The way she's so attached to Zoe is how she was attached to Jordan in twenty twenty one. And so it's just changing, and then and then how she was with, and now she with Jocelyn the same way. I'm just saying. But it's like her and Jordan were close at the national championships. Though. They were. Mm -hmm. That's and I don't saying, know like, what happened. That's why I don't know why they weren't roommates. Why do you think? And, why do you think something happened between them? Well, yeah, I don't want to say I'm, nothing I'm, happened. I'm I just don't that. think that. I don't think anything That's happened. Crazy. I just think they realized that they weren't as close as they thought you know how people just kind of like say okay well we were close because of gymnastics but you know we ain't got to be day-to-day -day friends we're friends but we're not day-to-day -day friends if that makes right. sense and so i think that's what kind of happened with her and jordan jordan started doing her own thing and then simone you know she's super busy and stuff so yeah mm. he's gonna cheat with an instagram baddie simone is a badass bitch he just go it's gonna be a fucking becky watch to be the most basic white bitch you can even think of like <laughs> But it's if, gonna be if, a bottom of um, Karen. 
Because that's what he liked. All of his girls were bottom of the barrel Beckys before he got with Simone. And before anybody try to attack Langston, whoever go back and watch this live or currently watching it, he's not preying on Simone downfall. He's just mm. we just know who, what type of guy she's married to. I know. I'm telling you. And he we proved know, that to us in the interview. That's what Nick. I'm telling you. That's what niggas would do, especially to black women. Every time I'm telling you, what he hope she's not a prenup. This, this ain't. I'm because, telling you. Like that's people. Care, that's what people are telling Simone. This is Simone isn't the first person this has happened to. This right. is why black women have to be so careful of who they choose because I'm telling you, this is not just this ain't happened. It's happened to a lot, and like this year, it happened to a lot of black women. Like I'm telling you, it's all it's a matter of time before it happens. Mm-hmm. To her. I don't know how long it will be. It can be three or four years from now, but it's gonna happen. And she ever gonna not tell the public about it? Or it could have already happened already, like somebody said, but that it's only a matter of time. He literally made it so. known. I think it will. Settle, he made it known he didn't want to set up, settle down with her in the first place. That was, uh, he could have kept it. He wanted everyone to know that. He was like, so I, when, I didn't when want he cheated on her, he gonna yeah. try to say, oh, she tried to, she tried to push marriage on me in the first place. I wasn't ready. I'm telling you, these niggas is a joke. You gotta clock them every time. We all know Simone Biles' husband is stupid thumb. I don't know if he's stupid. Yo, maybe because he should have he should have never gave that shit away. I do really think Simone thought everyone them. has the same pick mentality and thought there was nothing wrong with what he said. No, because Simone Biles gave no. very much Simone Biles gave very much white feminists. So I don't agree with that. Simone Biles saw herself as a white woman, but she don't have the um advantages that white women have. She don't have the ability to just get men the same way that um, Michaela Skinner can right, like Michaela Skinner. She's a trash ass bitch. She's still a, she's still attracted a multi millionaire. Simone Biles don't have that luxury where it's just that easy for her to succumb to. Simone like that. problem is she's gonna find people that are intimidated by her. That and that's what he is. He's insecure. And, so and she can people find gonna... people like that, but it's like it's it don't come as easy the same way that right. it comes for Nastia and these other girls. Like Nastia has been with how many NFL players? Like. That's that's the thing. <laughs> so it's like Nastia don't be ran through by the NFL, but you ain't here for me. I'm about to ha- I'm about to get off the line. <laughs> How many NFL players has Nastia dated though? A good five or six or so? Like the facts is said the true black men are black women's biggest ops. They some of them are though, hundred percent. Some black women love to see black women suffering more than anything. Uh I and that's why I don't use my channel to advocate for, for black men either. Uh, I didn't think, I don't think any, but anything happened. I think Jordan just maybe has her own life and she's a Nike. Yeah. Uh, Jay's on tour. Oh, I'm speaking on Nastia. See, okay. I've seen her post lately. I don't know what the fuck going on with Nastia. That ain't my problem though. But like I say, Dollar, Dollar Tree Corbin Blue. Nastia, you, uh, who said I was wrong though? There's nothing wrong with being ran through, but how many people have you seen Nastia date? Like, Nastia don't have and they, <laughs> a lot of public relationships. I'm telling you, it got to be a good five or six NFL players that we know of. Did you see Floppy on floor? She Floppy fell on floor again. <laughs> <laughs> Flavia, <laughs> Flavia, what are you doing, girl? Like that choreo is not Felipe. Aren't you Brazilian? Oh yeah, that blonde, that Targaryen wasn't doing it for me. Are y'all still on the live? Yeah. Y'all, y'all quiet as a I'm mouth. still here. I just got, I'm a, you know, I work at a hospital. This man talking on the intercom. Oh, uh, that's why Flopia is, ooh. Felipe said, I am Brazilian. Are you talking about your girl like that? <laughs> you know, and if you see scent, you know, you can, you can say that Flavia is inconsistent. But I'm honest, she had better routines before. Okay, so Felipe, go ahead and clear these hoes that want to sit up here and say I'm anti Brazilian. Cause I know you don't been watching my shit for a minute. Uh, 
But y'all gonna keep Rebecca's name out your mouth. Rebecca do fuck around, but so does Flavia. And the thing is, Rebecca is winning medals, though. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay. yeah, Rebecca do fuck around very much so. But Rebecca is still out here winning medals. Flavia don't yes, Flavia Flavia fuck around, fuck around because Flavia ain't getting shit around her neck except Panda medals. <laughs> <laughs> that that a certain Swiss woman, you know, made a controversial move oh to put, mm. you know, that tweet um that was yes. like excluding, yeah. Mm -mm. Rebecca should have been the only person in the picture. Yeah, what? Why the talking about who are the best Brazilian athletes? This bitch gonna put Flavia in the pic. What? Mm -mm. Maybe maybe in ten years time when she has like, you know, twenty medals, but as of now. Mm -mm. I saw this. I already posted Hell, it. Posted did you say out. Flavia would have 20 medals? Yeah. I mean, she won't, but... Oh, well, no. For counting the little bit, the little medals she won, like Pan Ams and World Cup when no one else yeah, was there. Like yeah. I said, Flavia, the queen of Pan Ams. Yeah, the queen of Pan Ams. Who else the queen of... The queen of Euros is Melanie. Who else is the Queen of Euros? Um, the model Jessica, like Jessica Gadrova. Jessica is a Jessica win medals on the international stage too, though. Yeah, she does. She does, but Euros as well. Mm -hmm. Melanie, Jessica yeah. is the best. Jessica is the best gymnast in Europe. She it's just is. Melanie don't hit. I think Melanie's a better gymnast than Jessica, but Jessica is the best gymnast in Euro Europe, Europe in terms of like consistency and you know what I'm saying. So it's like she should be. Ellie Black. Ellie Black got like what three medals though on the world championship stage? No, I want Ellie Black to just turn up. I just medals. want her to turn up. Yeah. Ellie Black can Do turn up, oh, but she ain't gonna do nothing to Shiley's like. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no man. One thing about Fly is she can't get a world medal. She gonna get she gonna finesse the pin ass. Yeah, she sure is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Tara, she's going to have sport. about 20 medals. She's not competed at every Pan Am the last 10 years. Yeah, Melanie is yeah, fucking yeah. around. Melanie did decent. She did decent at this World Cup, especially for her first competition. But I want to say, I don't know what Melanie's going to do at this World Championship, at this Olympics. Nothing. Unless they get okay. over, France get overscored. Team finals. Flavia Safalia. <laughs> what I don't like it was the that, way um, Felipe put up in the comments dragging Flavia. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that Melanie. I don't know. I think we yeah, talked about this in the group about Melanie uh floor routine. But listen, there she clicked with the tumbling though. Oh yeah, she got a double layout. <laughs> she got a double layout. Okay. She got a front layout, a double double. It's her third. I'm like Melanie and Melanie. Um, Melanie um upgraded on both her tumbling passes. Pan Ams is Flavia's Olympics, very much so. It is. <laughs> Georgia May is the princess of European games. <laughs> no, Georgia yeah. May. Georgia May got her. She got her medal today. Listen, okay, what she do on being? <laughs> No, listen, Georgia um, May is the queen of the um Commonwealth game. She is. But so Georgia is May, to be fair. What thing about Georgia May? She gonna turn up for that Commonwealth fly. <laughs> <laughs> I think France will push themselves. I don't think it would be enough. That's the thing. Like when you're thinking about it, Melanie's still like the thing with Jessica is. Jessica is still really good. So even though they overscore her, it has to be believable. Like they help right. Jessica, right? Like right. so it's like with Melanie, it's like like the math they have to help Melanie with. I don't, I don't right now it's not there. Oh, Sean is the Empress of the Asian game. Why you gotta say Empress? It's given very much racially motivated. <laughs> <It's Empress>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Because he's from Asia, but fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Facts. Like, oh, you shot is so fucking overrated. Like, but they loved it some oh, you shot, baby. Yeah. 
Were you mm. gonna say Calvin? I was gonna be like, what's she even done to be gassed up? Like, what's she done? It's that whip from... with the triple twist. Like, I'm telling you, they love that. They love me some of that. And oh, you shine mm. used to have a triple twist on Beam too, baby. I'm telling you, they they thought oh, you shine was gonna be where Zao is right now on Beam. Like, right? She fell in 2022 the Beam finals. She didn't yeah, make it and any... Scott Blakely broke my heart. I wanted to see Oggy yeah. Sean and Scott Blakely battle out on Beam. Yeah, that would be that would be fun. Who do you think but would it's win? Like both of them fucked up. Yeah, that's true. I think. Them, what were you gonna say? I think Sky could maybe beat OU Sean at their best, but they probably both fall. I don't know about. It. I feel like OU Sean at her best. OU Sean at her best could rival Simone, maybe beat her. But that's at her. Like I said, I believe it when I see it. Yeah, she's in my best, the lottery. You understand? In my best, I can get the lottery. Oh, you but said that about not. Becky too. Because yeah, you talking about <laughs> what did you say about Becky? I was like, bitch, I won the lottery before Becky get a fifteen all bars. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's what you say. Yeah. No, I would. <laughs> Becky could. Becky could get a fifteen first. Listen, Becky was very. Y'all forget Becky was gassed up going into Rio too, because Becky cleared Aaliyah Mustafina. At that um Euros in 2016, and what what did Leah do to her in Rio? Mm. Becky didn't even make bar finals. She didn't make bar finals in Rio. So, like I said, bitch, Becky. No, you know what? Becky is the queen of the Europeans. <laughs> yeah, she is actually. I'm just looking at her Wikipedia now. She has Becky got like what um, three or four European titles on bars. Yeah, th- two two on bars, but three because she has an extra one from the team. Um, no, Becky won. Medals. Becky Becky won bar finals last year, right? Um, no, she didn't. She got silver last year, but she Who got gold her? with the team. Um, wait, let me check. Um, we beat her. Um, that would be Alice Alice Domato. Okay, I, I see that. But I know yeah. she enough for Queen of Euros. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> How many medals does she have? Um, she has six six European medals. Not a damn world championship medal. <laughs> no, she has one with the team in 2019, but no individual. Alice was around all the way back then? Yeah. She oh, was. she definitely I didn't even know that. Overrated. She should have definitely been on that overrated list. <laughs> I, I thought... I thought Alice, I thought Alicia had been competing since this quad. I didn't know she don't have two quads to get her shit together. Yeah, neither did I, but it shows a bronze here from 2019. Very much overrated. The, Very much Italy white mediocrity. Um, <clears throat> like, the Italy team, like, together they're decent, but individually they're just like, mm-mm. Sing it with me. Um, sing it with me, Cal. Look at this comment. I would rather go blind. <laughs> this is got a Paris baby. Uh uh-uh. uh. You you already know once the answer to him is got <laughs> Paris. And Italy coming for everybody's throats in the team. Baby. Final. I would send Emily back to Paris, bitch. Before I, what you think this is? She ain't finna be Josephine Baker, baby. She ain't going to Paris. No. I'd rather her go to Paris than Kayla the cello, though. I sure would. If Marta was in charge, yeah. Sky Blakely would have no chance of going to the Olympics. Chico, say I'm wrong, though. She would have let her slide in, in 2022 because of the ribbon. She would have been like, because I know that would have been your no goal. Damn ribbon, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she she would have gave her, but no, she would have gave her another chance because of the ribbon. Because she would have saw, oh, Sky had that gold medal in the bag. She would have been pissed, but okay, you get one more chance. Now, then she fucked around and fell this year or last year, remember? That would have been. Hey, listen. You know, and I, I then, um, what is it? When a cut would have been the sign, sealed, delivered. <laughs> <laughs> or she would have drilled her, yeah. Sky wouldn't have been able to go home. She would have had Sky working until she had that beam and bar or whatever beam routine memorized. I think Martha would have been like, "Go up, go up, go up." If anybody walked in the gym, go do your beam team. Go do your beam team. 
and that's what they really need to have her doing, though. They really need yeah, to have her right. just doing Marta her full was, routine on spot. Marta, listen, I don't know what Marta did to Gabby, but it worked in 2012. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, it did. Cause she, it did. Marta, Marta would have the thing. The good thing is, if Marta would have been in charge, Sky Blissey probably would have never fucked around in the first place in the beginning. Exactly. Exactly. If, you make a valid. If Marta was in control as of now, Sky Blicker, you be done. <laughs> Sky Blick would be lucky to even make it to um 2028. Because you know Marta hold her some grudges. <laughs> Sky would have to prove herself. And that's when, like, the next worlds and all that stuff would come into play. But like I said, Mar- so be, that's what she Marta like. would blackball you. That's what you don't understand. Like, Maddie Larson was blackballed. Mm-hmm. Like, when, when you got on Marta's bad side, your ass was never going to see the light of day. Ellie Sykes is the def- definition of white mediocrity. Me- very much. Gabby going to do the same routines at the upcoming qualifiers. If Marta was still here, Sky would be the next Maddie Larson. Yep, would have disappeared. Yup. You never heard from Sky Blakely again. Marta would have been up on that beam breaking down. <laughs> she would have threw something at that beam. I'm yeah. telling you. That, Marta was so Marta, mad. Marta didn't want to look. She didn't like to lose. She didn't like to lose. And the fact that that gold medal was in Sky hand in 2022, that would have just sent her through it. She probably would have grabbed her by the neck. You know how she hooked, grabbed him by the neck. <laughs> she, Marta was she so would grab her by the neck and walk over to the side. Um, Simone just tweeted when I was. She let Alicia. Oh shit! Did you see yeah, Simone she, Biles she, she, put that thing over her lips on Twitter? What is she talking about? Three, three zipper emojis. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. Somebody said she pregnant. Oh, don't wish that on her. Don't wish that on her. Simone wouldn't dare get pregnant. No, she wouldn't. She probably the, 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 year, but, the, the year the Olympic Games. But why she mm. got three no. of those though? Maybe Jonathan's done something about to divorce. her. No, she's not. Yeah, Scott would have had that oh. ribbon in her head. Uh, they should have. Sky would have fucked. Marla would have fucked around and made Sky was drawing. Let uh, motherfucking Shiley's compete in bar bean finals though. Like, you just never know what that damn Marta Crowley like. <laughs> you know, Sky. Sky, she's like the only person but Simone. And probably Connor that can fall. He'll put a 13 for 13 five. That those are the only other people that can do it. Connor, Simone, and Sky. I don't see uh, Suni putting fell, up that high. Well, Suni, Suni, Suni fell. Suni fell. She did. She did. Beam. Um. So I mean, Suni as and well. National, I think Gabby. Did. Gabby can fall and put up a pretty decent score as well on being. Mm-hmm. Especially Gabby. The good thing about Gabby and um. Gabby caught a lot of these other girls. Gabby you know, has fallen and still, yeah. If Gabby falls, she's probably gonna fall on an acrobatic skill. If Suni falls, she's gonna fuck around and lose a, a requirement. <laughs> like, <laughs> <three years>. <laughs> <laughs> which is she gonna lose one in the half? That does make a big difference. That does make a big difference. So it's like when you fall on when you fall on a bat with a fool or like a back tuck or something, you're still gonna get that connection, right? The what what uh-huh. really did what really did Sky Blakely in is when she fell on her dismount and lost that point two dismount bonus. Yeah, and lost the connection for that damn yeah. dismount. That's what really fucked Sky. If up. she didn't fall on her dismount, she would have had what? What was her? What she would have been, been like nothing. a probably like a thirteen five or thirteen four or something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bitch. You lost your composition requirement and your connection value. Yeah, she and. St- what was that point? Point two. Point, point two plus point, uh, point five because mm-hmm. the uh, double pack is point mm-hmm. five. Point seven. Yeah, that's a bit much. That is a lot, actually. <laughs> two point seven. That, that's a whole point. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Sky. Yeah. 
I don't. I think they gave her the E. I yeah. think. I think they just took back the uh, D. The D. The, yeah, I th they had to get her the E because if they didn't get her the E skill. Uh, she would have been lower than <laughs> lower than that because y'all ain't get another pawn. <laughs> <laughs> But she just never know what does. Sometimes the judges just feel like being petty, like uh hell Leanne spun around the beam. Okay, she was but since Leanne popped hanging off a dead life. She did. That's a fighter. They should have let Sky do being the thing is if Sky would have fell on beam and team they should have let... fell on beam and team finals. Brazil could have won. Listen, no, go ahead and pack up your bags. Then. No, they still would have had a higher yeah, score. Had a higher if score, Scott would have failed, they, still, they would have had a higher score. Fell, two two points higher. Failed, if she would have failed, go ahead and um go ahead and pack up. I would I would have said, go ahead, go to your room, baby, <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and catch that flight. <laughs> I could I I could see that. Now, if she would have failed again in team final, I could see that. You done. Just, but that's why Scott's safe for being because she can fall. Not say if she's my choice, she's a safer choice. That's why they should put her up on being because if, if that's the only you know, thing more he did it was smart. Because if Riley com if Morgan competed beam two, that means Morgan and Simone would have competed every event in team finals. Like how they did Simone and Charlie mm -hmm. this year. So that's why they put Riley up. Right. Also, they had Grace as well. They could have sent up over more because Grace had a Grace didn't get to compete all around, but Grace had a beam routine as well. So it's mm -hmm. like that. That's why they let Riley go up on Bean, because it's like right, that at that time you say was far ahead. Riley was. I thought Riley was a little bit better on Morgan and Bean anyway. But also, if they would have put Morgan up, that means that they would have Simone and Morgan would have competed every event in team finals, and that's just a disaster ass strategy. Well, you know they you don't um, ever put. That's very much desperation when you put in two gymnasts to do all around in team finals. Marta would have yeah, paid for Scott Uber. <laughs> she would pay for her Uber to you. All right, look, we yeah. not we not finna drag Scott. We not finna drag Scott. You didn't it's say so you didn't say Marta would have done that though. <laughs> I just I said we ain't finna drag Scott. Y'all can't <laughs> y'all can't talk about her. I got folks saying she's pregnant. She better not be. Three months before no. Christmas, I don't think so. Mm. But I'm telling you, that nigga gonna he gonna try to he gonna try to um get her pretty so he can secure a bag out of her. Does that mean he gonna get out of her? Right. He really would. I mean, or he is, rather. I hope she signed a prenup. I mean even if a prenup ain't gonna protect her from child support. Oh yeah, you're right. Everybody yeah, black people would just like blow up his social media. No, but it, like I said, they did it. They did it before. They ain't gonna change anything. Like the rules are the rules. He gonna get that child support. The same way Mary J. Blige's husband did. Like I'm telling you. Same way Wendy Williams' husband. Like Sky would not have that ribbon in her hair. Marta would still be three months before Paris. Everyone tweeting that she is pregnant. I hope not. They're just talking out their ass. Simone not even that reckless to let herself get pregnant. Mm. Um, G literally shot and Simone shouldn't have to do all around in team. No. It was Jocelyn's fault. <laughs> well, no, what Jocelyn, would you risk? They were gonna do it anyway because Jocelyn's just gonna do vault and floor, which means that Shy right. they were gonna they were gonna she was gonna do that anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, but still. Yeah, they both were gonna do all around. And where would you rest them? Because clearly they're the best scorers on every event. So right. Where, where would you gonna rest? So they they should have. They should have. They should have put Sky Blakely up on vault and let Shylee rest and put Leanne up on yeah. vault and let Simone rest. Yeah. That's how they could. Yes, they should have done. Because they couldn't let Shylee not compete bars. They could have let Simone not compete ball. Like, but they could have at least let Simone sit down on bars. Or they could have still had Simone compete all around and let Sky Blakely ball. Mm -hmm. Because Sky Blakely ain't balling anyway internationally, so why not? I don't know why they haven't let her let her ball though. Like that's crazy because her ball is good. I I'm not gonna take that away from the sky. She got a good ball. Simone ball. You know. Some of y'all need to come on the live. I want some of y'all to come on this motherfucking live, bitch. Click that link. Click that link, y'all. 
that Biles family has always been smart with money. I'm sure they made sure Simone was protected before the marriage. Mm. Nice like true. I said, if they were smart, they wouldn't let her marry him in the first place. That is also true. <laughs> they would have, like, Simone Biles' mom is not for her. I know that, bitch. I know we, we as black people know that. That her mom is the reason she's in the situation she is in now. Because her mom, I feel I get, it gives very much a colorism situation. They ain't no old fashioned. An old fashioned don't pick no nigga that got less money than you, bitch. You pick a provider. Exactly. So, no, bitch. What is old, old fashioned about what? Because he's, he's a the breadwinner. broke. He moved into her house. He was staying at her house for a while. Yeah, you move in with a nigga, bitch. So, like I said, if Simone was gonna marry NFL player, she needed to marry a Tom Brady, a motherfucking uh, Patrick Mahomes equivalent. Okay, like you need to marry a top oh. NFL player. Mm. You got me at work week. How how do I be making y'all laugh so much? Like I can't be as funny as y'all swear. Like you really are, especially when you start yeah, singing you all your uh all she your do not be Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Travis Kelsey do does black women dirty. That is not who she mean. That wigger ass nigga. No the fuck she don't. Leave that leave that wigger where he needs to be, okay? Let that wigger take all the Taylor Swift's money. Wig off. <laughs> He is a wigger. <laughs> you tell me I'm wrong, Chico. That is very much what Travis Kelsey is. Mm. And I'm telling you, black black women, stay away from wiggers. Because they are the same as niggas, just white. I'm telling you, do not. That is not what you want, bitch. Y'all be talking about these spicy whites. They spicy, broke as fuck. That's what they are with no money. If you're going to get you a white man, you need to get you a white man to have some money, to have a provider mentality don't go to this to a nigga that got the same kind of jonathan he got the same mentality as jonathan owens just white the fuck out of my face over here yeah and he gonna get that damn child support but i'm glad listen travis kelsey i'm telling you he want a ring from um taylor swift i'm telling you, he gonna take all this taylor swift money he gonna own. He gonna own all the all the copyrights to her damn songs, bitch. I swear to God. Very much the same nigga as Simone Biles' husband. Just for yeah. Do, do you know that um, Travis Kelsey had his ex paying for half of the shit and stuff like that? Tico, did you see that? Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that. Basically, like she had to pay like half on the vacation. Halfway Every NFL time. player, I, I know you fucking lying, bitch. Couldn't have been me. <laughs> Say what now? Like I read it, like oh he he tried it. And that's why it's like as much as I hate Michaela Skinner, said you want to see it about her man, but her man, like I said, her man ain't, ain't as bad as Simone Biles' man. Her man is a provider. He a protector for her. He is not the same as Simone Biles, man. That's what y'all not going to do. He also runs her and everything in her life, so she can't. Mm, but even still, know. like I said, that's true, but if, 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 if Skinner divorced him, she the one that's going to get the money. You're right. You're right. So it's not the same as Simone Biles' situation. Not at all. So that's what we not going to do. Her man is gross, though. Uh, he's not ugly. He's not loyal, huh? Jonathan, he's not ugly, but he's not like trustworthy. Not loyal. We're talking about Jonas. That's his name, Jonas. It is. Yeah, Jonas. Jonathan. Wait, huh? What? No, his name is Jonathan. We're talking about. Oh, we're talking about Michaela, man. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Never mind, never mind. (laughs) Did y'all see how he went off in Tokyo when they got that silver medal? And he was tweeting to my this is why Michaela should have been on the tw- team. So which one is it? Skinner should have made the team because she was fourth, or she should have made the team because of math. Because the math, because she finished below Grace. Remember that was her argument against Gabby. So mm-hmm. it's like she did keep the same argument, bitch. 
like that's one thing about Jonas Rides to Skinner, bitch. That's what you can say. And like, you can't say that for Simone Biles, man. Mm. Like I'm telling nah, you, them white men, them white men were quick to tear Gabby Douglas down to protect them white bitches. That's one thing about them versus us. They gonna protect their basic ass bitches. That's what that's what black people don't understand. That's why I give it to people because it's like you don't ever choose no white bitch over your own, never. Because they would never do the same thing when it comes to you. You have to no, very much wouldn't. think. Same thing with Asians and Hispanics too. They would never do that. It's only us that play by the fair rules. They don't do that. That's why you have you don't ever give them that luxury, bitch. Never. Don't ever sit up here and say that no white gymnast, no Asian gymnast, nothing is better than a black gymnast. Never. You never hear that come out of my mouth. Will I sit up here that like Khalil Lincoln deserves? Like the thing is, if Khalil Lincoln makes the team over Jay Carey, I will never say that Jay Carey was robbed. I don't care if it's true or not, bitch. It will never come out of my mouth. I will say that I don't think she should be on a team over her. But if they announce tomorrow that Khalil Lincoln's on the Olympic team, I'm going to be Khalil Lincoln's biggest fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she gonna have, she yeah. gonna have to show out. She ain't got no choice. You get that but you spot. get what I'm saying, though. Even, yeah. Like I say, it's just certain things you need to stay on code. Mm -hmm. Would I like saying that Jay Carey deserves something over Clea Lincoln? Would I like saying that? What they look like? What the opposite look look like? Saying that a white woman deserves something over a black woman? I don't give a fuck if it's true or not, but. All the shit black women go through in the world. You think I'm gonna sit up here and try to take up take up uh, Olympic place and Kalia Lincoln if she gets it? Like, no. Same thing with Sky Blakely. Is Sky Blakely make Olympic team, bitch? Oh, she deserved it, and I will argue. I will argue y'all, all y'all motherfuckers down. I sure the fuck will, bitch. I'm gonna bring up the fact that Grace still made it, even if, even if I was picking, I wouldn't pick the team. But if she gets that motherfucking spot, she got it now. Now what? Now what? Like, that's what y'all need to understand. Y'all need to make sure to argue on code. Be hypocritical. I don't give a fuck. That's what they do. Give them the same energy. Don't let them play che chess and you play checkers with them. Uh, where do you be pulling this stuff from? You just come up with analogies yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> All these metaphors, like... Yeah. This, I just point, think... Bro. <laughs> uh, one, one thing I would think Grace is being on a team over Skinner. Yep, I same thing. She, I would take Grace over Skinner. Because Grace could be used everywhere. That's the first That's time the I difference. rooted for Grace. I was scared that Skinner was going to be fourth instead of Grace. I was rooting for Grace at the, at the I sure was. That's how you know I was desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we didn't know who was getting Grace. that fourth spot. We really well, didn't know who was getting that fourth spot. I was rooting spot. for Grace, baby. I was rooting for Grace. Like, because every every competition they kept leading up and they kept saying, well, Simone, Sunni, and Jordan, they're going to definitely make the team. It's that fourth all this, spot. Obvious rah rah about black women, but you want to get your lips bigger. It's funny, isn't it? Let me go look for that because I didn't see you. Grace um had some crazy upgrades during COVID. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, would. Yeah, that we know. That's it. It's not what you mm -hmm. could have done. Is what you did. <laughs> and you know what? I saw them upgrades. Flex feet bent me. His leg separation. Like, oh, she did get her lips did, but she was the one who's talking about fuck me. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in could have. I don't believe in what should have. I believe in what happened. Oh, that's it, Cal. Cal gonna quote one thing about a Cal. He's gonna quote Langston word from word. <laughs> yeah, Cal. Do. How do you remember everything that I say? I watch your videos all the time. Like I could just watch one of your videos once, and I'll just remember everything you say. Your quotes are just memorable. Mm, I, a lot of people say that because you see, even my haters. Someone on it's Twitter time for you to like, make merch. You need to start making merch. I one of my haters it. on Twitter. Someone had posted. How China got a billion people don't got one double sister Yurchenko. And um he the my head said in the comments, I know a Gymnania quote when I see it. Bitch, you how the Ooh. fuck you remember my quotes as a hater? Like bitch, you're, that's that's where it's like that don't make no sense to me. I think Grace Michaela beat Grace on beam and qualifications. Yeah, but Michaela beat Grace beat her on floor and on bars. Even with Grace hitting the bar, she still outscored Michaela.
It'd be Michaela Skinner's chance for me. God. <laughs> the listen, the the face be orange, but the um uh, the 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 um hands be pink. It really does. <laughs> Michaela, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Mm -mm. But I know she can't go toe to toe with Gabby. Reagan's towns are so bad. Reagan, another one of them jealous Beckys. And she got her karma in 2017. God don't like ugly baby. <laughs> Y'all, all y'all had some nerd to be talking about Gabby, and it's like, no. Who is gonna come on this live? I'm tired of y'all doing all these comments. Like, I want someone to talk. Come on and join. Uh, Reagan got held what? back by Kim Zemeskel. Uh, but even with even without Kim Zemeskel, we not gonna sit up here like Reagan would have ever been able to clear Gabby. Like, Kyle, what time is it over there? It's 3 a.m. Ooh! I thought so. <laughs> and your ass still yeah. up? Mm -hmm. Cal, Cal, Cal don't no. sleep. No, it's Allie don't sleep. No, no, no. Allie don't sleep. I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I could stay up for a while. I would have done it when the Olympic Games were happening in Tokyo, but I was just like, no, I can't be. Yeah, I but it was the I World Championships to me. Like, then World yeah, Championships is coming on like. 12 o'clock in that interview. Yeah, they were, yeah, and they were like four, 3 and 4 a.m. where I was at. I was up. It was like 7. It was like 7 p.m. for me, so it was fine. Cam did so many, so many of those Texas, Texas nightmares, not Texas dreams. There was no, so many of them in 2017. They were all overrated. Even, like I said, the talent wasn't talenting. Like, even if they would have had better coaching, like, you mean to tell me Reagan Smith could have cleared Gabby? Like, if, if she would have went to the same gym yeah, as Gabby, but... like, <laughs> like yeah. let's be so for Like, Bailey Key was, I think Bailey Key was the most talented of the Texas Dream Girls. Hey, what happened to those gay, the Gage girls? Um, yeah. One... Gay, oh my there. God. Al Fung just be having some bad routine construction, like, Why why do people send their girls to Texas Nightmares? Like no one from Texas Nightmares has ever made the Olympics. <laughs> has has any Texas Nightmares even won a world championship individual medal? Mm -hmm. Cause I remember Grace went down in 2017. Like, what has Texas Nightmares ever done? I'm gonna tell y'all who what coach Stout is gonna go up. It's gonna be Sarah. Sarah's gonna be getting so many athletes that want to come work with her after working with Charlize. Yeah, be crazy. But she got to make sure Charlize don't get too per country out on everything. She better make sure. Uh, uh, not nah, or and still make the Olympics. Uh, right. now nah, Reagan and Ooh. Michaela was touching Gabby on what? Michaela was touching. Michaela could beat Gabby on floor. Her Aminar wasn't even better than Gabby's Aminar when she had it. Her double sister Chenka wasn't either. And if Gabby, no, it's have, she... listen, if Gabby, if Gabby made it up in her mind to have a chain, her chain would look better than Skinner's and very much would. Her execution would be better. Legs would be glued together. Like, her don't like the air, the distance from the board, and the height. Michaela oh, I thought that wasn't distance. touching. Reagan could beat Gabby on beam. But on the other events, and I don't even know about that because I think Gabby's bean would still go toe to toe with hers. But I think Reagan could, like 2016, Reagan could have beaten Gabby on bean. But the, the the gap on bars and vault was so much, baby. <laughs> like, let's be like y'all barely beat Gabby with two falls.
Maggie, Maggie was like I said, Maggie, you couldn't be a 2016 Gabby. Imagine you competing with Gabby in London, baby. She would dust you by like three points. You never got she to compete. You never competed against never Gabby that had an Amador and Gabby that had a one and a half triple on four baby. You never competed against that Gabby. Texas nightmares Man. don't did nothing but produce Freddy Krueger. That's all he don't. That's all they don't done, bitch. <laughs> this is my problem with USA. They got to send these girls off to get scored. They have to. Not, but these not scores are a joke, though. I know, but I, I, that makes me question how they're gonna grade the U.S. girls here domestically without. I don't know. Yeah, what if they start giving Kayla sports teams on everything? I'm gonna be pissed off. 2024 do do that. Club, Gabby. I don't think Gabby can beat her 2012 self this year. If she can, I think she. I think this will be the best we've ever seen Gabby on bars. Maybe the best you've ever seen her on Bean. But I don't think, no. maybe even Floor too. But is Gabby going to have her amateur like she did? Like, I, that's the thing. Like, mm. Mm -mm. like I think whatever she has. Go ahead. I was going to say, whatever Gabby has can beat Shy Lisa at her best. But yeah, I don't think she has her amateur back on. Oh, I think she could get it, but I don't think she's going to do it. No. It's not worth it. Gabby's been quiet no. for reasons she about to clear. Yeah. That's you know that they doubted her. I know Gabby motivated now. Right. I wonder who Gabby wanna take down is I think Gabby wanna take down Sunny. Like, you know how Gabby just get in her mind I'm take Maggie Nichols down. Like it's it's one <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think Gabby just been approved. She's taking everybody down, all the haters down. And I she know, but like, it's I'm like here. Gabby was on a top. mission. She was on a mission to beat Baggy Nichols. You know what I'm talking about? Like, mm -hmm. it's like she find one gymnast and she get on a mission to beat. Like, and it's like, I wonder who that girl is. Is it, I think it's Suni. Like, I think, cause Suni is really gassed up compared to Gabby. And I think Gabby want to bring her back down to earth. Like, yeah. Like first it was it was Ali, then it was Jordan. All around that class. They don't have a choice. It was Jordan. So Olympic it was year, Jordan. It was Kona. It was all Maggie. Around. It was a competition. So, but the, we're gonna see the two gymnasts that Gabby wanted to take down more than anybody was Maggie and Jordan Weaver, and succeeded and on both that. of them. And to be honest, <laughs> she was she should have taken Ali down in qualifications in Rio. Mm -hmm. Cause listen, Gabby yeah, was on a mission to take Ali man, down man. in Rio. Like, he <laughs> was over school. That's the only reason. It's just the judges, know. but Gabby, like, I'm telling you, when Gabby get on her mission, boo, that is not who you want. People mm -hmm. aren't being realistically about Sunny. They not like I'm telling you, the the code really fucks with Sunny on bars. It's gonna be very difficult for Sunny to come up with a, with a realistic, consistent bar routine. Yeah, that's the only thing she really has. I wouldn't even say she has balance beam. That she got better. She got better beam. hope on beam than bars to me. Mm. What does she have on beam? You've seen her on beam. Well, I've I've seen uh, she's training a double pike, but I don't know. I don't. Know. She probably has a side arrow. You saw her beam routine in classic. That's still like a six point something beam. She's gonna got to do this mount yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but Sunny has the beam routine. She, it's just not consistent. Yeah, if she if she hits it, then yeah. If it's like twenty twenty one shape at trials, then I okay, I'm back. But you think the problem for Sunni is if she can't even put up a, a good score on bars, what her beam like? Why would you just take? That's yeah. the problem for Sunni. It's like Sunni needs to Sunni needs a bar. Sunni is known for bars. Like her beam can be good all at once, but it's like she needs a bar routine to back it up. And she also needs at least a double twist of your chain out. Like, we mm -hmm. at least need SUNY on three events. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what well, we like taking SUNY for two events. Because what if one person goes down? We can't put SUNY up on bottom floor, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, well, I don't know what she's working on right now for floor, but I thought her floor was fine in 2021. I don't know why people kept counting it her was, out. Like but she went, we ain't like seen she her complete though. floor. 
Oh, well, no, yeah, yeah. As of now, yeah. You're right. We haven't seen her complete floor. I think she was doing, at the last trainer camp, she was doing a couple of past on the trampoline um, on, that, on that. It's like double layouts and stuff like that. 2018 was funny because, two, and you know, 2018, Morgan and Simone used to have beef. Well, Morgan held everything down in 2017, so. I guess Simone she came back. Like, I'm still there. Yeah. <laughs> she is, but Morgan, Morgan had her little spam account, everything when she was talking shit about Simone Biles and her little um Finsta. Mm. But this Morgan and Simone, Simone became friends at the world championships, but they had beef. Simone has beef with everyone. In no, one she way don't. Or I think Gabby has beef with almost everyone. <laughs> yeah, but Gabby making has, up the Gabby beef, has beef for Gabby. Gabby. They be making yeah. up the beef. Maggie, together. Scanner, like, Maggie and Scanner just... have the biggest beef with Gabby. But like I said, Maggie, bitch, you're just mad because you just could never. You know that. Like, and Scanner, you can never as well. And it's like, so it's like Maggie and Scanner, they have beef with Gabby as well as Reagan Smith. But I think Reagan Smith don't move past that, but she used to. Uh, Simone, I don't think Simone has beef, but it could be. Gabby, Maggie, Maggie is still to this day saying that Gabby robbed her on the Olympics. Yeah, Michaela uh, is too. Michaela Maggie Skinner literally too. just went on. And the thing is, Maggie, you and Skinner could not have both been robbed by Gabby. Which one is it? Only one of y'all could have made the team. So which one is it, bitch? Because even if you remove Gabby, that's only one spot. One of y'all weren't going to the Olympics regardless. You mentioned every time Gabby's mentioned his mention is because no one cares about Suni. Like I swear to God, nobody gives a fuck about her. I know a lot of y'all love Suni Lee, but no one gives a fuck yeah. about her outside of gymnastics. Who you know? No, do you know anyone that knows Suni Lee? Um, Cal. No, like even after Tokyo, like no one really knows who she is. What about no you? One, but like. No, yeah, no. A couple of people that, that know her. But we all um are from, you know, we stay in Alabama. So we went to, a lot of people go to Auburn and when they seen her and stuff like that. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because you from, yeah. but I'm talking about like your actual black friends that you know, like. Out, you know, no, I got I got general. two black, I got, I got two of my general black friends that know who she is without me telling them. Yeah. Because no one I know knows who Sunny Lee is, except for my mom. I was shocked when my brother-in-law knew who she was. Yeah, but no one else knows. Like, Suni Lee is very irrelevant outside of gymnastics. And I hate that for her, right. but it's like... I don't think she had the right not. type of team with her. For her to win, she needed management, you know, PR team, stuff like that. For her I to live get in her New York. Out she, there. she is not popular. In New I can get hella New Yorkers on this, on this live right now. Don't nobody in New York know Suni Lee. Like let's be so yeah, clear but if, right if you ask like anyone well, anyone in the world, like anyone in the UK or America, go, you if you go you know, up in New York in Times Square and just start asking random people who is SUNY Lee, they not gonna know. But if you go up to someone at Walmart and ask who is Gabby Douglas, they're gonna know who Gabby Douglas is. Yeah, they're gonna be the there's, the there's some people there's some people who don't know flip. who Gabby is, but nine times out of ten they're gonna know who Gabby is. Even in Japan, bitch, like I can go up to ask Japanese people, do you know who Gabby Douglas is? Uh, six, six, seventy percent of the time, they're gonna tell me who Gabby is. They might not know what she does. They might not know not one skill she does, but they've heard her name before. Mm. But I, I've yet, I've only met two or three Japanese people in my life that know who Suni Lee is, and this is someone who won here. So it's like. No, baby. Like I said, I don't think she really just had. And I know, I know she's not because Gabby made history, and so did Sunny. Sunny made history for her culture and her people. And but I want to say also. something though. Like, but I don't think she had the right team Corey. behind her. I feel like she should have had like a better like team, get her name out there, getting her ads, commercials, helping her out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
let me say something else that someone said is true. I think that the biggest problem is Asian Americans are not united the same way Black Americans are. Like, you have mm. Chinese Americans, you have Korean Americans, you have, like, I know Sunni Lee is Hmong. You have Vietnamese American. Like, they associate by ethnicity. Black people associate by race. So it, mm. it doesn't matter if you are Haitian, if you are Jamaican, if you are Nigerian. We're going to root for someone Black regardless of where they come from. Like, so Gabby Douglas mm -hmm. is popular amongst Jamaicans. She's popular. Same thing with Simone. If you go to, uh, if you ask someone from Africa who is Simone Biles, they're going to know who Simone Biles is. But if you ask an Asian person, like if, when I ask someone from Japan, Japanese people don't see themselves in Suni Lee because she's not Japanese. So it's not the same as, it's not, it's not the mm, same. That makes sense. They also, she also got some backlash because she wasn't, um, like, I know a lot of people are going crazy about her, like, just her in general, the way she talks and uh, the kind of music and stuff she listens to and all that stuff. So a lot of people was kind of, like, down on her for that. Yeah, Sunni Lee his mom, but moms don't make up a large chunk of the American population. No, they don't. And, and I think that, um, you know, Korean Americans as well as Asian and Chinese Americans, they don't realistically see someone whose mom is... I, it's, it's, it's not the same as us, like, cause like for me, I don't care where the black person is from. Any black person is a, is a win for me, right? Mm -hmm. It's not the same. It's like them. They don't see every Asian as a win for them. Like they, they don't have that same mentality that we do. So it's just the fact that people don't. I most of the the most of the success that Gabby and Simone have comes from racial identification. It comes from the fact that black people see themselves in them. That's why they're so popular. And because black people see themselves in them, they elevate them to the global media. If black people were not gassing Gabby up, white people would never give Gabby her own movie. Ooh, wait, what it, you say? That is a good point. It's the That's money. A very good point. We gas them up and, and they, they can make money off of our emotions. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sunni is only I mean, big mm -hmm. in one neighborhood in Minnesota. Okay, now you just you now you you trying to tear her down. <laughs> I think among I think among Hmong she's popular, but most people don't even know what Hmongs are as a racial group. Most people don't even know where Hmongs come from. Do you know where Hmongs come from? Um, Chico and Cal. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Where do they come from, Chico? I I don't know. They from they come from Laos and like I think southern China or something like that. Most people don't even yeah. know where Hmongs yeah. are from. So it's yeah, like. I just checked on Wikipedia. Uh, but I think personality, business. Sean Johnson is insignificant as well. Most black people don't know who Sean Johnson is or Nastia. Like I said, mm. they only started watching. Black the people Nastia. made Gabby made it popular, and you said Gabby made it popular. Only upper class white people know who Sean Johnson is. Sean Johnson, Nastia. exactly. No, most most Americans don't know who Sean. I mean, I think fifty percent of Americans know who Sean and Nastia are. I'll say that. I wouldn't even say fifty percent. No, I'm not trying a, to be fun. Well, when you compare them to Gabby and Simone, no. it, it's really a big difference. It is because everybody know who Gabby and Simone are. Like yeah, that's what said, I'm talking about. Everyone knows who Gabby and yeah. Simone are. Sean is only Sean and Nasty are only popular amongst certain groups of Americans. Right. But a lot of Americans do know them, but it ain't the same as like Gabby and Simone. Mm -hmm. Only, mm -hmm. only American. I think I think people don't remember her now, but a lot of people do know who Mary Lou Retton is. As well as um, they knew who Shannon Miller, as well as Dominique Dawes was in the past. Yeah. But that was a long time ago. Like, so I'm talking about recently. Don't nobody know who Carly Patterson is. I know that. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, after Gabby's win in London, like, most people from, like, most groups, you know, know who she is. Like, most people know Gabby, not just black people, but, like, you know, every like white people, Asian yeah, people. Yeah, but like, black people, people gas Gabby. Gabby up so much. That's how everyone else. Because I said, people yeah, are always yeah, in our yeah. business. They're always in our business. So it's like, because we talk about <laughs> someone, they're going to find out who the fuck we're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but still, most, people don't know who Ray, most people don't know mm -hmm. Allie Raisman either. The only thing they know about Allie Raisman is she's a white feminist bae. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Allie Raisman is the worst kind of white woman, except maybe Michaela Skinner. 
But I think Allie Ray might be. I think Allie Ray may be worse than Michaela Skinner because Michaela Skinner showed you who she is. Allie Ray makes it seem like she's an ally, uh, she's really an enemy. And you can tell because at the Olympic trials when they were like Gabby and Olympia, and, and then Ali did that thing in front of the camera to make it look like she wasn't saying anything bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. And yeah, you said in um, Overrated Part 2, you know, she's one of those white feminist Beckys that just isn't for black people. And that's why Gabby ignores her Instagram comments. Damn, Cal, you really be quoting him word for word. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You don't miss a beat. No, yeah, but my favorite channel though. Ever since, ever since that first video, the controversial world team. Oh, that, was, that like, was my wow. first one. That was my first one that. Oh, because I was so pissed off, so I went to YouTube to see who was talking about the team, and I'll be dog. Langston video popped up, and he said my ratchet beef for USA gymnasts in this damn yeah, world. Came up on my record, and I was like, why not watch it? Yeah, I'm shocked how many black gymnasts and black coaches watch me. Like, as you know, they've been the thing is, the gymnasts and the coaches have been doing this for a year. No, Allie, and, Allie and, wanted a reason to. Allie was mad because Gabby wasn't happy for her for, for robbing her in all around. That's what it is. Allie I wouldn't wanted have been happy Gabby either. Really, Allie wanted Gabby like, to support yeah. her, bitch. You would never get that from me, bitch. And bitch, I'm the type of bitch. I, I'm telling you, bitch, your ass would. I'm telling you, I would have beat your ass up, and you couldn't have been able to go to the damn um, all around final. <laughs> all around final. I'm telling you, like, you would not have made it to all around, but I would have found a way to get your ass out. Like the thing is, is I think if Gabby, if 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 Ellie had genuinely beaten her, Gabby would have been like, okay, well, I get you know, it is what it is. She won, but she knew she was wrong. And, yeah. that, and everybody, we all knew it. Actually, we all knew it. Yeah, yeah. Ali knew it as well, but she just couldn't show it. Mm-hmm. She, she, wanted, she wanted to do, oh. she wanted all that shit and after she won the all around medal. Girl, you should never been there. Mm. I mean, if but Gab, just felt her cool. logic is, well, Gab, <laughs> you already had your time. You already the all around champion. It took me six years. It don't matter. Yeah. You had your chance to beat Gabby. Everyone Ali had to- chance after chance after chance. The world she didn't and do she anything. Failed. No world she did anything. And no, you had 2010, your chance. 2010, 2011, 2012, 2015. She failed. Exactly. It wasn't meant I mean, for you. You always were getting beaten. It wasn't meant for you. It was the broken Aaliyah for me. You fell on beans. <laughs> Yeah, if Gabby had just found a way to get Ali injured, they would have just asked Gabby to take Wait, up her spot in Rio. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> Ali could have just accidentally got her, and then Gabby could have taken up her spot and won the silver. But I think that's but why like Gabby I wants said, to come back. Ali she should have been there anyway. Like, like they really robbed Gabby. Mm-hmm. Martha probably told Ali, "You make that spot after after all of that and pull her in the back." And I'm like, "You better come take it to Simone, or you're done." Yeah, I know she told her that. She was like, "You have to. You can't fuck up again." No, but the thing is, there's nothing she could have done at that point because it's like she knew Ali wasn't going to come back. They thought they thought that was Ali and Gabby's mm. last. That was Ali's last chance because they didn't think Ali was going to stick around at the Rio. She wouldn't have. Not yeah, Langston and Harding. Kind of, who is Langston? Who is Harding? That's why I'm like kind of worried for Gabby like coming back because I know she's gonna. Well, I don't know how upset she's gonna be, but I know she'll be upset if she doesn't beat Shailene to the all around because she obviously does want a chance to be. But like, I think I think Gabby kind of wants it, but Gabby and Shailene are close. Yeah. I think Gabby wants Shailene to have her moment. So I don't. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, Gabby would not yeah, yeah. be upset if she lost to Shalice. No, I think Gabby. No, 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 yeah. Gabby will be mad if she don't make the team, but she, if as long yeah. as Gabby makes it to to mm-hmm. to Tokyo, just the fact that she even made it, it's the fact like no yeah. one else has done. And that's what people understand. Gabby, even though she didn't do anything in Rio, no all around champion in forty years had been to the Olympics since since Nadia. All the Olympic all around champions between Nadia and Gabby, and Gabby was the one that did it. Y'all talking about Gabby can't make it to the Olympics. Like, Gabby did the impossible multiple times. 
Really? <laughs> she really did. Because Nastia, Carly Patterson, them 2000, as well as Lilia Pakapayeva, Gutsu, uh, who Nikki else? Nova. Nova, Mary Lou Ray. It, even if the bitch that beat Nadia in 1980, she still ain't making it to 1984. Well, she couldn't because she was banned anyway, but still, no <laughs> one has ever did it. And the way it's, the way it's looking, Suni ain't finna do it. Mm -mm. Oh. No, because that's the thing with Suni. It's like she either gets on the team or she doesn't. I don't think and they're the going to use her as an alternate. Simone only made it. Simone made it after Gabby did. So again, it's like Gabby was still the first to ever do it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like y'all can talk. All right, y'all want to talk about Gabby, but and then and then you say? also got to realize like you know Gabby did it and survived that pressure too, like all everything that came with her coming back, even just the pressure of trying to prove herself again. She did all that, and I'm not trying to down Simone or anything, but you know the pressure did get to Simone her second Olympics. You know the mental. But you can say the pressure got to Gabby too in bar finals too. Yeah, yeah but I think Gabby handled the way. I, I, well, I can't speak on how people handle their issues, but I think Gabby, came back and won a medal on Bean. She did. She did. Oh, I wish she would have competed in ball. I did not want Michaela. I, let me. I'm, I'm, I just got pissed off. <laughs> That's something else I don't like about Simone is the fact that she even acknowledges Michaela Skinner's existence. She, they were roommates. <laughs> she knows Michaela apparently from what Michaela said. You know, I don't think Ky I don't think Michaela Maroney was jealous of Gabby. Mm. She could have been. I wouldn't be shocked. But well, you know, if they were clicked up, I feel like if Jordan and Allie, they probably would include Michaela in their conversations and stuff for sure. I think they but Jordan, uh, I want to say that Jordan, um, what was I going to say? Kyla Ross and Jordan, we were best friends now. Oh, yeah. Ever since she became the assistant coach with her. Mm. I don't got much yeah, to say true. about that. But I, like I said, I love me some Gabby Douglas. Like, Mm. Gabby Douglas was one of my first heroes as a kid. I think Gabby Douglas was actually my first hero. Like, I don't, I don't know anything about her. I just remember how happy my family was that she won. Like, what well, they were just so overjoyed. And ever since then, I was just obsessed with Gabby. I don't know anything about her. I remember when her movie came out, and then when I watched her movie, I went back and that's when I started following gymnastics. When I found out she was coming back. So it's like Gabby was just someone who she was like my first hero I ever had in my life. And because of that, like I've always rocked with her just because of what she was capable of. And what she did. And right. I was just about to correct you. Like, not just what she capable, but what she did. Right. Yeah, yeah. She changed the game. I, like I there's like so the many black gymnasts now. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Gabby. I'm telling you, when she beat Kamava and when she beat Maggie Nichols at American Cup, them two were some of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> Just that That's American funny. Cup. Not when she, not when she beat a whole Maggie. <laughs> oh, but I think Maggie didn't cry though. If Maggie, if Maggie had cried, Maggie it was mad as fuck at that American Cup. Cam. Yeah, she was, she was, but not like Kamava <laughs> was in tears. She was, she was distraught. Uh, Daddy, Daddy broke her. Uh -huh. mm. Like she, she thought she, she thought she could beat Gabby. She thought she would keep, beat Gabby, but she didn't. And that's what she just, she was just crushed after that. Yeah. But you know, like what, what, what meant, what was meant to happen, happened. You know. It's the mm. nerve to get beat that, by Gabby. That was my quote. And still think that you deserve to go to the Olympics over her. And that's why that dude got kicked out of our damn group chat. Which one are you oh, talking Stephane. about? You know who I'm Ste talking Ste about. Stephane? Stephane. No. Oh, the other no. guy. David. His name. David. Oh. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be I real with you. Like... What are you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I, I already love Gabby, but I didn't even... 
love her this much until like your channel you know like no one has ever gone for gabby as hard as you have like that just makes me like right. but let me say something that uh who else that pissed me off i was gonna say like that i had to like no any Stephanie black person Frank? any black person who roots for anyone that's not black like i say mm. bitch you're a joke like i got into one black person it's a black person on twitter they root for an asian gymnast what what, what what you know how fucking delusional that is like that's just a joke to me i'm sorry because when when, you, when have you seen asian people root for black women as a collective have you ever seen that in your life chico mm -mm. these are the same people to make us drop our backpacks in the damn grocery store bitch in the in the gas station you like you just you can't make this shit up like they would never do that for us but you're advocating for Asian people like that's just something you would never see I'm someone who lives in an Asian country I got Asian friends and like I say I can't root for you but am I going to sit up here and make a fan page for Asian gymnasts Japanese people do not a lot of Japanese people do not like Naomi Osaka I don't have a Japanese person mm -hmm. tell me that Emi Osaka was ugly, just unprovoked. Why is she ugly? Yeah, so like I said, no, they do not. Some of them do, but some of them, they be making shit up for her. Like, I'm telling you, that is not the case. But let her be half white instead of half black. So again, like, like you just would never see that from them. But it's like, here you are going all out like... It's a joke to me. That's why I said about them people about when I was coming for them Asian women, how them Chinese women, even if I was being anti-Chinese, what they got to do with your black ass? What they got to do with you, bitch? Because if it, when people say things about black, when you see Asian people come out the woodworks to protect us, so mind your fucking business. It's so fucking simple, bitch. People always want to talk about Captain Save a Beck. They don't want to talk about Captain Save a Ling Ling. Uh, they love Oasia very much. Very much so. Them in China too. Like, uh uh. That's something that just, it don't sit right with me. Yeah. I'm just trying to get off the motherfucker. She definitely will always be that girl. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, telling you, you to join the live. You be talking a lot. Who, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So Naomi is, she is American, but both of her parents are immigrants. So, like I said, that ain't, I ain't talking about her. This is gymnastics, not tennis, but still. Um, but yeah, like you just, you, I'm telling you, you got to watch out for them because just like, I don't understand why some of y'all like that. Cause it's like, y'all don't, y'all don't do that to other groups of people, but here's some of y'all are advocating for other groups and it's just like, put yourself first, Lucius. It's not hard. And that's why I don't like that bitch, Amanda Seals. We were just talking about that Chico and I'm glad black mm -hmm. people don't fuck with her. Cause it's like Amanda Seals, she always talked about some Palestinians, some other groups of people like, bitch, what the fuck they gotta do with niggas? Not a thing. And I'm sorry, bitch. I don't give a fuck about no damn other groups. Cause they ain't gonna ever come to our, our defense. Never, bitch. And you're right, you're right. At least by and large, and let's be real, they not, there's that's not their job. They're not obligated to come to our defense. 
but we're not obligated to come to yours either. And when they do come to your defense, just know they want something in return, boo. Don't think they're just doing it out of the kindness of their heart. And like I said, there's examples, there's exceptions. There are people that actually do care about issues that Black people that deal with, but the exceptions aren't the rule. Something y'all got to understand, bitch. So like I say, bitch, I play the Game of Thrones in this bitch, okay? I don't do that, uh-uh. And some of y'all can't take that. Like, y'all want to sit up here and create this narrative that I'm pro-PLC and et cetera. I fight for p people of color. No, I, I fight for Black people and Black women in particular. I do not fight for people of color. I You have never seen me say the word people of color not one time on my channel. So what are you talking about? Who is people of color? Amanda Seals is also annoying. Yeah, but she just, she always talking about Palestinians and other like immigrants and stuff like that. These are the same immigrants that treat us bad in America. Like, let's be so for real right now. Only thing I do appreciate oh, Amanda Seals. Only, only thing I do appreciate Amanda Seals for is Amanda Seals. She, she too flip floppy because one time she wanted to be like, oh, let's all vote. We need to get Trump out of office. And now she want to flip up on Biden. It's like, which one is it, bitch? Yeah. I know you see that, Chico. Like, which which one is the move? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, but it's like, oh, okay. which one is, which yeah, one she is the move? She does what she did. So now she's just so anti-Biden uh, and uh, Kamala. Is, is, I remember when she was trying to get Trump out, though. She was very advocate about she it, still but. advocate for She still advocate for Biden because she don't like because she knows Trump is worse, but she's always bad right. about it. It's like, bitch, it's like, shut the fuck up sometimes. Me, yeah, I'm like, at work right. too. I'm at work too. <laughs> um, Amanda Seals, I know you don't know. Do you know who Amanda Seals is, Cal? Um, no, not really. Bitch, you don't want to know her. We just gonna say it like that. I'm screaming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know like American. She's actually like really that. big into gymnastics too, so she's probably seen yeah. my gymnastics channel. Oh, she's definitely seen your channel because she 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 keeps up with gymnastics. She saw it for sure. Yeah, so she's like a she's a very she's like a um she's an activist. Okay. And and a lot what a lot of black women would say, she is a mammy. Or someone who uh -huh. like advocates for like she's someone who puts other people's issues ahead of black people's issues, and that's why black people uh -huh. hate her. Because it's like right now she don't been canceled by black media outlets, but it's like, girl, you um, how do I explain it? Like you're always advocating for other groups of people. What do you think black people are gonna do? Fuck with you. Mm -hmm. My mom's always telling me, you know, like all. Black people have as each other at the end of the day. So, Cal, are you like, because I know, like, in Britain, like, usually most Black British people are like Jamaican or um, yeah. Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, or, so yeah like, I'm from, yeah, from my parents, my family, um, I'm Nigerian, yeah. Oh, wow. So you're Nigerian oh, okay. British? No. Have you ever been to Nigeria? No, I haven't. Do you want to go? Yeah, I do. My mom said that she might take me one day, hopefully soon, but yeah. Marks and Sakai went on her podcast. Who podcast? Amanda? Are y'all talking about Amanda? Don't come for my friend Michaela. What? They said it makes the time go by much so better than Michaela. Hey, Michaela, remember when she, we said Michaela Skinner would never taste gold medal when she got beat by Rebecca? Oh, um, <laughs> Amanda Seals. Hmm. Oh. You're not coming for her, so who are you talking about? I think Mia was saying like your your channel, uh, I'm, or you, you in particular, is more and i don't know maybe you should just enjoy your channel a little bit better i was saying we're both working me and michaela this podcast makes the time go by faster oh, okay 
Do you know oh. Michaela? Do you know Michaela like personally? Well, we child, like I just had to give it to, like I said, Grace. Like I'm telling you, Grace, Michaela Skinner, Maggie Nichols, come up, but y'all bitches can get it anytime. Like just on my channel, just know that. But uh, why do some people think? Why do people try to bully Blackie with a support of other groups of people? Um, Chico, I want to ask you about that. Sorry, I had to unmute. Um, I think it's because they want us to, I don't know, like be a savior for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it kind of sucks when nobody is a savior for us. Right. That's just a, I don't know why they want, they want support from black, they want support from black people because they think we, or feel like the little that they do for us, which is nothing. Um, kind of accounts that we need to feel like we don't want nobody else to go through the same stuff we went through, so we need to support everyone. And that's just not the case. Yeah, they also be like, oh, well, you should do it out of the kindness of your heart, but y'all don't, do don't do it out of the kindness of your heart, though. Y'all don't do that. So it's like, why do you, why do you want us to do, why do you want us to do things out of the kindness of our heart? And M Mr. Derek, you pissed me the fuck off before, bitch, because I saw you sit up here and say that she wanted to see Zhao beat Simone. And just the audacity to say that she wanted to see an Asian person beat a black person. It's just like, why would you ever say some shit like that? Because when have you seen a Chinese person say they want to see a black woman be a Chinese person? Have you ever seen that before, Chico or Cal? I haven't. Well, I, in the words uh -huh. of uh, somebody who used to be in our group, um, Name will remain nameless. Maybe they just like to see beautiful gymnastics, old gymnastics. Mm. Mm. But how come you yeah, never but... see? When have you ever seen them say that about us? Never. You will never see them say that. But you're saying something like that. Yeah. Like you just don't. It's just certain things that you just will never see. How long would this live be on? I ain't gonna be on here this much longer. This is gonna be like my regular four pushing five hour lives. Like this might go up to three hours and something and keep it pushing. But ain't not one person came on here today. That's what's shocking to me. I thought I would get a, another one of my fans to come on here. I think this is because it was like this is like an emergency live. So it don't matter though. Like, it, was, yeah, it was an emergency live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You sent that link in the group chat. I was like, like oh, what's shit, we from, got to what's get on. you from joining right now? Um, oh, yeah, just add. He just put the link in. Just Yeah, I just put the link in again. They want access to the power of media, black people. They Exactly. People mm. don't realize black people are very powerful. And without us, the world don't tick, especially for other groups of people. I, I I support Simone's. She did not do better than Simone. Even if she did, you you don't ever admit that. Like I'm telling you, you can never say that a, that an Asian woman beat a black woman to anything, even if it's true or not. So it's certain things you don't ever say in the public eye. So at the end of the day, you should have fucking known that. The same the same same way Simone Biles got dragged for trying to attack Gabby Douglas in public. Why would you ever say that an Asian woman deserved to be the black woman on something? When have you seen them do that to us? When have you ever seen, seen a, someone say a, a black woman? Us, but when if you can pull up a video of an Asian person saying that about a black woman in mass, and, and I want to see them liking the comment as well. I ain't ever fucking seen it in my life. These Asian people know damn well that the queen did not deserve no 15-5, but they argued, I'm telling you, the way they argued and turned the fuck up to defend that girl. You're not lying, because she definitely did not. Like, I'm telling y'all, mm -hmm. with these scores going crazy like that, Simone's going to be breaking 15-5 on being for real. Like... No, even 16. It, yeah, even 16, 16 on floor. Like, 
Shalish shouldn't have a problem getting a 15, four, two or three on board. Like, this is right. crazy. I think the only place we're not seeing the inflation is bought. That's the only place that's staying the same. Everything else is going crazy. And who made y'all, I want to know, who told y'all I was a pro BIPOC channel? That's oh, he's definitely hear. he's definitely not a pro BIPOC channel. This is a blame. Because I be hearing people talking about, oh, I'm <laughs> pro POC, POC wear, bitch. You made that clear on like your very first <laughs> video. You <was> like, this <laughs> is not. This is a black ch channel for niggas. <laughs> uh, -uh they was like, oh, you should root for Asian people. Them the same Asian people that got us kicked out of um university. Wait, did you just say Asian people the same people that got us kicked out of university? They did with the affirmative action. Well, affirmative action, they sure were. <laughs> they sure were. Them Harvard students were, I think it was the Harvard and Yale students who did like a whole little debate thing that's on like YouTube. They were going crazy. Yeah, they got us kicked out of schools. You know, like um, I'm they, um, Alabama, they just uh, vote passed the law to exclude um diversity um, e um equality and inclusion programs in the whole state so people can freely exclude them let me say something isn't alabama like 49th or 50th in education and that's what they're worried about <laughs> pretty low on the list yeah like get y'all priority straight bitch and since you want to say georgia clears the other southern states when it comes to progress Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> the same Asian people that sent black people out their countries during COVID. Ooh. Now, you going, I'm the same Chinese people trying to colonize Africa right now. Like, let's be so for real right now. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm telling you, like, they, people, white people be the problem and they got smoke for black people. Like, the priority is just wrong. Very much wrong. And that's why I'm saying, like, it don't make no sense why they like that. Because that's what it is. What's the most progressive state? I don't know. It depends on when you look at it from a, from a, um, it depends on what you mean by progressive. If you're talking about for black people, I would say Georgia, probably Atlanta in particular. Yeah. Um, if you're talking about, Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, Mississippi are the poorest states. Very much so Alabama. Very much South Carolina. Massachusetts, by legis Massachusetts and California, probably for white LGBT people. Probably for Hispanics and Asian people. But I don't think LA is progressive for Black people from what I've heard. No, not, not really, no. Because I stayed in California for six months and it was not it. <laughs> I say Atlanta is very much um yeah. for black people oh, uh, if Simone had diet with six she could score it. no EU Netherlands is the most progressive Netherlands they still out here doing blackface don't they have that blackface for that what is it that Pete or whatever they have you know what I'm talking about um Cal right Mm-hmm. North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, DC, they kicking all the black people out because of gentrification. They really uh, are. That's Charlotte. A thing. I would say Charlotte, Black P. Yeah. Charlotte um uh, is yeah, Charlotte's like a mini Atlanta, as well as Houston. Raleigh and Durham as well. So yeah. Very it's the Christmas thing. I would say Britain, but they Britain is not progressive for Black people. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can like we can live here, but yeah, it's not like you know, it's not gonna, it's not like racism has just ended, you know. France too. France mm. don't yeah. fuck. The worst one in Europe, in my opinion, is Italy. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm always seeing these like YouTube shorts, these TikToks, like about. Black women talking about racism in Italy, and it's just mm, like, Italy. Mm. 
GB is very classist. Yeah, it is the monarchy, the royal family. Yeah, yeah, but I would say not as much as it used to be, but still, yeah. Brexit Britain. Uh, I heard yeah. <laughs> to be progressive when you're classist. I don't, I don't, most, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a progressive. That's what y'all don't understand, bitch. Like, I'm, uh uh. So I would say I'm very much a centrist, but my specific platform is about nigga issues, in particular, black women issues in particular. But I don't see how being progressive fixes the issues that black people deal with. So, yeah, because I think that liberal ideology is very much an everyone ideology when that's not my problem. So I'm very much one-sided. Don't tell me I do not support Donald Trump. I literally just said that um, I do not support Donald Trump. Chico, you know that. 100%. No, bitch. I I support um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but I'm very much... So I only support them because of how they fix black people issues. I don't care about the other platform. So no, you know, why would it benefit black people to support Donald Trump? The fuck we gained from that? After, huh? after black, after black lives matter. Um, well, during that whole protest in 2020, like, you know, all these YouTube videos. I was how, good with black was, lives like, matter, but black lives matter don't start doing too much with some of the, um, with some of the uh, platform and stuff. They out here talking about um, abolishing the police. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Let's not go out. No, yeah. Chico, not, no. you seen that and stuff? Chico, I haven't still seen nothing about abolishing uh, police, but I did see a lot of stuff about uh, their reform and retraining and all the money. And retraining, yeah, but towards. defunding, def- even defunding, when you come from Atlanta, bitch, tra- defunding the police. Now let's be so for real right now. Uh, what else about? Atlanta? I've been seeing a lot of arguments about police thinking they know the law versus the law student that goes to. That's a lot of their justification. They be like, oh, well, law students go to school for three years to learn law, and police go for what three months. So I, I can see BLM, that argument. I feel like they're very. And they also trying to bully black people to support in Palestine, which is failing. So any any black person I see support in Palestine, I'd be like, mm, side eye. <laughs> he, definitely, he definitely will side eye you, speaking for myself. He, even Israel too, bitch, because it's just like, no. Uh, what am I going to say? The man selling Bibles what people don't realize is liberal does not mean progressive mm. for black people. There's a lot of racist white liberals. Almost all of my haters on Twitter are not Trump supporters. They're cons- they're liberals. So, no. Liberals like to control how what black people think and what black people say. Uh, oh, you said how, something then. Uh, I like sexy red like sexy red ice cube telling their fans, that's a flop. Sexy red, like, sexy red don't even read on the third grade level. Like, come on now. I still would jam to some sexy red, though, but Republicans asked for defunding. No, they did not. Republicans want to raise the... Uh, Republicans want more law enforcement, which is one of the only things that I do somewhat agree with. Uh, also, because Trump and a lot of his cronies get locked up, Uh, I think U.S. police officers train way less than other countries. They definitely no, do. And I, because well, other countries don't have guns. And that's yeah, the problem. That they so true. trigger happy over here in the USA. Like, they don't have guns in them other countries. So, like, for example, what they have in England is them acid attacks. They don't be having them damn uh, guns and shit like that, at least by and large. Yeah. Jasmine Crooked. The problem is, it's just Jasmine Crooked. Crooked. Jasmine Crooked pissed me off because I think she was talking about that um, men shouldn't have to pay child support or something. I forgot. I was like, side eye. 
Did you say Chico? No, I'm I'm talking about some work. I had to mute you real quick. <laughs> Are you good? No, man. Uh, in the U.S., they be letting any dumb loser men become police officers in like two months. We that need is, police that officers. That is true. And we I'm need- not saying we don't need them, but the thing is, they have the wrong people being cops. Like they do. Who- and, and, and it's dangerous for black people. That's why a lot of black people are, are against the police idea. Because it's so dangerous for us to be ha- have cops. But I want to say something, though. Do you think it's more dangerous for us to have police officers or for us to have what we have right now? Because I'm not trying to be rude. Our community is not in no good shape. So when I think about where I come from, bitch, would I rather take my chance with a police officer or with a crackhead on the street? So all I got to say is I hear that, but at the end of the day, I still think we need a lot of police. I think we need more police. Well, you got to realize people like that are not, say people came from them areas or have not come from them areas, but they're in better situations or different communities and they're one of a kind or not, you know, that stand out black family in their community, they're still targeted by police and get stopped. Like they don't belong in those areas. Like that that's basically what happened to Amar Aubrey. Like that's it's true. not safe either way. It but goes. I wanna say so, that, that that happens, but it's still rare. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not like it happens, but I'm talking about actual death. That's the truth. But at the end of the day, you're more likely to get killed by someone in the hood, right? Than someone like than a police officer. I, I don't so, agree with it. We don't have that. Like we only have, I think, like only three thousand people die from um from police violence. But that's that's their that's their that's their a lot of people who are so pro police or Republican kind of mindset. That's their way of thinking about it too. They always say, "Oh, well, y'all I, I, are killing each I other." They police, always say that you guys are killing each other, and that's just not the case. So right? that's what what I'm saying is, I I hear that as well. But what I'm saying is that like we have our own specific issues in our community. It's, and I'm thinking about it from a black women perspective. I'm not thinking about it from a black perspective because, like I say, my platform is for black women. So when I think about it from black women's perspective. Black women have more to fear from black men who are criminals that, that target them. Because so I want to say that black a black woman dies every five and a half hours or something like that. So when I think about that from perspective, when they deal with domestic violence, when they deal with sexual abuse, when they deal with all these things, who are they going to call to fix that issue? Or is it just going to magically fix itself? So like I hear that from um, I guess black men's perspective that oh police are a problem, but that's not really. Police aren't aren't usually killing black women in, in mass like that. You have what is it? Uh what's her name that happened to? Uh Brianna Taylor. But Brianna Taylor died because they were looking for her boyfriend, right? So then the day is not the same. So that's why I'm saying that that's why you hear a lot well, of Well, I'm speaking for argument. myself as a black yeah. man. Like it's dangerous. Like I've been in stopped, I've been in situations. Oh, I have too. Like, it's you, just not, it's my not fun. Got, it's not fun at all. Got, my mom got put in handcuffs while she was pregnant. So, oh, uh, listen, I don't see police brutality, but I've also, what I've seen more of is domestic violence and um, sexual abuse. So, like I'm saying is I'd rather take my chance with a police officer than take my chance with someone I don't know. Because at the end of the day, that's how I feel. So that's why I'm saying that I hear that. I'm not saying the police issues are an issue. It's still a major issue that affects black people. But like I say, in particular for black women, what affects them more is the issues they do within our own community, which is why we talking about bum ass niggas like the nigga Simone Biles with. I hear that um, too. But I just feel like that's how the other side, everybody that's non black, that's how they see everything. I think that no, because I think that they try to make it seem like we don't experience racism at all. I'm not saying we don't experience racism at all. I'm not saying that police don't aren't even racist themselves, but I'm just saying that I'd rather take my chance with a trained police officer than take my chance with I'm not trying to be rude. It, and when you get your car broken into, who you, are you going are you not gonna call the police? Like, let's be so for real right now. Mm-hmm. I'm so, just saying, I went to lunch. I, so I listen, know, I if someone broke into are, your car, 
What would you do if you couldn't call the police? That's what you're supposed to do, though. You're supposed to call the police and your insurance That's company. true, That's but I'm just saying, can you imagine if we, if we couldn't even do that? So that's all I'm it's saying. It's not like what we could so, imagine. It's what's going on now. They like I've been to that's true because some lunch listen, with some places like Detroit, some places like Detroit and stuff like that. The police it take them two hours to come. So that is true. But I'm saying that yeah. that's a perfect example of when we lack the funding to like like I said, we need better trained police officers. We we absolutely do. But all I'm saying is what we have right now is still better than the alternative. That that, that these radical ads. Some of these radical ass abolish police people are trying to protect are trying to present us. Because I'm telling you, bitch, it's gonna be the purge in Atlanta if the police get abolished. That is not what you want, bitch. Especially I'm telling you. You can't, I'm telling you, the way people get in all their cars GTA in Atlanta right now, that is not what you want. Uh they were charged. Oh fuck Daniel Cameron. Uh, they were charged years later oh, because they lied. Damn Derek, that's true. About Brianna Taylor, they, they hit the wrong house. Yeah, um, for they were very much wrong, very much. And like I said, it's very much an issue, like we saw in Mississippi. But then in the end of the day, like I say, the issues that we have, there are other issues that directly affect us, in particular, Black women. And I think that that is something that we have to work with the system we have now and try to create a better system rather than try to abolish that motherfucking system and just start from the job. But they so need to re funny. they need to revamp the whole police system. Like they need to train for more than three months. Because I'm telling you, I sat down at uh at like lunch and talked to one of these police from his point of view, a white cop, and like his view on everything is just so obscured. Like he'll be like, yeah, Oh, I've this old too. lady, uh, I wouldn't give her a ticket, but if I see this guy and he said, I'm like, just because the guy has door tint on his windows don't mean he's suspicious. I, I have dark tint on my windows. I'm not suspicious, but you, but let you me got say out bad for the reason to stop me over let stopping me say, an older let me say white woman who has true. dark tint. That, um, how do I explain it? Like you, you were saying that um, you hear that about like the uh, the dark tint. So all I'm saying is we want police officers to have more training, but what are we going to do in the meantime when we're waiting for all these police officers? So if it takes them six months to train, that's six months without having police officers on the street. So what are, what are we going to do for that time? Well, I'm not saying all cops are bad, but you have so many, a good chunk of cops that are so conservative in their views. I'm not saying they are conservative or so like narrative or so the stereotypical. Probably, right? A lot of them are stereotypical. So we're just so more prone and they need to stop looking at it like that. Because but I'm just I saying that trust. I hear that, but I'm saying that what do we do? Replace them? Like, what do we do? Just fire all of them and just have a shortage until we can train better ones? Like, that's what, like, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. That doesn't make no pay to shorten the time. You, you don't I'm have a logical ass person. I'm going to think about it from the most logical perspective. Well, so what obviously, there's nothing we can do about the cops that I already cost, but put them through professional development training. Exactly. Before the new cops and stuff, well, their professional development. Ain't doing no good for some of them clearly because people are still being killed and and chastised by police. I see videos every day. But for the new cops, I mean that that needs to be implemented. Maybe a year longer school and training to but start something for all else the new I have a problem with is I think that obviously there is definitely unjust police brutality, but I do take a problem with the fact that some black people want to do all this for criminals. Like we want to sit up here and talk about do all this advocacy for criminals but we don't got no smoke for black women so that's why it's like you have to see the hypocrisy too because we have all this smoke for black male criminals who let's be real if they were out of jail they wouldn't be doing no good in the community so it's like why are we like well you don't know that girl for 100 percent sure i don't met people that came and changed their life some people get locked up because they assume of being a criminal and listen, they're not or they're in the wrong place at the wrong rule. time i'm just saying the exception ain't the rule so all i'm saying is but if your if white counterpart listen, gets stopped for the same thing listen. they're gonna get a tap on the wrist in court Versus the I black agree. person who was the like first time. Multiple things can be, like I said, Chico. Multiple things can be true at once. But all I'm saying is, we don't do all this for black women, though, and that is the truth. We don't. People don't do. I'm telling you, they don't do all this advocacy for black women in the community. That's the things that black women talk about. So you have us that want to sit up here and go out and march in the streets to protect criminals, but we don't got no advocacy for black women who actually follow the law. 
Because I'm telling you, when a black woman does anything, they're going to bring up what you did wrong every time. They're never going to, even even black men, they're always going to do that. They're always going to look for any excuse to not advocate for black women. They're going to do it every time, Chico. And I know you've seen that. You could have done something 10 years ago. Oh, well, she said this. We, we can't support her. They do it all the time. But you mean no, to tell that's, me? that's true. So it's like, so they do that to black women, but they expect black women to go out in the streets to advocate for criminals that's going to hurt them? What, what, who does that logically? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, everyone I, leans on black women. Them? They all, everyone leans on black women for every time. So I'm saying that that's why it's like, that's why I'm saying from a black women perspective, it does benefit them more. I, like I said, I take my chance as a police officer then I take myself. Then I, then I would take my chance. No, I think I think it does. Man. It probably does benefit a black woman a, a lot better than it does a black man for sure. Um, I can't speak for all black men. I'm speaking for myself. Right. For me, I don't know if it's more beneficial. But for yes, for black women, it it would be more beneficial. So yes. Yeah, like people, like I said, I provide a very, I want to say a very different perspective because there's a lot of people saying the shit I say on social media, but that's why I'm, I think about it. I think it, I think about everything logically. That's one thing you know about me, Chico. I'm not going to sit up here and argue with emotions. Like if I feel some kind of way, yeah, bitch, it feels to me, but I'm going to present the facts. Like that's how I am. So it's like when I think about it, when I see how y'all want to sit up here and do all this advocacy to protect criminals in particular, we talking about R. Kelly and our community, right? So this is who y'all want to sit up here and advocate for and protect, but y'all want to gaslight his own victims. So that's all I'm saying is you have to you have to see the writing on the wall. And like I'm saying that this-, this Well, I think when it comes to, I'm not defending R. Kelly or whoever else that got criminal cases and stuff going on, mm -hmm. or Bill Cosby, for example. But when it comes to that, they, a lot of people bring up the fact that because they are, and they, you know, a black man or somebody black, they they are harder on them ten times more than they are their white counterparts, and that's just true because it's white people, celebrities, uh, millionaires, billionaires, they're right. doing the same stuff that R. Kelly, Bill Cosby have done, and they have not been placed on a, a, a platter to the whole media and world and and trial like their black counterparts. So it happens that's all the time. That's, totally that's a facts, lot of people part. That's a lot of people problem with the system. That's the problem. But it's let me say something as well. People. Let me say something as well, Chico. That is very much true. But when have you seen people try to make that argument between black and white women, though? So why do we spend so much time advocating for black men issues, but no one's here for black women issues? So that's why I'm saying that's that's very much true. But you mean to tell me that that same system doesn't put white women over black women as well? But who's out here trying to change that? Oh, so the white all woman of, is the most dangerous. Ooh, they, they like that's what I'm saying, it. though, is, <laughs> but those are the same women that black men pedestalize, right? Mm -hmm. are, are, isn't that who they pedestalize? So you want us to, to advocate for you to have access to, to them fucking Beckys. And that's just not, that's not what it is. Uh, what nice. about M Melanie and Cecile? Uh, to the recent comps, they want to. I talked about it at the beginning of this video. I ain't going to talk about that shit again. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Hi, I hate to tell. I hate we don't want to tell y'all, but no, baby. But yeah, like, and I even say even for LGBT people, because I'm telling you, a lot of LGBT people they not here for black women. They not. Some of them want to fuck around with down low niggas behind black women's back and shit like that. Some of y'all, some of y'all white gay men want to. <laughs> I'm messing at M big. I'm weak. I'm with you. Listen, you're some right. of y'all want to sit up here and like y'all not for black women either. Some of y'all white what? women want to replicate everything black women do and take credit for it. Like, get the fuck out of my face. Like I'm telling you, bitch, but I'm telling you, y'all y'all don't know what to do. Like ever since black women stopped stopped advocating for LGBT people like that last year, y'all don't really been going through some shit. I know I'm late. Drop the link. That is not who y'all want. Because I'm telling you, the world stopped with black women not advocating for them. Like I said, y'all need to start returning that damn favor. And that's why I come on here and I go so hard for I do for them. Because just like the amount of disrespect that y'all give them is it's really sad. And it comes from everybody. 
And I think that y'all do it because y'all know they're an easy target. You know no one's going to come to their defense. And that's why y'all want to do what y'all do. Like, all I got to say is, okay, bad. Because like I said, y'all can't, you can't come for Asian women how you come for black women. You can't come for Latinas. Like you can't do, you can't do anyone else the same way. Jade is your number one, Becky. She is. I can't have a favorite, I can't have a favorite white woman. Like, what do you mean? Just because I just because I have a favorite white like what what they gotta do with the price of sushi in Japan, boo? Well, like I say, the collective to the collective. Why y'all? Where you at, Cal? You so quiet. Are you asleep? No, no, no. I'm still here. <laughs> that was a nice speech. Really, you didn't you didn't butt in. I wanted to hear your perspective because you don't live in America like you. I don't live in America either, but still mm -hmm. like. I, I want to hear yeah. your perspective from the outside looking in. Um, anything in particular? Oh, about like the um, I, it's hard to kind of bring up now. Just about like what you heard, I guess. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So obviously, you know, I won't know too much because I've never been to America. But, um, in terms of like you know what you were saying about, um, like people, people doing everything they can to not like give black women the respect they deserve or you know advocate for them how they should. You know, it's like. I see that a lot on, like, the media. Some of the things, I mean, the media might try and, like, you know, steer away from that because they don't want to give Black women the respect they should. But it's like, you know, I'm always seeing stuff on, like, online about how this is happening to this Black woman or this is happening to this Black woman. And it's like, you know, even sometimes Black men, they yeah. don't support Black women how they should. And Not sometimes, like, the majority think, of the time. And I'm telling you, like, the disdain, the disdain that a lot of Black men have for Black women is very much loud. Like, when you go on social media and, like, Twitter and stuff like that, it's kind of hard. Like, I can't even imagine, like, oh. if I was a Black woman, I would, sometimes I think I would cry. Like, if I saw how you know some Black men get on social media and, and, and then they can just tear Black women down so unprovoked. Um, it's just, like, even, it don't make any sense. There's um even something else, you know, I'm sure you've heard the phrase on TikTok or on social media, you know, if um if it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Oh, of course I don't heard that, but still, it's just like yeah. it's just like just it like, don't make no sense. Like yeah, you don't, like you just anytime I hear see, that, you mm -hmm. just never see Asian I... men. You never see Asian men tearing down Asian women. You never see mm -hmm. um what is it? Mm -hmm. Hispanic yeah. men tearing down Hispanic women. Like you just never see um, nobody else doing that. It's only us that does women. shit like that, and it's just shit like, like that that's any... so fucking frustrating. Anytime I see that or hear that, I'm just like, no, you know, because they bad on that in the UK too. Yeah, yeah, I, they do that as well. And I'm just like, I feel you like know, the UK, more than that. I feel like the UK yeah. is more colorist than America. And that's saying a lot because the way they be doing them black people on Love Island, especially them black girls on Love Island. Yeah. Ooh, oh, you want <laughs> Yeah, they, the UK, they do. They ooh, do. I'd be like, <laughs> oof, like, them black Oh, you see UK, Love Island UK. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, they do. Like it's, ooh. it's just like. Mm. Uh, uh Michaela, why you want me to drop the link so you can't even come on? Let me go ahead and pin your comment right here. Is this not you? UK has the issue of intersection of race and class to. No, it's very much race. Mm -hmm. At the end I of the day, I feel like you That's could why... be like a powerful black person in the UK, but race always comes first. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you notice they tend to also choose a certain type of black girl, then drag them. Yeah, they, no, do. they do. I think oh, that in the UK, mm. yeah, especially on Love Island, though. On Love it, Island, in particular, they do. Oh yeah, always darker skin. Like oh yeah, very much set set people up. Race comes first, but class matters everywhere. But like I say, mm -hmm. class issues, class and class issues aren't as big as race issues. Like I said, poor white people were never slaves. Mm -mm. My black friend in the UK complains about it a lot. Child. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, you could have, you talking about classes, bitch, you could have beat from Atlanta, baby, because you had some rest. I'm telling you, if you don't got a certain amount of Instagram files, your ass gonna wait to eat your food, bitch. Did you not see when Keith Lee came to Atlanta? Class isn't a thing in the U.S. the way it is in the U.K. Uh, I disagree. I think class is the issue everywhere. It ain't just America. It ain't just the U.K. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a foreigner in Japan? I don't think it really matters about being a foreigner. I think it matters about being black because, like, people well, don't what's treat, like people don't treat white people the same as they treat black people in Japan. I mean. It sucked when I first got here, but when I when I'm here now, I don't. It doesn't really bother me. Like, um, people just stare at you. People people just remind you every day that this isn't your home. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's all I can really say. But like I say, bitch, I don't really give a damn. Um, it ain't really something like I really dwell on that much. Class is definitely an issue within the black community. Um. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's an issue mm -hmm. within a black community? I would. I mm -hmm. well, it is, but it, it, it is, but it's not. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To I an think extent, that, but not like. Mm. I think that some rich black people think they're better than other black people. Yeah, sure. it's the really rich yeah, ones. Now, I wouldn't say it's middle black, class. Black men and black women. What Ooh, part of Japan definitely. are you in? You say you're in Japan right now. Are you in Tokyo? It's definitely a thing for British blacks. No, like, do you think it's a class issue for British blacks? And I think that's for black people just in general. Like a lot of black people that are educated think they're better than other black people. But at the same time, a lot of black people are ignorant. Like we have to call a thing a thing. Like some black people just don't want to know. Like, I don't understand why that, why that is, but like, that's the problem we have in our community where it's like, some y'all need to educate yourselves. I'm like, gonna say I think that's a stereotype that a lot of people are ignorant. It's a lot. It's a lot of people. Oh no, I'm not saying it's only it. us that's ignorant, but I'm saying within our own community, there isn't like some people do not want to Google shit. Like some people just will run mm -hmm. their mouth uneducated. Like, yeah. Think about like think Candace about, Owens. Like, think about. <laughs> No, Candace Owens is very smart. She just chooses to be delusional. It's not the same. I'm talking about some people in our community. No, I was saying like when you be making, when you say and make up stuff and run with it, because she definitely yeah. But it. only reason, only reason she's able to do that is because people don't fact check her, right? So it's like it takes thirty seconds to find out that it takes the House and the Senate to pass a bill. So why are you all under Joe Biden's comments about oh why you ain't why you ain't fix student loans? How? But what 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 House and Senate, what what Supreme Court to enforce it like? So it like I'm saying like, it it takes zero time to research to back up your argument, and some niggas don't fucking do that. You get what I'm saying? And it's not just mm -hmm. us, but by and large, a lot of black people don't do that, and that's the problem. Like some of y'all need to take the time to research. Shizuka, I don't know what the fuck that is. Where the fuck is Shizuka in Japan? Is it and is it on the main island of Honshu? Uh, are you in northern Japan or southern Japan? Like, where are you close to? If you gonna say you in Japan, you need to say Tokyo, Osaka, Okinawa. Like, you need to speak in. Are you in um, Sapporo? Like, you need to give very much. I think for the black community, we like to be told instead of learning for ourselves. That's why the black church has the power it has. There's a military base. Uh, you know, there's you know how many military bases there are in Japan. That is not no help, sir. Two hours from Tokyo. I ain't heard of no Shizuka base. Two hours from you must be talking about Yakuska. Yakuska is not no damn two hours from Tokyo either. Gotemba. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, I think Yakuska is. Uh, what is it? Close to close to Yokohama. Uh, I think for the black community, uh, we like to be told Gotemba American. I ain't heard of no damn Gotemba. Let me Google this shit. Where the fuck is Gotemba? Oh, I know you talking about. You talking about that base in front of Mount Fuji. 
that small ass military base. Um, I think that black community, we like to be told instead of learning for ourselves, that's why the black church, mm, I think there's other reasons why the black church has its power, but the black church has lost a lot of power. Only, only thing the black power, the black church has power over is the democratic primary. But besides that, they don't really have that much power. But like I say, bitch, like the biggest issue that we have in the community is just how is is how black men do black women. That is our biggest issue by a long shot. By a long shot, bitch. And even close to me. I would even you could even argue that black men's issue with black women is bigger than white supremacy is. Like you could even argue that. Because I feel like we should at least be supporting each other. I think you should at least be supporting the women that push you out into this world before we try to take down a thing that oppresses us. Like, some shit you should just fucking do. The Black church don't have that much power. But still. Y'all quiet as fuck. Cal, Chico, where y'all at? Hi. I'm here. Hi. I'm working. I'm I'm listening to everything. You just have to talk about the black church. Yeah, same. I'm listening. Same. I'm just working. You know, I'm about to get ready to go home in 30 minutes. Ooh. How long they had you working today? Well, they don't really have me work. I be work making my own hours. <laughs> so I've been here since uh, uh 11 a.m. So I did 12. I'm going to do a total of 12 hours today. So, no, I got on live because y'all had me fucked up trying to put basic ass white bitches like Grace on a pedestal. Like, it was an emergency live, as Cal said. We had to, we I'm had it was an emergency. Live it was an emergency. Yeah, an emergency, was an emergency. That's what it was. Oh, KC Crew said we spoiling them with the live screens. Why, Michaela, why don't you get on? You be getting on live all the time at yo. Who is, just came on? Hello. Hey, Hi. whoever that is joining. Zio? Who's joining? Zao? I think it's my Polish subscriber. Hello? Uh, oh, it didn't work. Oh. Why does it never Why? work the first time they click the link? I don't know. What Michaela is? She's supposed to been joined. She's at work. I don't understand why it don't work for almost everyone that comes on the live, but it works for me. Every time I join someone's live, it, I always speak. It's immediately. But it never works for anyone else on my live. I don't know why that is. You probably have really good Wi-Fi. I don't have any Wi-Fi. This house could have blocking all my signals. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I better have good Wi-Fi, bitch. What do you think this is? <laughs> Uh, bitch, I don't pay for no reason to fuck. <laughs> the fuck I'm paying y'all for? <laughs> What's up, Jalandia? Vegas in the Houston building. I'm going to put this live in the chat one more time. And don't nobody get on it, bitch. At 3.30, I'm getting off this damn live. Because I don't got time to be on here talking to myself. You're not talking to yourself. Me and Cal are here. Yeah, but still, yeah. bitch. That's how I'm feeling right now, okay? Well, sorry. I'm getting busy. You be telling me you don't want to hear all the stuff that I got going on, so I got to mute my phone. Oh, yeah. That's true. Because I don't want to hear you working on people's bodies and shit like that. Like, y'all... You you I got a story for last night. I was in a news article today. <laughs> what? About your job? Oh, yeah. Did somebody die in your job or something? No, ain't nobody died. Not with me working. <laughs> they survive I mean, they live. Some, every now and then somebody die. Well, not why, just, not why I'm here. Not when it I got to do with say, me. <laughs> um, I really appreciate your voice on how you step up for black women in the gymnastics world. I grew up in the gym with Carly Patterson, and I seen a lot of racist shit firsthand. I commend Damn. you. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. who's trying to come on? Oh, I, not Michaela. Uh, Michaela loves gymnastics. Hey, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hey. 
Hi. Hey. So what's going on? I miss like half the show. I'm so sorry. Ooh. I'm so sorry. You know, Grace, they on Twitter talking about Grace could have beat uh, everybody in the all around. Oh, child. <laughs> child. Grace can't even win in the NCAA. How she going to win in the girl? Yeah, I don't know somebody. if I like how um Grace didn't stand up for uh Car Edgar. Then I go to the thing when all that mess broke out. Thought they was buds. But when you heard somebody Yeah, they was say, both fat you yeah. fuck Grace. <laughs> Grace didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. She's still competing. Having a good day. She's supposed to stood by her, but mm. let me say something about Grace. Um, when you heard somebody say what Gabby or what Dominique Dawes or what Rebecca Andrade could have done, when you heard somebody say that, ever, ever. when you ever heard someone say what Diane Dos Santos could have done, Michaela, have you ever seen that at one time, like by and large by the gym tonight? When have you ever seen someone say that? Never, never. What about what about what Elizabeth Price could have done, like? Y'all don't ever do that to black women, but you always want to, like I said, mm-hmm. you always want to say what a white woman could have done. I'm and sorry, guys, but Grace, you hasn't achieved anything like. Mm. What I just said, Elizabeth Price, what about, what's her name? Uh, what about who else could have done? What's another? Diane Dos Santos. It's so many other people, but y'all don't ever talk about that. Okay, bad. Riley McCusker, too. That's another one of y'all basic ass white bitches you want to gas up. And I know you hate you some her. That's one thing about McCusker. She don't fuck with Riley McCusker. <laughs> well, you know they said Ry- hey. uh, Riley was robbed of us her doing uh, her floor routine to Hamilton. And so, yeah. What the fuck keep going on with this man live? But yeah. They need to disconnect from their Wi-Fi. If they connect to Wi-Fi, try disconnecting to the Wi-Fi. Oh, he they back. Hello? No. Uh, Hi. Uh, Vitam. Huh? Uh, it's my Polish local language. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Can I ask, no. how long have you been watching my channel? Uh, I watch it on December. Since December? Yeah, like when you were talking about World Championship. Oh, no, that shit was like October. Oh, October. Oh, sorry. Oh, my English is very bad. I'm so sorry. You're good. Uh, I do see comments from you a lot. So um, you seem to be, I guess, improving with it. Oh, thank you. Your English seems pretty decent as of now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm shy. You're fine. Uh, um, uh, how do you like Japan so far? Because you just told me you're in Japan. Um, it's kind of hot. I can see Mount Fuji from here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I somewhat can, too, if it's like a sunny day. But I can't really see it um, like on a, on a regular day. But sometimes I can see Mount Fuji from where I live as well. Yeah, I came to Japan to play basketball. I'm training basketball right now. Basketball? Yes. Ah. I didn't know that's they don't really they I don't really know them Japan isn't really known for basketball, so that's kind of shocking. Yeah, I'm I'm studying here for, for high school. Mm. Exchange students. Ah. Well, good luck on that. Um if you ever want like any help around Japan, I can um help you because I've been here for some oh. time now, so I actually yeah. don't been in Japan for a minute now. Like I don't really think about it. But it's like I don't been here for a little minute now. So, yeah. If you need any help about like the train station and stuff like that, I can help you with that as well. Have you got a Suica card mm-hmm. yet? Yes, I I have a Suica card. Okay, yeah, that's something that you yeah. like have to have in Japan. And I already understand Japanese. Really? Yeah. So my Japanese pronunciation is pretty decent, but I damn sure don't understand Japanese. 
日本語できますか ?The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Do you understand Japanese? Uh-uh. No, baby, like, I do not understand Japanese. I can, I can say certain words in Japanese. When I first came to Japan, I was learning Japanese, but I just said, fuck it. Like, I, it's like, why am I going to learn Japanese? Like, what am I going to use Japanese for when I come back to America? Like, oh, because you're in Tokyo, you, you can, there's a lot of English speakers in Tokyo. Yeah. It's okay. The fuck am I, I going to use Japanese like, for? Like, yeah, like that's what I'm thinking of. Like, the fuck am I trying to use Jap- Japanese for if I actually do learn it for real? Like, yeah, you know I'm saying, like, what am I going to do? Like, I guess I have to always be stationed here. Like, you know, that's why I was like, mm, I could learn it if I want to because I was picking it up really easy. But it's like, even my Japanese friends, are like, Japanese is really kind of a point pointless language. That's why they try to yeah. learn English so much because it's like, outside of Japan, you're not going to. No one really speaks Japanese like that. Yep. People can speak English in Tokyo. I don't I know that. Not everybody can. No, in like in the shop. Cashiers. Can yeah. English. But if you cannot speak English in Japan, you done in terms of like getting like a, a good pan job. Oh. Uh you gotta have that like, you have to be able to speak pretty decent English to um get a good job in Tokyo from what I've been told. <laughs> By some of my Japanese friends, also get to get a job, on the, also to get a job on a military base. Uh, oh, do you, you get sh- paid? Hmm? Do you get paid in the military? Yeah, there's um a lot of Japanese people that work on military bases. Oh, Japanese people English is notoriously bad. Not all of them. Don't do them. Some yes, but a lot of them speak really good English. Oh, my mom was actually a former gymnast. Really? From Poland? Yeah. Yeah. In in the Eastern Bloc. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty, that's she has, dope. She has a gymnastic school back, back from Poland. Back I mean, Poland. it went, went, when did you live in Japan, uh, Mia? I was going to say that, um, what it, I went to Japanese school and the English was, yeah, um, the problem with Japanese English is, I don't know what they do, but they don't, they don't, the math don't be mapping for how they learn English. Most of my Japanese friends that learn English, they learn English by talking to Americans over the phone and playing video games. Because like the way they teach English, they like teach English grammar, but we don't use proper English grammar as Americans. Like, oh yeah. so it's like, we don't learn English. The way we speak English, they don't they wouldn't be able to understand the things that we say despite like learning English. Yeah. Can it's Kayla very Cello, different the, from Slavic language? It's very yeah. different. Can Kayla the Cello be a great white hope if she's most yeah? Very th- does she not present as white? <laughs> so what you think this is? Uh what and also, they're very much all non-black women are getting advantages. It ain't just white gymnasts and gymnastics. They don't have them practice speaking it. So, yeah, a lot of Japanese people are very afraid to speak English. Even though, even though they can speak English, they be a, they be scared to like speak in English. Kayla DeCello don't isn't even is multiracial looking as Kyla Ross. You can tell Kyla Ross is Asian or whatever. Like Kayla DeCello, you don't even you like what is Kayla DeCello when you look at her. Like, um, yeah. So I do want to ask, like, being someone from Poland, why would you, I guess, like, how does that, how does my channel necessarily connect, like, with you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I guess, like, the things I kind of talk about are very much, like, Black issues in America and, and like, global. Like, how did that kind of attract you as someone that's, like, Polish? Uh, I just want to learn about the world, I guess, especially American culture. Because Poland is very close, you know, so it's a close country. They're not really welcoming there, so yeah. I want to right. I want to learn about the world. I guess. That makes sense. Does, yeah. Okay, uh, I plan on visiting Poland eventually. Like my goal after Japan is to be stationed in Europe. I want to be stationed in Germany. Even though I don't like Germany, I still want to like 
live there because I want like access, like Paris access to um, France. I could be stationed in the UK as well, but a lot of people don't like being stationed in the UK. So I'll, I'll consider that, but I definitely don't want to be stationed in Italy, but um, I would like to be stationed in Germany and I would like, so I can have access to all the other countries in Europe in terms of traveling. So, yeah. Is there a military base in Poland? There, there, mm, there are now, uh, as of recently, the U.S. has started moving a lot of troops into Poland because of, like, the Ukraine war and stuff like that. So, um, but I don't know if there's specifically, if there is specifically a, a military base in Poland. But I guess they have, like, things on the low, if you know what I'm saying. Are you going to run for political office one day? What my, don't you think I'm a little bit too rational to be trying to run for office? Like, let's be so for real right now. Maybe in Atlanta, but like, what? Like, no. They're going to pull up Jim Landia's channel. They're going to try to, oof. They're going to have so much things mm. to talk about in their campaign ads against me. Like, you're very confident. Thank you. You have a lot of confidence. If George Santos can run, so can you. True, mm -hmm. true. Mm -mm. but i really want to appreciate all you guys for supporting me like uh from all across the world i've tried to like you know keep my myself you know what i'm saying like on on one specific uh platform from the jump and i just really appreciate uh the asshole who drags gabby's running he ain't gonna win though that nigga is not gonna win he is running for office and that's what makes sense to me. You're running for office in a black majority district in Atlanta, and you're trying to attack Gabby Douglas and Simone Biles. Like, do you do you want to win or not? Like, that's what that's what these people don't understand. Yeah, that Happy. guy from your great great white hope video. Yeah, like Jeff, Jeff Chris, yeah, well, yeah. he's yeah. actually running for Congress in a district that I live in. Like, I don't live there, but you know what I'm telling like my my address on record, like. But you're not gonna win in Atlanta on that kind of rhetoric. What are you talking about? Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I think that he knows he's not gonna win anyway, so he's trying to make a name for himself because that's what they do. He's not gonna do it by dragging Gabby down. Especially if black people are gonna support Gabby, which obviously they do. He he'd never hear the end of it. But it's like because he's a Republican running for at running for Congress in Atlanta anyway, he's not gonna win. So I guess like for him, he's like, I might as well try to make a name for myself because it's like, I'm not going to win this race anyway. Like America is very much, um, mm. America is very much, how do I explain it? Like America is very much bipartisan, not by, I'm not bipartisan, very partisan. So people in Atlanta, Atlanta is a very democratic place. So Republican will never win in Atlanta despite the circumstances. So um, when it comes to when it comes to like, for example, Chico lives in Alabama. No Democrat is going to win in Alabama, despite what they say. Like, no matter what they right. do, no matter how good, no matter how good of a candidate they are, they're never going to win in Alabama. Like, no Republican is ever going to win in Atlanta, the city. Like, this is not going to happen. So yeah. it's like for him, he might as well talk his shit anyway, because it's not going to affect like him winning. Just the fact that it's like you have some audacity to be trying to run on that platform where you were trying to represent the constituents you represent. I don't think Alicia Sacramento should be able to, should be the one who holds a single vote from the high performance team when she has such toxic views. We talked about this, Bradley, but like the, the problem is you can't say that about her because they can flip that on, on us. So it's like you got, you have to play by the same rules. Didn't 46% of Americans vote for Donald Trump? 74 million people. So, like, you can't just exclude 74 million people from um, a, a position. Even, even if you disagree with them or not. Because it's like, not what they're going to do. When they get in power, they're going to exclude you. Which they're going to try to do anyway. But it's like, you can't create those rules. Because when they come into power, they're going to flip them rules on you. You have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Not just the best. I did not say this in my last video. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said, yeah, you said something about, I don't remember all the politics, but you were like, this group of, like, I, I said young that, girl. I, I said remember. basically that, that you have to learn from the worst in 2020 and the best yeah. in 2016 and 2018. You have to prepare for the worst. Oh, that was That's my quote. Best. That was my oh. quote, the quote. Yeah, God yeah, damn yeah. it, I was busy. Sorry. Yeah, you good, but... The okay. quote, the, the quote from what I said, yeah. That one was mine, Cal. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but Cal always quoted me like, I was. Yeah, because I remember everything you say. Well, not not everything, but a lot though. Because I watch your videos all the time, so it just it just gets ingrained in my head. Yeah. I feel like she's going to fuck Gabby over. We gonna see. She ain't gonna hear the end of it. Oh no, they won't. <laughs> she Gabby won't. is going to place in the top three all around. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting this pressure mm-hmm. on her. She's gonna make it. And then she's gonna be number one or two. Um oh, it's gonna be so close on bars. It's gonna be really close. Mm-hmm. But I gotta go based mm-hmm. off what I seen last right. year, because you know, we ain't seen true routines from Gabby. So I'm banking on Charlie's being number one on bars. And right. mm-hmm. you know, we're going from there. But like they, they're gonna have to the numbers gonna say put Gabby on the team. So I wanna see how they're gonna try to spin this. What they're gonna say is I'm gonna have to see them not putting Gabby on the team if SUNY is up to par and they're gonna try to say, Well, you know, something about SUNY. And but can, what, what if SUNY don't if SUNY don't beat Gabby as well, what can they say? They can't mm, they can't nothing. say nothing. <laughs> they can't they, I'm bar, saying it. Sunny for the beat Gabby on what? That's the that's that's what I want. Cause what's like, Gabby be can Gabby be. On? Cause like, we Gabby know Gabby Sunny ain't gonna do nothing with Gabby on on on. on. We don't know what yeah. Sunny got on floor. Right? And yeah. only place I can see Sunny beating Gabby is on B. But Bing, that's what I said B. too. Mm-hmm. But she ain't consistent on B. She's so, gonna have like a seven zero D on B. Which no, the fuck she not. <laughs> How? But how she gonna? How? how? She can have probably six, probably six eight. How she gonna have a six eight when she can't even hit a six zero? Oh. So what you <laughs> six eight? I'm, where is she gonna get a six eight from? This consistent. Simone doesn't even have a be. six eight right now. Like let's let's be so for real right now, Chico. I'm just I saying, think- soon, soon coming out with her uh, lay I step out onto the beam to her backhand spring, backhand spring. Hate that. By the way, I don't know why she do two backhand springs behind it, but okay. Nice. So like I said, I got to believe it to see it. Mm-hmm. I don't believe it. I don't think we're going to see it either. I just, I don't I think, see that's, it for I think that's a lot of risk to take too, starting off the routine. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. That's the terrible, especially if you're not consistent. I wouldn't dare risk it. <laughs> it's no. giving me to Sacramento. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If Gabby beats Suni on bars, Which and she probably will probably beat Suni in the all around, Gabby is going to make it to Paris. Suni mm-hmm. can't. Suni, there's no way Suni can make it to Paris unless she's like better than Gabby on bars, and maybe then. beam, and the all around. Because Beam yeah. is not even enough for her. Like, at this point, Beam is not even a huge factor for Sunny because we got Beamers. Like, with Gabby, mm-hmm. Simone, Charlize. Charlize is kind of is a Beamer now. Like, we got Beamers. Connor coming back, too? Connor, right. Connor, we got yeah. Beamers. So, really, Sunny has to do good on Beam and Bar and even have a vault or floor. And I would probably say floor over vault, to be honest, because everybody can do a double twist in your chakra. And, and her double sister, you mm-hmm. take us the worst of them. So, and let me say something else. <laughs> even on even on Vaught and Floor, even if she does have an all around program, you think she would beat Gabby? No, she's not even beating. Even if she can score fifteen on bars, a four point five on Bean, she ain't even beating Scott in the all around. I, no, I, <laughs> Sky Blakely on Floor though, and Sky Blakely. Well, can, okay, Sky Blakely, I can. Sky Blick would be lucky to put up a 14-5 on bars. So with that, she would I think be... Sky, I think she can put up a 14-5 on bars. That's probably her domestically. So that means 
she beats Sky Blake. She gets 0.5 on Sky Blakely on on Beam. I mean, on bars. She probably gets a They'll 10 score about from Sky Blake. She probably gonna score a little bit more than, than Sky Blakely on Beam, which we saw on last. Mm -hmm. So that's seven tenths right there. She beats Sky Sky Blakely on floor, and Sky Blakely beats her on vault. So she would beat Sky in the all around. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I think I think Gabby's like prepared, but she's just quiet though. She wants to surprise us at classics. I think that's mm. what it is. I want to see Gabby clear soon. I do too. <laughs> we waited too long. Huh? I said we waited I, too listen, long. I, 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 I kind of like Suni, but the way your fans got to you up, man, like we just like I we I gotta see you get cleared one time. Like mm -hmm. do we? I don't think Suni Lee is no hater either, but still, your fans are delusional. <laughs> That's the problem for her. That's what's gonna get Suni on your overrated list. I would fans. pay to pay, pay to see Gabby beat Simone. Now we reaching. Um, uh, I think Gabby could be Simone though, especially with a mistake. But I still that's the thing. I you win. pointed it out. You already pointed it out that anybody can beat her with a mistake. Like they can beat her. They're too close to Simone than they were before. Like, and the people no. want to sit up here and act like, oh, you saying Simone can get beat? That is not what the fuck. No, I said. that's not what you said. You said with a mistake. Mm -hmm. You clearly said with a mistake. Simone can get beat, and mm -hmm. you brought up the fact that you brought up examples of floor finals all around. You brought up world trials with Shalice because if Shalice foot didn't hit that mat on bars, she would have beat Simone at world trials. But she only again, lost that's Simone with Simone. With, she only lost to Simone by what point two with that? Yep, point two. Mm -hmm. And that's about right because Simone had two fouls, so that would be right. So it's like, uh uh. Simone, you got a 55 with two fouls, girl. <laughs> Kayla, the cello could beat that, man. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, I have a best. Mm -hmm. I have a best. Uh, like, I have a best, best, right. No, but Simone got like a 55.5 with two fouls. Kayla, the cello could get that, even with just her doing, like, her Winter Cup could score that internationally. It could. Yeah. I'm not sure about the beam, but it could. Not, not, not beam. Like so, so Simone was saved by everyone fucking around at World Trials because it's like you could have got beat not even just by um you could have got beat by Sky Leanne like your ass became like fourth place with a fifty five point five the fuck is that and that's so uncharacteristic of Simone because Simone's always like well in this code she can get like fifty sixes at least so yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think she'll win. She she's never she's never lost it all around. She's never lost on floor. I think she'll be fine, Wait. but she needs to upgrade. Suni gonna make it when she falls in like Michaela Skinner on beam. No, is she looking like Nastia Lucas? Suni, like like Michaela said this. <laughs> if you're not fucking around with us, show us your vault right now. Show us that was Cecilia Chenko. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at the world trials result. <clears throat> As y'all know, my girl Scott came in third. Um, with a bad floor routine. Like her floor scored twelve point four. Like Yeah. And she was still how, st how close to Simone? She was seven tenths behind her. Yeah. With a twelve point four. So if Sky just get her floor up to That's what I'm saying, Simone. One by one like, point, how, she, how close she could, yeah. to her? Uh, Charlize made a 55.3 with a mistake, and then Simone made a 55.7. So, four tenths. Damn, Simone. 55.7, girl. Yeah. Charlize outscored her, her on Bing. Charlize outscored Simone on Bing by one tenth, and Damn. Scott Blakely uh, outscored her by three tenths on Bing. What the fuck happened to Simone on Bing? Uh, she got a 14. I guess she oh, failed. <laughs> I guess she failed. And then she fell on bars. Bar, she had to fall on bars because she got a 12.8. The thing is, we know Gabby got a bar in Florida. We don't know that about Suni. Even if Gabby don't show mm -hmm. it to us, we at least know Gabby got it. Damn, the end score is going to work for damn at World Trial. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> She got to get her floor back right. If she can get her floor back right, she'll be okay. 
Oh, Leanne's she... gonna. Leanne also. She was. She, she's also coming with upgrades as well. I think. Right. Leanne went off gonna... for like nationals, though. She did. Well, she went mm. off. Uh, the, what day two? Day two. Yeah. When she got her. Cause they, did they, I thought three, they. Did she think three of her four tournament passes? She did. She did. I thought it they was over, a double double. I thought they were harsh on her on day one. I thought they kind of scored her very harsh on day one. Leanne got bad artistry on floor. Mm hmm. We need big Leanne. <laughs> we need the Power Bowl for Super Smash Bros. We, we need big Leanne. We do. My favorite, oh, um, Becky, Queen of Caucasia, Jade. Um, she yeah, got a fourteen point six five on her chain. That's low. And, and uh, Jocelyn got a fourteen point six. I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no, I, I don't believe it. Jade must step no. out of bounds or something. She stepped out of bounds. She had to, cause you know they took all the videos down. No, Jay stuck her chain and still scored less than Jocelyn at, at nationals. Right. Put it up. Oh, well, put, yeah. Cal, put it up right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pull um, up well, Jocelyn. Okay, so well, oh. Pull up Jocelyn Robertson vault day two, and then pull up Jade vault. Okay. Yeah, they because they were Can trying to push for screen? Jocelyn. I'm telling you, they're, they're, push, they're pushing for Jocelyn. They ride my like, girl. They ride my favorite Becky right here. Because I, when I saw this, I was like, "Oh, they set you up." I know you get a shirt that say "Queen of Caucasia." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Vault Two. No, no, show Vault One because that's the chain. Oh. Okay. No, actually, we could show both because Jay cleared both her vaults. You could have kept it. Oh, okay. Jocelyn double this twisting is, is not good. Hmm? Yeah, keep it up. You good? Yeah, her form is just not. not okay, good. so show the score. You put put hit the bottom right here. Oh, thirteen eight. Okay, that's right. That's that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> eight 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 point eight execution. Okay, so put on Jay. No, put on Jocelyn Robinson. Um, Vault One. That's where you really yeah. see the robbery. <laughs> What's she scoring? Um, she got a fourteen point six five. Okay, so show it. <laughs> Okay, so put on Jade. Bent? Does she got bent? Her knees are bent. Put on Jade day two, and you're gonna see like this is like ain't no way because Jade went off. Jade got a 14.55 day two. I know that's crazy, and then her form is better. I well, we got ponytail Jade back too, so just saying. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, Jay had that leg separation, but it was Jay, better. But Jay, was al before. Jay always had that leg separation. That's okay, built so in. She, that's a part landing? of her routine. Yeah. You gonna tell me Jay stuck the landing with better form and still scored less than Jocelyn? Mm mm. Okay, Jay. like like I, Jay, they set you up, girl. No, but that's just domestic scoring. Like internationally, they, they, she would have done a lot better. Yeah, she probably would have got because she probably got like a fourteen eight something with that, and yeah. Jocelyn would have scored like a fourteen five. Okay, so I pulled up Simone day two of world trial. She got a fourteen nine. So I think she probably fell on beam too. I think she fell on beam and bars on day one of world trials, and that's what missed her. No, she fell on vault and beam on bars. Oh, okay. Damn. Well, what did she do on? All three? No, she didn't fall on beam. She just probably missed some connections. Me, me, she must have missed a lot. <laughs> mm, she missed That's a lot. what I'm saying, Simone. All it takes is one bad day. And it's like, girl. Yeah. I, top three I, was scared, I was scared that she was going to get clear at day two, um, day one at that camp. Uh -huh. It wasn't until... I was like, Simone, you cutting it close. Even with that one ball, like, 
Then score she got that score on Bean was like, you ain't finna do nothing with no 14 to make up no ground on Shylees. Like no. Not when Shylees is getting 14 threes on Bean and 14. Like if you would have uh, it's one thing you would have a 14 8. You could have still got half a point back. Like yeah. you ain't getting nothing back on floor. What did she score on floor? It was it wasn't like no. So mine scored she scored a 14 3 on floor day one. That's girl. What did what did Shylee score? Oh, uh, Charlie's. I don't know what she did on floor. She got 13 5. But, but even know, still, scored. like Simone, you should be scoring like a 15 plus on floor. Like, yeah, I'm like, Simone, these scores, you is not gonna win today. Like, <laughs> that's all I'm looking at. Like, Simone, your ass for the lose. I remember when Jake was doing triple double layout. She better not. I'm tired of y'all. She, that Jade tonight. is not doing that. She already said she's scared. She took, she literally that said in the interview, form, I'm scared to do it now. She said, I'm scared to do it now. I was crazy. The She'll form gave very much Amy Tinkler. Oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, anyway, <laughs> I think she could get a named after her, but the form would. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, it's time for me to go. I don't know why I'm still here. I'm going to walk out. Amy Tinkler. Oof. <laughs> she has a Chica, who the most decay. overrated gymnast in your opinion of all time? Oh. Oh. Mm. I, see, it's Great. so hard to answer that question because I'll be trying to think because you know I'm a Gavis fan. She's the reason I watch gymnastics. So, but. I'm <laughs> I don't, don't want to say Pumbaa because she is overrated, but she's one of the best. So it's like you can take her out and compare her to somebody else who's overrated and not even good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, no, Pumbaa, uh, like the way Pumbaa is gassed up, though, like yeah, <laughs> very much. It, like like Cal said. The tears. It's the tears. I'm telling you, the tears just made everybody say, oh, she deserved it. No, like very much. Like who would you say? Chico, you got to say one person. One? It don't matter what time. Oh, my God. It might Cal, be Cal, you said Comba like, yours, I right? I, I, yeah, I'll say Comba, yeah. That's just who I see the <laughs> most like, on YouTube and stuff. You got know I can't see. stand how they hype up floppy. I'm just, because she don't got no medals. <laughs> like, she don't have anything to stand on. Like, I swear to, if Charlize would have flopped, they would have not, they would not treat her the same way and be like, oh, no. she's that good. They, they wouldn't. So that's why it pisses me off how much hype they give Flavio. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The like Jordan, I said, the I way they both Jordan, everybody be attacking Gabby about bullshit that don't have nothing to do with her. Jordan was wrong. Oh, I couldn't stand Jordan. You know, can I just say <laughs> a year 2012? Can I just say 2012? Because that, that, that'll that cover a, a good chunk of everybody. Jordan, Kamaba. Allie, Jordan, Kamaba. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Gabby was ready to take everyone down in 2012. And let me say something. I ain't going to say it, but I think Aaliyah must have been a little bit overrated. Uh, yeah. A bit, yeah. She's great on bars. Isn't she, but isn't she like on a Russian like, committee or something now? I don't or know. Gymnastic or whatever I know mom going to gain a good hundred pounds. Ooh, I wasn't gonna say nothing. I was trying to avoid saying it, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not. What did you say? But was good. Was a good gymnast. She was a good gymnast, but she a little bit of like I said, multiple things can be true at once. Uh, everyone in the chat, drop drop the gymnast who you think is the most overrated of all time. This is this is so much drama. Uh, who would you that. who would you say, um, Zio? Zio, what is your actual name? I don't want to use my actual name. So, um, what? Who would you who would you say is um the most overrated gymnast of all time in your opinion? Shannon Miller or Ali Reisman? Shannon Miller, I think Shannon Miller is a little bit overrated. But and, and Ali Reisman. But Shannon Miller, I would say of all time, like <laughs> how you 
feel about that Chico and Cal? Like all time, Shannon Miller? Like no, 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 not all time. Yeah, a bit overrated, but not all time. All time. And she does have medals to back out though. Yeah, but still, Shannon. Yeah, I, like I even said this on the live multiple times. I think very much. But, but of all time, don't, don't that not all time. Yeah, I would even. even I, mm, Ali, even like Ali, 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 Ali is just like mm, you know you you explained it perfectly in your video, in your video but like with like Ali is just like sly, you know. Ali is sly. All time Jordan Weber. Mm. Mm. There's an argument for that. In in, in 2011, 2012, yeah, but I wouldn't say like overall. She was definitely humbled in London. <laughs> Vanessa Honda. But, yeah. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> no, I'm tired of you talking about Leanne Wong because listen, as mm -hmm. long as Grace McCallum lives, baby, Leanne will never be. What is it about Grace though? Very much. I would say Grace is the greatest one of most. <laughs> But I'm trying to think of if I can only say one because I'm confused about if I should go like between because listen, Lilia, <laughs> Lilia Pacapamba was up there, baby. Like, okay, <laughs> I would say overrated, but I don't of all time, I don't know. In 1996, yeah, or Kina like too. You said what? Yeah, uh, I don't like Lilia either. Quirkina, um, oh, I like her, yeah. but very much overrated. Very much, um, Robert. Um, I ain't gonna say this one Genesis in the '96 because I, that's gonna give away my not my top pick for my overrated. No, '96. Okay, someone in '96. Okay. Um, ah, <laughs> Galileo. Yes, they're not. She ain't gonna be number one, but very much. Yes. Very much, Dina Coach Nicole um, too. Working up. No, Horkin ain't gonna be number one on that list, but this oh. one was really pushed by the media, like really, really pushed. Really pushed. Okay, wait, did they make it to the Olympics in nineteen? Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, I That's have no idea that. <laughs> Boginskaya is overrated, but it's not Boginskaya. Um. Okay. So who was there in ninety six? That was. Lilia, not Carrie Strug, it's someone who was really pushed, like almost her whole Dominique, life. Dominique, Dominique Mochini. <laughs> it's definitely Dominique, Dominique Mochini. I don't know if I'm busy. Mm. Could be, it could be her, it could be, um, it could be Horkina. It could be, um, two, we already know about Tuso being overrated. Amanda Borden was not really pushed. Why y'all keep saying that? Yeah, no. It could be very much. Like I said, it could be Komenichi a little bit, saying. but Mo, um, I like. Listen, I said Komenichi. She's humble though. She knows she's overrated, so I can respect that. But very much, Lil, very much, Lilia, very much. Um, a lot of these other gymnasts, but um, Dina Koshekova. I, I already said that too. Dina Koshnikova, very much. <laughs> but Rosa Dalieva. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, people do think she was the best best voter in the nineties. Okay, no. Yes, she had. Mm -hmm. Um, Truso very much robbed Alicia Sakama. Okay, um, Milo. Um, Milo. Yeah, how is how is Gojin on the list, but not Milo? Milo, Milo clear. Okay, she did. She did. Gojin, Gojin only. Gojin only did decent on floor, but when was Gojin ever good on beam? She was consistent. Yeah, <laughs> but Milo actually was pretty decent on beam, right? Like, how you, yeah, gonna, she why was. you think Milo? How you think Milo? You think Milo more overrated than Gojin? though? come on now. Mm, no, no. Actually, I don't know. But I feel like Milo was that girl before Gojin was in terms of the Romanians. So let, let me put. Yeah, let me put on. Let me pull up my list right now. For the I already know who, who is it, the most overrated. Who? Marinescu. Who is Marinescu? Oh, yeah. I forgot about her. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Because that's she took Simona Amino Simona Amino took her spot in the all around in Atlanta. I think. <laughs> or no Milo. Or something like her, that. But, but yeah, but she ain't gonna be she was only pushed for a little bit, but when I think of, I'm talking about really push. Morgan don't do Morgan Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, was who said something? Who said something about Morgan Hart? Because Morgan Hart was very much that girl. She was underrated. And someone exactly. tried to say Mary Lou Retton. Mary Lou Retton, yes, she was overrated by American media, but the gym that asked like Mary Lou Retton was a trash gymnast. <laughs> oh my oh me oh thank We ain't yeah. calling no black woman overrated on my channel. Y'all fucking know this. Becky Donnie. Uh, Becky's not over. not going to sit up here and do this. The thing is, Morgan just should, Tom should just let her compete at trials. That was the, that was the only thing. We Morgan, in condition she was in, she wasn't going to make the team. Like Morgan heard is in black. Over. I know that. I'm talking about Becky Downey. I didn't get mad. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, um, I think, Bradley, who said Playboy USA. Um, no, okay, yeah, let me okay. go ahead. Number 10 was someone who was really overrated shit. in 2000. Okay, just give y'all here. Oh. Okay, um, Radicon, no, but it's somebody. Hola, Number hola, nine, somebody, <laughs> huh, what, who, Maria Olaru. Olaru. Oh, number nine. Number nine, I already know been mentioned in the chat, but y'all don't know who it is. I think I might change number nine, though. Number okay. eight is someone I've already said. Uh, number seven, very much so, going into 2000. Very uh, excuse much. Excuse me. I, I have to go in now. I'm sorry. Okay. We just to say happy you. Any <laughs> Chinese you. gymnasts? Uh, no, I thought about putting... Um, I thought about putting Yang Bo on the list, but Yang Bo, she did something for me with that back handspring layout to um to roof, uh, over. roof over. Like she did something, did something for me. Like you should never forget. This is a pro black channel. Like if you know I'm a pro black channel, how you how you forget? Um, number one, I already know who. Yes, number one ain't finna change. We just gonna see it like that. It's Lydia, it's isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, oh. <laughs> Number two cannot change. The, the the top two gonna be the top two. It's it's a real big battle for which one of them should be number one. Okay. <laughs> and okay. then number oh. three and number four, y'all already know. Okay. It's just like the problem with old school is it's so hard to just put ten on the list. Yeah, because everyone was overrated. <laughs> like everyone was overrated back then. Carrie Strug, like y'all be doing that. <laughs> yeah. mm. People gave her a lot of hype for her win in Atlanta, definitely. But I don't think she's yeah, overrated. Yeah, her big one on her broke, broke, uh, her broke foot. Okay, so like I said, Chico, you saying your 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 number one of all time is who again? <sighs> Come over, cause they just did a game of okay, so long. Okay, I thought you said it. Jordan Weaver. Well, I, I just don't. Well, Jordan don't add up to me, cause we all know Gabby was better than Jordan. So I mean, they can hype her up all she wants to. Some she people, lost to the American. She lost every time to Gabby. She lost that American <laughs> Cup. Mar she, she beat Mar Gabby at nationals. The come over is yeah. I think I'm gonna do overrated, overrated of all time, y'all. I'm gonna have to decide who my number one gonna be, and I don't know if it's gonna be come if it's gonna be Flavia, but it's. I'm telling you, I already know both of them gonna be on the list. Flavia definitely gonna be on the list because the the way you get attacked, hell shit, Grace gonna be on there too. You ask me, cause I just don't know what they saw in her. No offense to the Grace fans out there, she was okay. She was an elite gymnast for sure, but. Grace defense. I mean, <laughs> she don't have no stand out guys... like Grace. Yes, she is. Jordan will never not be overrated. All you gotta do is go watch NBC's coverage. No, exactly. Then. The coverage alone. Like even when Gabby they won swore, Olympic trials. They, they... The Olympic all around title. 
She wasn't going to win anyway. That's the thing. Jordan was never going to win. Y'all forgetting about Maggie Nichols. Oh, that's your favorite. Oh, Maggie definitely going on. Half more than half of your list gonna be USA girls alone. No, but I'm just talking mm. about like remember, remember Chico, you the one that said Maggie should have been number one on that list. She should really gas Maggie up like they really had Maggie thinking that she could beat Gabby, and Maggie thought she could beat Gabby. That's the thing. This is crazy. These people are crazy. Grace is overrated. So is Riley McCusker. Maggie with her book is guy kind of floor landing. Like, I don't know. Maggie <laughs> did piss me off. You know what? It's Maggie for me. I can't stand Gra <laughs> Grace and Riley. <laughs> it's really Maggie. <sighs> Jordan. Kamava. Basically, I, anyone I can't who's, even put I, <laughs> anybody that went against Gabby. That's basically my whole list. So, okay, yeah, anyone anyone who people thought was better than Gabby is basically the most. Gabby, Maggie would have lost to Gabby okay. by like two tenths with her team final score. I'm not yeah. knocking these other gymnasts. I'm just saying they were all fucking delusional and they had beef against Gabby instead of beef with each yeah. other. Why wasn't Maggie trying to go after Allie's spot? Like, what the... Like, that's the spot you should have been trying to get. Like, they and all attacked Gabby. Why don't you ever have Madison right. They don't say the anything the about their, their counterparts. They don't say anything about their counterparts, but when it's Gabby, everybody want to make Gabby the, the aggressor and the one that they need to be and the one that's taking everybody's spot and make Gabby look like she's the bad person. And when Gabby is humbling all them bitches, like Jordan had no smoke for Allie when Allie beat her, it was all Gabby took my spot. Gabby took my spot. What the fuck? Okay, oh, I just got pissed off. I just else. took it personal. Do you think this is true? Mm, mm, no, no, I don't see it. She really, really around for 2016, as far as I know. Anyway, she was good on bars, but. I, I don't know. Mm. I wouldn't say so. Of all time. <laughs> you talking about, what, what are you talking about? Madison Coach? Yeah. No, of all time. <laughs> no, wait, 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 time. What's time I'm about? still trying to think of my all time. But my yeah. all time most overrated. It's Comova. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Comova. I don't know. Cause, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to think of another one because y'all already don't all said that. So you said Kova, someone else, you gotta, someone else gotta say another one because we gotta have three at least. Okay, um, <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> I can't even put Grace um, in my number one because she can't beat anyone. Like, I, I wanna no, put her up there because like, she is uh, <laughs> Very much so, you know, like. But like, she's the bad, the bad kind of overage. Yes. She's the overage another that doesn't one, win. I already put on the list. Very much like <laughs> you know, she. She the one. Uh, um, Grace was the when the great white hope was in great white hope. Like it ooh. just wasn't it. When the great white hope became the great white hopeless. Hopeless, yes. Great Kayla Cello. As of now, yes. Yeah. Her and a bit, yeah. <laughs> the way Guys, they pushed Jocelyn when... last year, mm, but she wouldn't be on my list. She ain't, she ain't enough. No, but if, if if Simone were not as good as she is, people would people would compare these white gymnasts to her as well. They would. They would. Caitlin Ohashi, them Simone. They yeah. always. They, they still. They still compare Caitlin Ohashi to Simone and be like, she would have beaten her. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. They would have been about the same on Bean, but that's about it. Like they, she wouldn't have beaten Simone. She didn't have a vault. Simone got way harder tumbling on floor. Caitlyn don't do twisting, and that's it. I don't know. Their logic is weird. <laughs> she beat Simone one crazy. time because Simone and Simone made a mistake when Caitlyn beat her. Simone Why is Caitlyn a shitty person? Wait, is she? Wait, no, Simone I don't know that, but I I definitely put her on that list. Um, what she do, Caitlyn? Caitlin was like a short nasty. <laughs> a short nasty. No, but let me say something. The difference between Grace and Riley is Riley. 
Riley could win an individual medal, Grace. Okay, but Riley got super country out on her best event by Morgan Hurd. Which so. is, yeah, that when you get humble like that, that's sad. That's just like saying, <laughs> God forbid. But well, no, that's just like saying soon to get super country out on bars by somebody that by some own, like, well, which is doable, but. Never mind, they not used to mom. That's just like saying she got two per country. Not, well, no, because shit. Well, yeah, buy some on. Because I mean, Kate, Caitlin is white and Japanese, um, but very much the box braids, side eye. But mm, who got box braids? Ka Caitlin Ohashi. When I didn't see them, I'm gonna have to go look that up. But Caitlyn Ohashi, very much. Um, I would say most, but yeah. Yeah, um, she is though. But definitely Comova. Like people act like Comova mm -hmm. is the greatest gymnast of all time. Like I swear she, to God, she is one of the <laughs> best of all time for sure. Like that's not gonna the change. Devil. She's. <laughs> is Comova not? Is Comova not good? But you know what, Gabby is better. So now what? Um, very much Comova, very much Maggie Nichols. Comova and Maggie Nichols were both Gabby's like. Comova, Maggie Nichols, and Jordan Weaver are Gabby's like enemies. Uh, Comova <laughs> only got got to shine because Aaliyah. No, Comova was a better gymnast than Aaliyah. Was Sabina. I'll give her that. Oh yeah, for sure. If Aaliyah had never torn her ACL, we never. No, because Aaliyah, Comova also, when Aaliyah won the 2010 um, Worlds, Comova won the Youth Olympic Games the same year. And she oh, she never fought and always gave up. That's so true. Like, the look thing at, about look the fear the, was that funny. once Comova and Mustafina were together at their best, that what was USA going to do? But USA because can still beat them. Comover, Comover and Jordan Weaver were both gonna be were both bound to be fucking Jordan Weaver, who was supposed to be America's top girl. Mm. They swore Jordan Weaver was gonna win that Olympic all around. I don't know what map, what what calculus he was looking at. <laughs> Marta knew it. when Gabby beat her at that what was that American Cup, even though mm -hmm. Gabby wasn't officially a registered or whatever yeah, the fuck that yeah. was going on. When when yeah. Gabby beat her, then Marta knew what was what was going on. She was like, "Oh no!" And and Jordan was so mad that Gabby beat her because the person that always again. wins. No, listen, like, the person that wins the American Cup in the Olympic, you always wins the all around title. That's so this true. true. Except twenty sixteen, but that's so true. Yeah, because um, Gabby beat Jordan. Gabby won, even though she didn't get to win, yeah. but uh. Nastia won as well as Carly, Mary Lee Simone. Redden. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Nadia. 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 Yeah. That's what they were saying. Jordan that's Weaver. why they were like, <laughs> I think that's why Marta took Gabby. Like, if Gabby wins, like, you know what else? Um, Sports Illustrated even in long Jordan getting gold and Gabby getting silver. How is Jordan finna beat Gabby? Gabby just Jordan was gonna beat Palma the whole year. It's just like Gabby that, was too Gabby was too good on bars. And same thing with Comabon. They just weren't they just weren't looking at that. Like they were just thinking because Jordan's been winning all year, she would win in London if she hit. But no, they didn't realize mm -hmm. Gabby was coming. That, now Even that, if Jordan would have gave her base best performance and qualification, it wouldn't have been enough. To win gold, no. To win. Mm -hmm. Like no, no, she she still would she still would have lost the game. Like she couldn't put up no sixty two. No, <laughs> maybe a sixty-one on her best day. Yeah, but definitely but not more than that. And I even just sixty-two, sixty-two point two, bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen for her. You know what? That's probably why I got so much beef with Jocelyn because she going to Jordan, uh, her school, college, to be on their team. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Jocelyn's going to Arkansas. Yeah, Mia, that's what yeah, I'm Gabby's saying. Yeah, Gabby's goal like, almost never happened. That's, that's what true. I'm Comfort saying. would have would have been an all-around champion if no, Jordan no, no, Weaver, no, but they uh, weren't going to let they wouldn't let Jordan qualify anyway. Yeah, they, like, they really They weren't going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. 
I am. I'm oh yeah. With- no, I'm not making it underrated. Maybe in the future, they were not gonna let um. They were not gonna let her qualify. To, like Cal was right. They was giving it to her. Mm-mm. But the way Marta was looking up at that scoreboard in the last rotation, I think, like the camera for NBC kept showing her looking up. I think she was just like, whatever happens, she just wanted Gabby to qualify to all around finals. <laughs> right, because she knew Gabby. Happen. She knew Gabby would win. Yeah. She knew Gabby. Yeah, as, would, as Gabby as, was the only one. Exactly. Like as long as Gabby qualified to the all around, she didn't care what happened to the other two. She just wanted Gabby to qualify. <laughs> What did, wasn't she like having like the praying hands up or something like that? Like her hands were like in the praying position when she was yeah, looking up at the like scoreboard. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was scared Jordan was gonna surpass Gabby. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I really was. And it's like, oh shit! Like when Gabby went out of bounds like that on floor, Gabby. Because like, mm. Gabby had a and she would have made. But they was like, Jordan was scared about Allie because, you know, Jordan only had a couple tenth advantage over Allie, which she shouldn't have mm-hmm. had. Jordan should have had her a good lead over Allie. Like, mm-hmm. like <laughs> Allie was overscored. Allie, Allie's bars were just not it. Like, Mm-mm. and we give I mean, Allie, you Allie know, just... what you finna say, Cal? I was just going to say, Gabby would have made floor finals as well because that, that yeah. out of bounds, like, that made that lost her like a point. So if you fight that back in, she would have beaten Jordan. Mm-hmm. And it would have oh, never yeah. been Vanessa Fry. We would never be talking about Vanessa Toyota. <laughs> she Vanessa Hyundai. Be. Now they would be trying to say Gabby robbed her too. Oh yeah, for sure. But um, who else? Damn it, Gabby. Why she had to fuck up in the uneven bars and, and beam final? Oh, I really want her to. Oh, now that I look back on it, damn. She really would have been. They would have really been hating her then. Mm. Is Gabby the one that started the curse of the white Leo when she That's fell in, um, in 2012? Because she wore the white Leo during the main final. Yeah, she did. She did, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think Gabby could have meddled because her best score was like a 15 5 in mm-hmm. London. But that would have only been good enough for silver. Was, she still got a medal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uneven bars. I don't know, you know, with that crazy scoring in in the finals, because Aaliyah hit 16 and Beth got like a 15, like 8, 15, 9. I think Gabby's uh, best in like a 15, 7. Maybe beam, but not bars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think Gabby. Got a beam model for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing, none of Gabby Bean routines were perfect either. Like she was getting those scores with, you know, mistakes or major mm-hmm. or big wobbles. I mean, she she always hit when it mattered though. That was the thing, like, mm-hmm. which is good because she may have not won mm-hmm. like, like the beam or the uneven bars, but she won. She beat Komova when it mattered most. Do you yeah, think Spitlana Horkina was one of the most overrated of all time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Chico, say your most overrated old school gymnast. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Mia, yes, it did. Beth, um, I know Chico, I know Cal gonna say Milo or um Gojin. No, I like Gojin. I was gonna say Go. I was gonna say Go. No. But, no, no. Oh. no. Why go, Jen Chico? No, let's not. No, I just go. Gojin was very much Gojin was more overrated than Milo. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, but still, I, I still like I still like Gojin. 
No, but she right. They they did gas me up, especially like in between ninety two and ninety six. Like, <laughs> Shannon Miller was a little bit overrated, but the most is is was pushing it. But people do. I like she was. Yeah, they put Shannon Miller on a pedestal. But and they, and I hate this is one thing I hate. They always bring up oh Simone da 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 and Shannon Miller got this many medals. Like there is no comparison. I get the medal count they be trying to compare it to, but it's not a comparison. Nobody is Simone. That's so annoying. But they always trying mm-hmm. to say, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very much Shannon. Um, very much though, like. In particular, but Horkina, Horkina was so think. overrated in 2000. Like, <laughs> but she was like around for a long time though, like from like 95 to 2004. If I so, was for you know. Horkina, I'd give Horkina a 9 6 on Beam and Floor, if that, in 2000. Yeah. She can keep her 9 8 on bars. And we're gonna bring that nine, yeah. that nine eight on on vault back to him. It's like a nine five. <laughs> I don't even know how to score on the old scale. Like I don't even no, know but how I, to I, score. I didn't have to know shit to know who I could know with old score. <laughs> like you don't gotta know. Just you cannot be landing your tumbling passes like that and still getting nine eights. You're right. With uncontrolled landings, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> Mm. Working up very much, just overrated. Um, mm. As well as almost that whole Russian team, except Zama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Zama was the only one who actually won things. Um, Pavlova. Pavlova is actually, Pavlova might be number one of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said that before. <laughs> <laughs> Very much Courtney McCool. <laughs> Moya was a little bit I'm not ready for that conversation. You said mm-hmm. who? Esther Moya. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> would you say Chelsea Memoirs overrated? I, I would. Mm, I, I don't think I would say she overrated. Not enough to go on the list. Hong Un Jong is not overrated. I would say underrated. Mm-hmm. Damn. Like, I really wish Chelsea wasn't injured so I could see what she was going to do in 08. Her boss and her am and I was good. I wanted, mm-hmm. her to, I wanted her to show out. I don't think. What, what would she have done? She wasn't going to be um, Sean and Nasty, probably. <laughs> show out no. in the team final. Let me, let me say that. I wanted to see her show out in the team final. I think she could have beaten Nasty because Nasty fell in um in team in, um, in qualifications, right? Um, on what? On bars. And uh, mm-hmm. well, yeah, Nasty bar score was super inflated. She was scored seventeen and shit. That's what we're gonna <laughs> see in this. That's what we're gonna see in this quad. Because uh, the no. way they score that, the American girls finna dominate if they score I'm like about these. Fifteen nine. If you give, um, for example, I think Nastia scored like a fifteen nine with a foul, which is, which means it would have still been hard for Chelsea to beat her, because Chelsea was scoring that with a hit routine, and then like you take in, Chelsea could have scored the same as Nastia on bar, on beam, she could have scored, they was overscoring the fuck out of Nastia on floor. Chelsea probably still couldn't have beaten Nastia even with Nastia falling. But Chelsea was going off in 2008 before she got hurt. Yeah, she was. Um, especially on floor. Yeah, but I don't think Chelsea could have beaten Nastia or Sean to qualify the all around. And if she would have, that would have been kind of sad for Nastia or Sean. Like, not no, Sean didn't even beat Nastia on floor. And Sean was better than Chelsea on floor. Sean was doing tumbling that the rest of those girls weren't. And that's what I give her credit for. Chung Fei like, was clearing. 
Chung Fei cleared Chico. Mm -hmm. Chung Fei had a double double, a whip triple, a full in double pipe. That whip triple looks so good. Yeah. But of all time, I like the end whip triple. She needs to bring that back. She is. She, you, you heard she she's no somebody that? said Kayla the cello is the most overrated um of the quad somebody she said what who's calling she is mm -hmm. I would agree with that except for maybe Jocelyn Robinson mm, no yes. I mean J Jocelyn is really she's like definitely overrated but I feel like she she's not even good enough for people to actually take that throne from Jade. But people people mean? swear she better than Jay. You saw that yesterday on the live. Yeah, but she's not though. Like if if they competed tomorrow, I would bet on Jade. It's all my money. With the way the domestic scores doing Jay, I don't know. It, no, not not domestically, but internationally. Oh yeah. That's the thing. I hate how they played in Jay's face. They but are they, gassing Jocelyn up just like Kayla though. They are. They are, they are. And, they, and people think Jocelyn better than Jay. I don't know how people can argue argue with math, not your feelings. Like, I'm sorry. Kayla is a solid first, opera who has been hitting. First year senior. How are you doing that to Jay, guys? Jo Josh, Kayla is a solid opera writer. Kay you know what's crazy to me? I think Jocelyn could, could clear Kayla to tell her on being, but y'all don't want to hear that. No, she really could. Because she got the she got yeah. difficulty. She just don't. I don't know. She be breaking connection. Kayla and... Tello's beam is trash. <laughs> Kayla Tello, she clears on floor, but her music gives me a headache. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and say my most overrated of all time, so I can get off the line. But I feel mm. like I agree with y'all. I think it might be come of a. Yeah, just because, and you know what? I feel like whoever the first black gymnast was to win the all around, they would probably be whoever was supposed to beat them would probably be the most overrated too. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that makes say sense. Say if it was Simone, say if it was Simone, right. they would be like, and Ali was the one that was supposed to beat Simone. They'd be like, Ali should have beat Simone in Rio. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they would have. Like it was just it was just who would do it first, you know, like who would be the first black woman to win? Because they would then they would say the person who should have beaten that black woman is better. Right. I think for Simone it just would have said Caitlin Ohashi. If Caitlin Ohashi would have stuck around at Marissa that could have qualified, like because <laughs> mm. every time it's Simone, it's what well, what about Larissa? What about Caitlin Ohashi? Like those are those are the two that like y'all gonna bring up. It's like neither of them bitches can hold a hold a candle to her. Like I like Kata. I'm putting money on her making a team. That's gonna be a sorry ass team. Ooh, that better not. Kayla the cello. Kayla don't them. bring nothing to the I mean, yes, she can be an all around. You know what you know what what's her name said? Um Elfie said about that Russian bitch in two thousand three. Mm-mm. I'm shocked that someone on the team has this little talent. Oh wait, I think that wasn't that's in one of like the comment comment yeah, videos. That's how I feel about yeah. Kayla <laughs> Cello. Like Yeah, I think I remember hearing that. She don't I uh, are you saying I'm wrong? You don't think are you gonna say the pin out like Kayla the Cello has a lot of talent? No. Frankly, no. Like Just a solid like, all around though, but no no special event. Like not even as an all arounder, like she just like Leanne is oh, since you want to say about Leanne, Leanne is talented. Yeah, and clean. Like Kayla Cello is just and Leanne I think her floor is good. An individual world medal on floor on an event. Like and like listen, Kayla the Cello's two and a half twist of, like her technique is just poor. <laughs> she being ass up like and I'm telling you, when she get brought back down to earth, don't be surprised. And I think it will be a classic one of the top tiers. The thing is, none of the top girls were at world. I, like I mean, it went a understand. It's like it don't matter 
Leanne has won medals on events, though. She has. She mm -hmm. won floor 2021. What, what, when did Kayla win the American Cup? Like, Lee, what, what can name one skill Kayla DeCello can do better than Leanne? Drop it in the chat. Drop one skill Kayla DeCello can do better than Leanne. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to um, learn. I <laughs> double, double, double twisting you check on Mike. They probably the same on that. I don't know. Leanne. Okay, Leanne had hella less difficulty though. And Leanne, Leanne still outperformed the fuck out of Kayla. So now what? It's the that all around. And I don't like how you be hating on Leanne Wong for no reason. Cause it's like, what does Leanne why is why do you hate Leanne so much? Like her actual gymnastics is good. She need more difficulty. Kayla's ball is low key better. I don't Leanne's I ball think, I, th I, I I can say I think Leanne got out of all the double twists in your chunk of, I'm not taking saying she don't have a good one, but I think I think Kayla's is a little better than her. It is. Okay, so let me say something. Leanne's ball in 2019 at that American Cup clears anything Kayla DeCello could ever do. <laughs> Pull that bitch up right now, Cal. Yeah, I'm actually typing up now. Because, <laughs> no, ma'am. Grace was supposed to win it, and that's all I'm going to say. Wasn't Leanne a first year senior? This yes. Year? That's sad to be beat by a first year senior. Not sadder than how um Bridget Sloan got done in by Jordan Weaver, who was 13 years old. That was very good. Oh, that was good. That was really that was good. good. Yeah, so what Kayla Cello, what ball has Kayla Cello ever done that's better than that? And that's not the only really good one is she's, if you can pull that up, no. No, I agree with you. Oh, you she's great. And she's a superior athlete in the past, but her consistency issues also not competing collegiate, I fear she might not perform. Okay, how you know if Leanne, why, Kayla Cello's not consistent either. How you know Kayla Cello not gonna fall in the future? Like, how, why are you so confident in Kayla DeCello, but you don't got no hope for Leanne and Jordan Childs? What can what is Kayla DeCello better on than Leanne? You got all this smoke for Kayla, for Kayla, but drop the skill. That's why Leanne can never be overrated because of how y'all do Kayla DeCello. <laughs> Kayla, like, Leanne and Kayla DeCello is like Jocelyn and Jade. Like, that's what it's like. Kayla the Cello's double double could never clear Leanne's double double in qualification at Worlds and her double double at, um, at Nationals last year. Say I'm wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Kayla, did you not see Leanne's double double? Pull that double double up again, Cal. Yeah, that was stuck. I, yeah, you had that in the. When Leanne um, went in off. Your, uh, ranking. When Leanne um, went off. Kayla the cello, like I said, in her wildest dreams were uh oh, like. <laughs> Wait, it was it Nationals <laughs> last year? No, ma'am. Day oh, two. Wait, um, this was day two I last think, yeah, year. Day two Nationals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I do. I pull up my receipts, boo. Yeah. Like, should have had, like, Kayla the like, like she ain't clear on this floor team. She got the score. She should. She should be getting international tonight. It was nice. It was perfect. Okay, what what? Show me a routine that Kayla DeCello's done that's better than that. And watch her go ahead and stick this double layout. No, keep keep doing it. Just to compare this double layout to Kayla DeCello's bum ass second tumbling pass. She's not doing it like that now. This was last year, girl. What are you talking about?
These killer cello fans are delusional. And nobody thinks she's not a good Kayla is good. She's definitely I no, I don't even think she, I take note. You they rat. She's not that good. <laughs> so don't don't give her that what good it was. <laughs> Kayla the cello. I like Kayla, Kayla the cello. I, oh, uh, oh, I think I, I like her more than I like Grace. Do you think Hasley Rivera, Rivera is overrated? Um, yeah, mm, I don't think she should have got a 14 5 and won a cup on Bean. To be fair, Kayla does have a good double pipe. Let me leave with you. So does Leanne. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say something. Kate, Grace still clears Kayla to cello. <laughs> Who gonna say I'm wrong though? Like, I can't stand Grace. But Grace can clear Kayla to cello now. Like, we're not gonna sit up here and act like Grace would not clear Kayla to cello. Because Grace is consistent. That's the difference. No, she's Grace, more consistent. No, Grace is than, not consistent. Is she's more consistent Grace, than Kayla. Grace would beat Kayla to cello on vault. Bars, beans, bar. and I think Flora's yeah. the only one Kelly to tell her would do her big way. But <laughs> she landed that double double decently. Talking about Grace ain't landed a single double double recently, 2018. She landed that one decent. When Grace done tumbling like Pan Am's right now, that's when. Grace clear Kayla the cello. We ain't gonna sit up here and be delusional. Cause what Kayla the cello finna do with Grace on ball, bars and bean? Cause Kayla the cello sucks on bean. Well, you talking about, I know you ain't talking about Grace McCallum fee. The, pull, let, pull, up, pull up me judging Kayla the cello right now, Calvin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's pull up. Fast forward to that damn bean routine. That's what we finna do. My intros be clearing. They do. Let me. That was a real cute picture of her. Good job. Okay, so let's let's look at your girl right now. You don't have to do them like this, you know. Why can I see the scores? Period. Grace Wolf turns would never look like that. Grace Wolf turns are better than that. Yeah. Nah, what is this? <laughs> Four tenths on one D lead. And let's talk about this right here. Grace yeah, this is, is back. This is the main part. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, it's this, we ain't got to the worst part. It's the switch half. This is good. <laughs> she really didn't take that switch half out. Listen, um, how you. It's the bent knees. <laughs> it's the bent knees. Her floor, I, I, her floor was pretty decent. Damn. <laughs> and that was, I should have took in flex feet on that damn jump, but I spare her. Kate, Grace knees ain't as bad as Kayla. They bad, but. And his dismount was horrible. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 2.9. <laughs> Clear. So let's, you want to see the floor? Let's move on to the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. And that was like the one of the best floors she's ever done. Yeah, she did. She cleared on floor. That was that the best floor she pass. ever did.
You didn't give her that switch full. No, she didn't. It wasn't rotated enough. She didn't get it credited by the judges either. Mm. She was clearing into that second. She cleared on everything except her second time and passing that switch ring. It's a good it thing was, that this is on you. <laughs> damn, five tenths. She thinks she's doing something right here. She cleared, she cleared on that leap right there. Yeah. This double pack was good. So you need to stop gassing her up like she finna clear um like she going like she finna clear Grace. Like Grace can score a 55, baby, which is what I score at K. <laughs> Grace's best floor routine could still be Kayla's best floor routine. Like, let's be, be so fucking for real right now. But anyway, I've been on here for a minute now. I want to appreciate all you guys for coming on this live um, to talk about my video, Unexpected. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure to have a nice day, you guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.